Hi everyone, Shoni from Shoni Gaming here. Welcome to the channel. Once again, we are flying today in Norway, but it's Free, fry, free Flight Friday. Good Lord, I need to change that name. I can't even pronounce it. It's horrible, but it's fun anyway. Hope you have a wonderful day. Hope you enjoyed the stream yesterday and hope you're having fun today. Well, first things first, Andalia, hi my dear, already entered it into the, uh, into the chat. Uh, there is a new flight plan available, guys. Uh, I slightly altered it uh, somewhat for the, uh, the course of the, of the flight plan. It's not that different, but it, there is a slight difference because uh, there is a large cold front exactly in the middle of, uh, of Norway, which is also covered by, uh, by snow and by clouds. So I had to basically navigate around it. So there is a slight deviation. It's not that big. It's no biggie, but it's still big enough to, to, to alter the, uh, the flight itself. So uh yeah let's get this uh first things first uh, i'll show you what kind of happened uh today we are here we are in Alessund, right there that's where we landed yesterday beautiful flight yesterday had so much fun it was really really cool and today um we were would be flying actually to um to this point right there in the near um uh Hortbakke, i think it's called i'm not sure uh near the coast and then we would veer off straight towards oslo i slightly deviated that uh because there is a somewhat cold front right here and uh, let me show you guys uh the temperature is right there but the thing is the cold front it, it is freezing it is freezing as you guys can see well, it says 10 o'clock right here, and it should be a little bit more later. Oh, no, that's 8 o'clock. No, let's go 12 o'clock. There we go, 12 o'clock. So it is minus 1 to minus 4, minus 6, minus 5, minus 7 even. So that's really cold. But as we go down, temperatures go up. Definitely go up. So with a bit of luck, we will be able to skirt that cold front and fly straight into Oslo, where the temperatures are much more manageable, three to four degrees Celsius. So that should help out a lot. Uh, as you guys can see, the problem with this then is clouds. Well, there's the problem right there. That's a very, very large cloud front right there. But there are other options to look at this. The low clouds, still very much cloudy. And of course, we have the cloud Base. Well, that means basically the cloud base um, basically suggests how much, how high the clouds will be. Now, as you guys can see, the green here, it's, uh, it says that it's uh, 1.5 kilometers, 1.5 K, 1.5 kilometers high. We had that yesterday, so that's pretty good. Uh, however, as soon as you go inland, you will see it dropping. The clouds will be dropping to basically fog on the ground. And that's a killer because we need to get up in height. As you can see also here by the flight plan, this is all sea line right there. And then once we go inland, this part is basically mountains. So we have to navigate that. So what I thought I'd be doing is I fly straight down here into that fjord right there and then fly all the way to Oslo. So basically what we're doing is we're trying to find a way through here into uh into uh, uh and maybe it will be a bit south so that we fly around and then all the way into oslo basically that's what we're going to try to do so yeah it's uh it's going to be interesting to say the least um as i said there is a new flight plan available you can download it from the chat right there or you can download it from discord channel also i uh installed the uh oslo landmarks pack so we should have something to see in Oslo. Oslo should look a little bit more accurate, a little bit more realistic here and there. So yeah, let's fingers crossed that uh, fingers crossed that that this will work. At least this will work. We will be flying along the coastline. That's good. But as soon as we're heading in, you guys can see it, it's even minus eight here. But that's I think at the uh, at the 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 topmost. Um, uh, the topmost mountainous parts of, uh, of Norway right there. So what I'm hoping is that we can basically fly through these fjords right here. And then uh, clouds be gone. Yeah, indeed, Andalia. Clouds be gone. So I'm hoping that we can fly all the way through through this part right here. And then onwards toward, uh, towards Oslo. If we can do that and we can land today in, uh, in Car uh, Christianstad. Basically for next week we are good. That would help out a lot because this is at the moment our biggest problem. Well, it says it's at uh, six and a half thousand feet. That's not correct. It should be at 2000 feet. So basically that. 
if we get this, if we get here today where we land, then next week, as you guys can see, let me show you, the predictions are a lot better. The cold front is moving along somewhat. And if we move that to Wednesday, it would mean we will be able to at least reach the Faroe Islands. And if that moves on, Thursday would be my Iceland flight. So basically we will be having a bit of luck right there next Thursday. Friday would be a bit chilly, not that much, but enough to fly back again. So with a bit of luck, we could be flying towards Iceland still and make that flight and then fly back towards the UK and on. So yeah, and then, well, as you guys can see, no problems there. So uh, yeah, that's the freezing problem that we are facing right now. God, I hope this is going to work. God, I hope this is going to work. Well, in other news, <laughs> there was a new developer, uh, developer update uh, today. And there were a few interesting things. A nice uh, uh, partnership with the Experimental Aircraft Association. That's a nice movie. Hey, Quart, good to see you, man. And there was, of course, the development roadmap, which we still have the 25th of November for the Americas update. So that's pretty cool. And then we have the feedback uh, bugs and wishes top uh, list. So, yeah, that's the one. Uh, exactly right there, uh, Endalia. That's the new flight plan. Uh, as you guys can see, Garmin is still uh, on the top of their list. Uh, that will be Sim Update th uh, 3. No idea when that's going to be. Uh, uh, when that's going to be. Uh, I have no clue. And Sim Update 4. Those are new ones. Uh, I have no clue when that's going to be. But they are on the books, so they are. Sh they should be coming quick enough. Update 7, however, dreadful performance. Uh, I I basically have that same thing, dreadful performance for high-end PCs. Uh, that's update 7, and that's the update of the America. So that should be next week. So with a bit of luck, next Tuesday, my, my, my sim should, should even run better than it already is. With a bit of luck, yeah. So, uh, so there are a lot of interesting things. But yeah, live weather is still a thing. It's still a problem. Live weather issues, still a problem. So uh, there, there uh, are, are still very uh, please fix photogrammetry well it's under investigation so there are they are looking into a lot of uh bugs that are they are want to fix and of course we have the uh the top wishes which is uh, yeah the fly by wire community mod of course let's 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 bombard microsoft with with demands that uh, fly by wire gets their own airplane guys let's do that i mean they deserve that so yeah a few other things, multiple screen functionality, if you're into that thing, Direct, uh, Direct X 12, well, with the Xbox launch, so that should be the new one, that should be soon enough. Uh, helicopters, a must, we talked about helicopters, so it's really in there. Lots of bugs, <laughs> yeah, well, you can also post them, and uh, uh, they can, people can vote for them, so they should, uh, at least they know it, kind of what you should always, always, always report bugs. Um, and of course, gliders, sailplanes, and uh, soaring, please. So that's also planned. Both are planned and under investigation, guys. So planned 2022. It is coming. Unfortunately, not next year, the year after that. So they, they basically pushed that into 2022. But it is coming. They are working on that. So with a bit of luck, that should, uh, that should work out fine. Well... Well, there were a few other things, things like Singapore City downtown and new aircraft, the P4 uh, Semi uh, Seminoli, uh, P4 PA44. So uh, that's uh, that's a new airplane right there. Uh, let's hope that's a good one. And uh, East Frisian Lands as an update, Casablanca. We're going to look into that one. So, hey, I'm Tasty. Good man. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us, man. Yeah. And uh, by the way, that suggestion you had, we are already going there. So yeah, that was cool. That was cool. We are really, we've already planned that. So not much else, but it's uh, a few things here and there. So yeah, guys, it's uh, 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 with a bit of luck today, uh, we will be avoiding the clouds. So uh, let's get this show on the road, shall we? Um, let's have a look. Um, of course, the flight that we planned today on Navigraph basically looks like that. Uh, let me, yeah. Nope, that's not the one. I need that one there. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, so yeah, that's the flight plan that we will be taking. As you guys can see, there's going to be uh, something nice today. Hey, Don Don, good to see you, man. Thank you for joining us. Good to see you. Good to see you. 
Um, uh, today we uh, are doing a. Uh, I've planned an, uh, I, the new. The, uh, Don Don, by the way, there is a new uh, flight plan. You have to download that. I kind of altered it because of weather conditions. So it's basically the same, but not not completely. So take uh, take a note of that. Um, yeah, thank you very much, Indalia. Uh, the um, the flight plan um, that we now added is an IFR flight plan, but it does not have an actual approach. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to program it into my uh, plane while we do it while we're doing the approach. Let's see if that works. Uh, so fingers crossed. That that may be cool. So uh, basically, it's a VFR flight uh, with with a few added uh, twists. Okay. Well. Uh, I think we're uh, we're good to go, uh, guys. Uh, let me start up my um, my flights in Toolkit Pro. That is that. So fly now. Haha, -ha, we have connection. That's working. That is working. We have to do flight following, and we are on that part right there. Uh, we the only thing I am going to do is once again. Uh, oh yeah, I need to, of course, switch to all players, live traffic, but not live weather. So that's good. And I'm setting it to about 10, 11. So the time is 10, 11. Nope, 10, 13. Ah, it's close enough. 10, 11. Okay, so yeah, it's... Uh... There we go. <laughs> Let's have a look, guys. Yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm good. All players, live traffic. Uh, I am on the uh, Western European server, so guys, go check that out. Uh, yeah. Well, let me know if you're good to go. Oh, that's a good plan there, uh, Quart. <laughs> that's a very good plan. Some planes on prepared have powered seats. Oh, that's nice. Ooh, that's very comfy. <laughs> that is very comfortable. All right, guys, let's uh, let's get this show on the road. I am, uh, yeah, hopeful that we can uh, cross the, uh, the the mountain range of uh, of uh, of Norway right there on the ocean, and then sail straight into uh, with a bit of luck straight into. Uh, um, into Oslo, and then we're on. So yeah, yeah, you're still on Cup One. I'm on Cup Four, I think, right now, and this is Cup Five and Six. So uh, yeah, yeah. I had a hectic morning this morning. And there was a lot going on, so uh, it's uh, actually uh, yeah. Uh oh, that's not good. Lots of clouds. Well, that's good. This is this is not bad. Okay, I can work with this. Uh, hey, Zach! Good morning, good afternoon, dude. Good afternoon. Hope you're having a wonderful day, Zach. Uh, we altered the flight plan, so if you want to fly along, you have to download the new flight plan. Uh, let's change that. I think there's always already someone on the on the runway right there. Let's change that. And um, I think I am going to do a... Uh, let me have a look. I want to see what approach I'm using. Uh, I'm using runway three. That's what I'm going for on uh, Christian Sand. Runway three, guys. Remember that runway three, uh, which would mean that I uh, you be using uh, ILS on three. Is that good? Yeah, that's the right one. ILS on three. I want to overlay that on the map right there. And the localizer is 110.35. So I'm setting that just in case. 110.35. 110.35. There we go. That's two. That's three. That's five. There we go. 110.35. That's that's correct, isn't it? Yeah, it should be. Let me have a look. 110.35. Yep, that's the one. Okay, so we're switching to that specific localizer that's good so we have that already i am setting my heading to um uh, zero three three there we go yeah yeah it is uh, i mean 
it's so nice once you get the hang of uh, ILS it is great it is really really good uh, all right I'm turning on the uh, pit <laughs> I forgot to do that yesterday uh, and uh, yeah we saw the uh, the problems uh, uh, develop right there I forgot to do that yesterday we have a 31 knot wind uh, in our backs at the moment uh, should be interesting uh, let's have a look bearing that's 66 nautical miles and the we should be zooming out right there that's good enough uh, map gps uh, no next yeah i think i'm doing the topo as well i think i'm doing that as well yeah there we go but i'm turning off next red this this may sound weird but i'm turning off next red i am using topo however so that should help out a little bit it's uh yeah <laughs> yeah, it's it's I mean, Weem is here, guys. Look at that. Who do we have here? We have Weem right there. Do we have anyone else uh, as of yet? No, it's just Weem right now. But uh, oh, and Dun Dun Bum Bum right there in the distance. Yes, and McSpeed Eagle. Not sure if that's someone on the channel, but if you are, please let yourself known, and I will keep an eye on you definitely. All right, guys. Uh, let me know if you're good to go. Well, I am. So let's set off, guys. Let's do this. Let's do this. Here we go. Yes, I am flying straight through Weem. I know. I know. He'll live. Sorry, Weem. Sorry, Weem. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. Come on. Come on. What's going on? Um. So why am I no longer... What's going on? Uh... That's a little bit of crosswind. A lot of crosswind. That that can be right, guys. I have no clues what just happened there. Hey, <laughs> Yulcha. I have no clue what just happened there. But that was that's not supposed to happen. I'm pretty sure that that is not supposed to happen. Uh, let's fly back. Yeah, a little windy, and I officially, well, I maybe I was sideways, but I haven't crashed as of yet. So that was completely strange. What's going on here? Uh, okay. Let's do that again, shall we? But then, then let, let's, yeah, that was weird. That was very strange yeah yeah I am I am going to taxi off into the wind so I'm turning my uh, my plane around I don't mind I'm still in one piece and that's the most important thing well I'm sweating here guys holy the moly I am sweating here yeah, I am going to take off uh, in the opposite direction, uh, definitely. I'm going to the other side of the runway. Because this definitely did not work as it should. That was interesting! <laughs> All right. No, there we go again. What's this? No, I'm done. Okay. So, there's that. Uh Yeah. Sorry, but this is a restart. This is a restart. I uh yeah, this does not count. I'm sorry, but that didn't count. Hmm. So there's something really strange going on. The weather looks fine. Yeah, it's it's completely bizarre. It is bizarre. This should not... 
All right, guys. And I'm now on the different, on the other side. Now I'm on the correct side of the runway. No, I am not. No, I'm not. I'm not. I am not. But that's fine. That's fine. This is really strange. Yeah, I think it was at 60. Oh, for, uh, hold on. Hold on. I need to do a few things first. Because, unfortunately, this meant... It's really weird. I have no clue why this happened, guys. This was completely over the top. And it is the, the weather bug is well known. It is, it is really annoying as well. Uh, let's have a look. We should be 3-5. Yeah, that's the one. 3-5. So we are there right now. And I am doing... Uh, uh, no, that's the one. I need to do that. 3-5. Let's push in the localizer. There we go. Uh, heading zero three. It is really strange what's going on. PDF wind option back. So then we should be doing bearing. Right. Zoom out. Map. GPS. Topo. All right. I think we are now good to go. Uh, and we need to turn on that. <laughs> Very important. All right. It, it's... But it, it just seems to keep be keeping pu pushing me over. It's really, really strange. It just... Gusting me over. It's really weird. It is so bizarre. Hey, Bradel. <laughs> Good to see you, man. We are departing from uh, uh, Alessund right now. Uh, we are flying via Oslo all the way down on towards uh, uh, Christiansson today. Thank you for joining our channel, man, Bradel. Uh, thank you very much. Hope you're having a wonderful time right here and hope you're having a wonderful day and smile. Uh, at the moment, though, we are uh, basically struggling to get to the end of the runway because apparently I... It started me at the wrong runway and gave me a tailwind and blew me off the runway with a gust of wind of 60 knots. Now, I'm pretty sure it's not gusting 60 knots right there at the moment. So, the, the uh, it's definitely, there are a few things broken here. There are definitely a few things broken. It is it is freezing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> exactly. Uh, you are quite right, Bradal. Uh, at the moment, we are uh, in uh, in Norway, and it is freezing right here. At the moment, it is three degrees outside uh, in the plane. However, uh, the thing is that uh, the where we are going, it's minus four, minus five, and it is cloudy. And as some of you may know, clouds are a definite killer. They will kill your aircraft, or at least they will kill the 172. But as of now, uh, I am slowly but steadily crawling towards the end of the runway. <laughs> Hoping to reach Weem right there in the distance, because that's one of our viewers as well. Yeah. Nah, can't be. No, you're kidding. Pish posh. <laughs> that's, say it ain't so. Say it ain't so. Well, it is. So, yeah. it's. Uh, <laughs> so, we are struggling. We are making do with what we got. Uh... Uh, I'm slowly but crawling across the runway towards uh, the end of the runway, hoping be, to be able to turn it and then uh, basically uh, taking off in the uh, the right direction. Uh, Don Don Pan Pan's already in the air. Uh, Weem is at the uh, end of the runway. If you guys want to join, you can. I'm on the Western European server at the moment. Uh, you can fly along with me. There is a flight plan. I just updated it today. So uh, if you downloaded it yesterday, you have to download the new one and, uh, and, and use that one. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's interesting to say the least. Yeah. This should not be happening. Ah, oh, the joys of a broken flight simulator. Well, we'll work with we'll work with it. We'll work with it. Uh, you know what? No, nope, I'm still going to fast. Yeah, but the th it uh, the uh, the thing is uh, the 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 uh, uh, the uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator is 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 especially on high end machines is uh, is not that uh, not not that optimized actually. Weem is off. 
Weem is off as well, so he's taken off. And we should be nearing the end of the runway. Look at that sock! That's not normal! Look at that sock right there, guys. You can see the wind sock right there. It's fully gusting. And it, I'm pretty sure it's not there at the moment. I am really sure it's not. But yeah, the thing is also, you know, uh, Quart, uh, because, uh, and, and uh, this holds specifically true for me, uh, 30 to uh, 40, uh, uh, yeah, hopefully, uh, with a bit of luck uh, next uh, uh, next Tuesday with the uh, USA update. But uh, the thing is, that the 30 to 40 frames FPS, it's not that much of a bad thing, you know. It's, uh, I'm doing low flights anyway. So yeah, it's... All right, guys. There we go. We are on the opposite side. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. No, no. Well, I'm up! Barely! I'm up! <laughs> Good lord! Well! That was an interesting start! <laughs> uh, yeah! Well, I'm up! <laughs> little plane hop 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 <laughs> so yeah that was interesting somewhat i think we're still slowly climbing oh yeah but speed is uh is is a thing right now there we go Let's level out a bit. Let's gain a little bit of speed, shall we? <laughs> what was that? That was the weirdest takeoff I've ever seen. I've ever done. That was the shortest takeoff I've ever done. It was like, and we're up. Good lord. This game. This game. The views are brilliant, but and sometimes... Sometimes it is... Interesting to say the least. Well, we're up in the air, guys, and we're on the road. We are on the road. We are now heading towards uh, um, heading towards uh, 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 Oslo. Uh, we will be skirting the, uh, the 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 coastline once again of uh, of Norway. Uh, yeah. Curve bug on the throttle response. Ah, really? Hmm. Well. You have to experience everything in life, I guess. <laughs> so this is one of them as well. Who knew? Interesting. But we're up. We are up in the air. Definitely up in the air. That They can't take that away from us anymore. Oh, no. I am now uh, seeing if I can uh, adjust my, uh, my, uh, my fuel mixture right here. Uh, still trying to climb a little bit up. Uh, we're at, uh, yeah, thank you for the follow, uh, oh, thank you for the rank there, Captain. Good to see you, man. Oh, you just missed something so bizarre, so bizarre. We just took off from here, this airport right there. This is uh, uh, Alessund, but I started there, which I shouldn't have. Had to taxi all the way, crashed there due to a weather bug, so I restarted, because that's a bug. Turned around, and then took off. And I started about here and took off about there. So in that little small piece right there, I took off. I was in the air in like three seconds flat. That was bizarre. That was totally and utterly bizarre, guys. <laughs> it was the funniest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> that was so funny. Uh, basically, I uh, uh, there is a, a gusting bug at the moment going on right there on Allison Airport. If you take off from Allison, have fun. It's on you. But uh, yeah, 
Uh, so what happened right there was I started on that end of the runway, had to taxi all the way there, crashed, taxi again all the way there, took off in the opposite direction because that's the wind, where the wind gusting from, and then I took off. Oh, the skin. Yeah, no problem. Uh, and then I took off in about uh, in, in, in less than 120 feet. <laughs> it was bizarre. It's it is pretty. It is pretty, guys. Look at that. This livery has been made by Ween. Uh, as you if you want to join, guys, you can. But you have to download the new flight plan. So take heart. There is a new flight plan. It is minus two, by the way, at the moment. So we have to take care of that. Uh, but yeah, it's um, uh, there is a new flight plan today, and uh, if you want to join me, you can. I am on the uh, uh, Western European server, so hop along, no problem. And uh, I turn it on. I turn it on, Kadilu. Thank you very much, my dear. Thank you very much. By the way, for those that do not know, Kadilu is Mrs. Joni Gaming. Uh, I actually turned that thing on. Yep, uh, I can turn. However, the beacon lights off and the landing lights off. That's good. The uh, pitot heat uh, uh, switch is on, so uh, <laughs> we're good to go. We are good to go, yeah. So uh, then take good care of your back, man. You have to use it all your life, so make sure you use that correctly. Uh, there we are, guys. We are now up, up, up in the air. Uh, I think we will be skirting the coastline uh, uh, a little bit right there, where Wien is heading, actually. So, uh, uh, yeah, that's where we are going. That's where we are headed right now. And I want to go down a little bit. It is minus two degrees Celsius. I will be switching once again back and forth. The thing is, uh, I altered the flight plan because of the weather at the moment. Uh, there is, uh, as you guys can see, there uh, the clouds, uh, clouds are at 1.5 kilometers around and about. So that's uh, about three, three and a half thousand, four thousand feet. And um, uh, uh, inland it is freezing. So, but the cloud, the, the clouds are in inland are really low. So I had to skirt around that cloud base, and uh, uh, basically I, uh, we will be hopping over the uh, the mountains towards uh, 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 towards Oslo in that direction. So as of now, we are uh, slowly but steadily crawling down south towards uh um there we go i'll switch that towards uh towards uh the along the coastline we will be searching for a fjord so we can basically go back in and uh yeah then we will should be uh should be good basically i can really recommend the vertigear uh chair yeah it is quite expensive but totally worth it guys it is really worth it yeah it is it supports your your back it is awesome I've been using it for quite a while, and it is really, really good. There we go, there we go. But there are a lot of good chairs out there. If you um, if you do this kind of thing and you sit long for a long time, don't go for gaming chairs, guys. Don't just don't go for gaming chairs in in general rule. Go for things like uh, like ergonomic uh, chairs for your back and stuff like that. You you'll thank yourself later. Trust me. Yeah, you'll thank yourself later. Ergonomic chairs are the way to go. So, uh, let me see. Don't don't pump on right there. He's off in the distance. We got Wien all the way up there in the sky. And at the moment, we... Uh, uh, as I said, you, if you want to join us, no problem. It's Free Fly Friday. Um, I also, in the Discord channel, added a few links here and there for... Uh, uh, for instance, one link for the, uh, the Oslo uh, update which shows uh, 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 an extra few landmarks and make Oslo look a little bit nicer. So uh, uh, we are now at 11, it says it's 11 on the feet, but I don't, I don't believe that. Yeah, okay, zero degrees Celsius, so that's good. We are having at the moment a very, very nice day. We are having a very nice day. It's a perfect day. And uh, with a bit of luck, we will be skirting all the clouds right there in the distance and the cold front right there. And uh, yeah, then we, uh, we should be good. We should be able to then head inland towards uh, uh, towards uh, towards Oslo, yeah. And once we hit Oslo, we're good. If we hit Oslo, guys, there is a very very good chance that next week we will be able to make it to Iceland and back. So, fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed. Ooh, <laughs> no problem, man. Uh, we no problem. 
No problem. I'm also uh, sticking somewhat to the nav line. So, but yeah, you got of course the uh, the. Uh, um... <laughs> Thank you very much, my dear. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm uh, uh, at the moment. I am skirting somewhat on that line, but I'm trying to follow it. And of course, Weem does have the icing. I do not. Weem is flying as I'm, if I'm not mistaken, in the TBM. Yep, there he is, TBM nine. Uh, Donald Pompon is flying right there. He is flying the 172 and should be doing fine so far. Um, but as of now, we are flying over beautiful, beautiful uh, Norwegian, Norwegian coastline, guys. And so far, Norway has been a blast. It has been a blast. Heated seats are actually a thing. Yeah, <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> They are actually a thing. So I'm thinking about uh, keeping it at about 2,000 feet at the moment. Should things start to freeze over, I can quickly dip down and uh, uh, fly along. So that should be... It should keep me safe enough and uh, still avoid clouds. But look at that sunset in... Uh, sunrise in Norway, guys. Look at that. It is... Incredible. And then, yes, we love this country. Yeah, well, rightfully so there, Jamal. Rightfully so. And today we are flying over Oslo, my friend. I added a few landmarks here and there. So, uh, yeah, with a bit of luck, we will be able to view them. But you, <laughs> you have every right to be. You have every right to be proud of Norway. I mean, it looks amazing the 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 the, the scenes we had hey medici man good to see you i'm not sure medici where are you there's uh no i don't think i can see you maybe the server will update in a little bit and then we should be good yeah but if uh, if you come along yeah it's no problem man no problem man it's no problem captain thank you for for joining me uh, anyway so yeah thank you for joining me anyway and thank you once again for the raid. So it is uh, a little in front of me. Uh, are you up high? Ah, <laughs> there's Wim. Okay. I thought I found you, but no. That's Don Don. No, I can't find you yet unless you are Major Tom. But <laughs> I don't think you are. Ground control to Major Tom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> By the way, there is a uh, incredible uh, video of that. Uh, Don Don is to my left. Yeah, he is. He is right there. Don oh. Wait. Dondon is right above me, actually. Also, straight on the flight plan. He's doing well. Uh, I hope that the flight plan accommodates uh, the uh, 172 uh, Dondon right there. Don't forget to turn on your pedal heater. That's uh, very important. And Weem is right there. Uh... You know where I live? It is exactly like Norway. Just as cold as... <laughs> yeah. Where, where do if, if I if I may ask, where do you live, uh, Quirt? If I may ask. Uh, it's it's. I think we may be able to catch up with you, uh, Medici. Maybe you're just a, well. If you're in f between us, we should have seen you. Yeah, that's weird. Thank you very much, Medici. You too. You too, man. Uh, yeah. You learn to fly in mountains. Oh, that's pretty cool. By the way, I'm at 3,000 feet already, and it's 3 degrees Celsius, so... Okay. Still good. Are we freezing? No, we're not freezing as of yet. But I am going to, uh, to descend a little bit. Ah, British Columbia! Okay, in Canada. We are heading towards British Columbia in Canada as well, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Since hung on. Yeah, you did, Jamel. Exactly, you did. You did. You did. Yeah, and the Lithuania uh, was uh, um, memorable, to say the least. Yeah, it was. Um, yeah, it was. It was up there. <laughs> that was the one where I uh, crashed due to my own stupidity, not due to bugs like I did just now. So uh, if I crashed due to a bug, and this was a weather bug, it is. It. It's. It cannot be this bad. Uh, I am... Uh, hey! Uh, Seaway Gaming Game. Ha good to see you, man. Hope you're having a wonderful day. But yeah, it's... Uh... Yeah, I crashed. I actually crashed just now. It's... Uh, but it's it, it was due to a weather bug. So, uh, uh, thank you for the follow there, Seaway Game. 
thank you very much. I uh, hope you enjoyed the stream and I hope you have a wonderful day. Uh, but it's uh, due to the fact that uh, that I crashed to uh, to uh, uh, a, uh, a a weather bug, and it's basically the, the wind was gusting way too hard. Uh, it blew me all the way off the off the runway, and I was basically driving sideways. I got it corrected, started on the runway again, and then it blew me off again. So it was really weird. It's like there's no grip at all, no, nothing. It, like I just wasn't there. Like I was a kite in the wind. So, and I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to happen. And we were all very, very uh, uh, in agreement that that was a bug. Yeah, definitely that was a bug. So I restarted and got it into the air. But the thing was, yeah, it, it, it was really weird, Quart. It was really weird, you know. Hey, there's Medici. I got him. <laughs> I got him. I got Medici right there. Yes, we do. We found you, Medici. There is Dundon Pompon. And we should be somewhere... Somewhere over the rainbow. Well, we lost Wing, apparently. But he, I'm pretty sure Wing's around as well. Yeah. Ah, you should have the new one. Yeah, you should. I, 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 you can download the new one uh, through the FFF command. Uh, of course, it's also in the Discord channel. I had to alter it. Because, uh, exactly, there you go. I had to alter the, uh, 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 yeah, it is basically a sim, no, no, it's not a sim plan. Actually, I planned it in uh, uh, Navigraph. And Navigraph works a lot better with importing uh, the uh, uh, the flight plans than the sim brief ones. Sim brief sometimes is a bit iffy. Uh, and also, I'm using VFR flights, and Simbrief is basically automatic, automatically uh, high uh, high flights. So yeah, it's uh, yeah. That's the reason why I uh, plan my flights these days in Navigraph, and I love it. I love it. If anyone of Navigraph ever is watching this stream, guys, you did a awesome job. Yeah. Hey, Tomato Tony, good to see you, man. Seems so empty and motionless against this one. It's a <laughs> it is, it is, it is. You know, it's 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 going from 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 yellows and 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 gray squares or or green squares to hello world. It's it's there's the world. That's it right there. Look at that lovely sunrise here in Norway. It's in it's incredible. I mean, it's not normal. This what kind of black magic did these guys do? Yeah. Uh, I mean, the flights in in uh, in Norway so far have been mind mind blowingly beautiful. It's it's basically beautiful. It's 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 scary as hell flying here in a 172. It is because it, as I can show you, it is freezing minus two degrees. Well, we're still good because it's not frozen over. I've not flown into uh, into clouds so far, but it is freezing right there. So we need to take care that we do not enter the clouds. But if you're flying along, even in clouds, at, at, uh, with, with the, the permanent sunrise and sunset, it's especially up in the northern part of Norway, guys, go fly there. It's mind-blowingly beautiful. It, it will make your jaw drop permanently. It's, uh, I had 90% of the time I had goosebumps, 10% of the time I had sheer panic. So, yeah, <laughs> it's, 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 yeah. Guys, you you have it. It is amazing. It is truly, truly amazing. And this, and look at that, man. Look at look at that. Right there. Look at that right there. I mean, come on. Look at that right there. How beautiful is that? Look at the other side. Also very beautiful. I mean, this is not normal. stuff. The way this 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 simulation is portrayed, it's incredible. Hey, Vulcan! Vulcan? Did I say just, did I say that right? I have no clue. Thank you for joining me, man. Thank you, uh, and have a wonderful, wonderful day. I hope you're having fun in the channel, and I hope you have uh, have fun in the community as well. So uh, yeah, don't forget to hydrate, guys. Coffee very important. Golfer need my caffeine, especially in flights like these. In flights like these, I need my caffeine. That's actually Grohl approved, by the way. <laughs> For those that know Great Dave Grohl, he'll approve this. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. But yeah, it's uh, 
it is amazing the way this 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 game this simulation looks this is the best looking thing i've seen in any game as of yet i mean even even things like gta and and and, and games like that they can't hold, hold a candle to this i mean it's so beautiful it is awesomely beautiful achingly beautiful at times achingly beautiful now let's have a look because i first i do not want to crash but i also don't want to freeze and that's the most uh, most uh, scary thing we have uh, so far not freezing it's uh, <laughs> microsoft screenshot simulator <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah exactly exactly i mean we flew uh um uh, like i said Nine times out of ten, especially when I'm now flying in Norway, it's it's just goosebump city all the way. It's <laughs> this is incredible. I mean, the screenshot you can can get out of this, um, and of course you see a lot of screenshots uh, uh, passing uh, the review. I mean, the screenshots that people make usually the the sunsets and stuff like that. But then once you fly it actually in game, it's like. Wow, I was talking about this with uh, Cap with uh, uh, the flying Fabio uh, a, a few days ago, uh, and I was asking like, well, he, he the flying Fabio basically is a pilot. He basically he is a pilot, um, and I asked him, well, as a pilot, can you tell us if this actually looks like what it's actually looked like in in real life? And he confirmed that that the sunrises, sunsets, the way the sun colors, the way the, the clouds move, the way everything looks, it's exactly as he knows it. Exactly. So, yeah. Uh, you can see my hardware. There are a few links for that, actually. If you go... Um, I have a, 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 a link to my YouTube channel where I have a video creating my... Uh, my actually, uh, my, 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 I, I'm building my current PC. Uh, it is completely custom built by myself, including the water cooling and hard tubing, which I did myself. And um, there are the specs. If you scroll down, you can see the specs right there, uh, Tomato Tony. You can see the specs right there. I am zigging and zagging a little bit on my uh, on my course. As you can see, uh, there are a lot of times when I'm uh, uh, somewhat off course and not uh, not on a straight line. There is a reason for that. As I said, I am trying to navigate somewhat through uh, through the fjords, staying low, staying out of the frost, because that's what we want. Staying out of the frost, um, of the bifrost. <laughs> but um, red card right there. Unfortunately, Flo uh, can't be here today, but that will be a yellow card straight to the face. Uh, but yeah, it's. Um, so I am trying to uh, uh, trying to, to navigate that. By the way, I added a little bit more boats right here and there. Yeah, that's the build. Yeah, that's the one. That's me basically building my... Uh, hello, Mautje. Good to see you on Free Flight Friday. Indeed. Indeed. Free, free Flight Friday. I really need to change that. Free Flight Friday. Yes. And uh, you guys can uh, join me if you want. Thank you very much, Mod. You guys can join me if you want. It is open for today for a free flight Friday. You can download the um, uh, the uh, the flight plan on the link that Andalia just posted right there, and uh, you can then um, uh, join me on the Western European channel. We uh, 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 server. We are at the moment. Uh, at the moment, I'm going way too fast up. That's not good. Well, it is partly good, but. Um, uh, you can join us on the Western European server. We are on the uh, the Western. Uh, am I saying that? Yeah, Western coast of Norway. So uh, and we are heading on our way from uh, uh, from uh, uh, what's it called again? Um, I keep forgetting that that airport. We're well. We're on our way to Oslo right now. We are flying along the Norwegian coast, trying to avoid as much clouds as we can. It is still zero degrees at 1700 feet, so that is actually pretty good. Andenes, yes, thank you very much there for the uh, uh, for the correction right there. We are flying from Andenes and we are on to... Uh, so, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, yes, he is. He is. Don Don Pan Pan is right there in the distance. There is Wim and we have Medici right there in the distance as well. So, uh, yeah. 
we are we are flying all together again uh, guys yeah we had that flip right there the side wind which basically bugged me out and uh, basically ran me straight into the ground that was nice but uh, and the shortest takeoff I've ever done in the game <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not the way it goes in real life but it worked I got up in the air and that's good enough for me I'm in the air right now and that was good enough for me I was sweating through my uh, through, through my through my best so uh, yeah it's uh, we already had a hectic start and uh, let's hope uh, that once we cross into Oslo we will be having a comfortable comfortable landing uh, guys now the thing is um, I did not set an ILS uh, landing basically and what I'm going to do guys is the following I'm going to procedures select an approach and basically program program on stream my uh, my aircraft to see if I can basically land it so that's going to be interesting another uh, another tool on my uh, on my uh, on my belt basically so yeah it's uh, I'm going to do that uh, on stream so uh, we already had one disaster today and let's see if we can <laughs> let's see if we can get another one today that will be fun but yeah it's uh, this is going quite well actually uh, minus one it is freezing but that's not bad I mean it's not that moist uh, in the air right now there's not a lot of moisture so we should be good actually we should be good no I'm not freezing as of yet so have to stay close have to stay below these clouds right there that's very important so I think I'm navigating right there into the distance so between those uh, fjords right there then guys this this country this country this country Norway this country I want to visit it in real life it is Wow such a cool country such a cool country they should have taped the mortar parts right there in Norway they should have so yeah it's join Malvius yeah exactly yeah exactly Nielsen that's where we are headed now I'm just hoping that we can cross from the ocean onwards toward Oslo if we've done that do it if we've done that we're good we're good and actually I could be able to make it towards it no I'm not climbing to 6,000 feet are you nuts it's freezing up there and there are clouds they will kill me sorry I just got distracted by the ATC who's going bananas again uh console IFR be gone be gone you nasty ATC demon um but yeah it's uh, uh, uh I'm hoping that we can navigate towards um uh, towards Oslo between the fjords and then a little bit across the uh, well then yeah it is a mountain range basically but yeah the the higher country up in the uh, the western part of Norway if we can cross that into Oslo uh, towards Oslo we should be good we should be good all the way so I basically planned my flight uh, uh, all the way through uh, through low level parts along the ocean uh, making sure that I keep at that uh, zero degree Celsius right there outside temperature and not freeze over if that happens then maybe next week we will be able to make it towards Iceland yes we will it's looking good right now guys it could change and we could still veer off towards Scotland but yeah it's oh yeah it's so far so good silver pair yeah so far thank you for the follow I truly appreciate that man I truly appreciate that uh, slip sliver pair is it sliver pair well, I'm calling you pair, but yeah, it's. Uh, <laughs> I hope you will mind. But yeah, it's. Uh, it's. It. It. It is at the moment. Fingers crossed, looking good. It is at the moment looking good, but there is a little bit of navigation going on right there because if I look right there, there is a large plateau right there, and I think I need to avoid that. So I may skirt around it. As I said, we are still battling the uh, the uh, frozen wastes of uh, of Norway. It is still freezing uh, or just uh, zero degrees Celsius. So uh, yeah, it's uh, six hundred million net here right here now. Ah, uh, yeah, I, yeah. I think I need to uh, skirt around that. Medici is also doing that. I think. Or 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 I just said that, but that wait a but hey, hang on a tick, guys. Hang on a tick. No, I can fly around that. Uh-huh. 
Do you see that? This is the plateau I'm looking at right now, where I'm thinking, well, I'm going like that, but I think I'm going like that. Yes, I am. So we will be uh, flying through those fjords right there. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, need, I, need, I need reading glasses. But I'm also, the thing is, I'm also navigating like crazy. So it's, it's kind of, you guys, I want to talk to each and every one of you, of course, and uh, respond. But uh, at times, especially when it's uh, kind of hectic like this, and we, uh, we are battling the elements, dun, 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 I have to uh, really uh, focus. So, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, service in uh, Germany. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, uh, Kurt. Yeah. <laughs> Turboprop here too. Oh, that's nice. That is, that is very nice. Oh, uh, man, man, man. This is, this is a thing, guys. The scenery is incredible, Bradal. The scenery is incredible. Look at that. And as soon as the sun is going down again, which will be... Uh... Oh, that's cool. That is cool. Well, maybe if I'm ever uh, in the neighborhood, I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll look you up, man. I'll look you up. Unfortunately... My wife has, uh, ha Mrs. Mrs. Kadilu has back issues, so we don't travel that often, unfortunately. We don't travel that often, unfortunately. So this is basically my 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 travel uh, my travel fix for uh, for the next three and a half years. I can't say I've gone. Uh, I've seen a lot of places in Europe myself. I've seen a lot of places uh, with my wife. Uh, unfortunately, we can no longer do that due to her health issues. But we can see it right here. So yeah, it's uh Ah, there you go. Look at that, guys. Exactly as predicted. Right around there. That worked. That worked. Although uh, the uh it, it does look kinda stretched. Yeah. Stretch! <laughs> It could use a few uh, adjustments of the, uh, yeah, of the uh, of the mapping right there. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. Hmm? Now this should be. Um, we should be able to pick up the GPS again. Let's see, guys. Let's see. Uh, zero degrees. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that's the thing. <laughs> I'll look out for that one, uh, Quart. I'll look out for that one. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. On metering uh, that air. Oh, really? Yeah, exactly, exactly. 2D images stretch over a 3D topography, and that is it's completely stretched. There are parts where it basically kind of works, but there are parts like that where it goes kind of berserk. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, that's not right. That's not right. Funny though. <laughs> Uh, we know we know there are glitches, guys. Uh, I mean, Asobo basically stated, you know, uh, we have a, 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 a hundred people team and a hundred people just simply can't go to every part of the world in two months' time. It ju we just can't, basically. And, you know, I forgive them. For one, I forgive them. I forgive them. Well, we are now... I am slowly but steadily... Uh, we, sh we should be, indeed... Uh, start to head on towards our second leg of the flight uh, that second leg is an important one because that leads us basically up towards the uh, the fjord 
that will lead us uh, into uh, Norway's uh, central countryside. And uh, once we are there, uh, we should be able to cross with a bit of luck in towards, uh, towards Oslo. So we might freeze up there for a little bit. But we, once we hit Oslo, it should defrost again and we should be good. So uh, fingers crossed. If that works, this was one of the most hectic and scary flights I've done in a long, long time. It's uh, yeah, basically because of the uh, uh, because of the, uh, the, uh, the freezing temperatures here in Norway. Uh, yeah, we had to look out for that. Yeah. Ah, well, I won't be hitting. Unfortunately, fortunately, I won't be. Unfortunately, I won't be hitting North America in quite a while, Kurt. So yeah. That will be a long, long way off. A long way off. As of now, uh, after... Uh, uh, after... Uh, uh, Scandinavia, we are flying towards... With a bit of luck, next week we will be flying towards... Um, towards Iceland. Uh, we will be following that up then, to, uh, if we can make it. Uh, then we will be flying on towards uh, Scotland. If we can't make it to Iceland, we will be flying straight on towards Scotland. So, and then we will be doing Western Europe. We will be doing uh, the Mediterranean completely. We will then be flying south towards Africa and flying all the way around Africa. Africa. Then flying up towards uh, the Middle East, we will be doing... Uh, uh, will you fly Ireland? Of course I fly Ireland. Scotland? I yeah, indeed Scotland! Scotland for the win! So yeah, it's and I'm a Scottish lord. So yeah, of course we're going to Scotland. <laughs> but uh, uh, let me show you guys. Ah, uh, uh, there we go again. Yeah. Uh, did I already start my key pass? Nope, I did not. There we go. Alrighty then. That's there. Then we go to that. And, uh, uh, let me have a look, guys. Let me have a look. Let me have a look. I'm trying to do the... Uh, so, basically, you guys are all over the world, uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Quart. Uh, Sky Vector... Once again, we are logging into Sky Vector. Yep. Shoney is no longer a popsicle. That's my uh, my username. I change it daily. I change it daily. Yes. And my password is... Watch out for that fjord. Hey, look, there's a mountain. One, two, three. And log in. Yep, that worked. <laughs> That worked perfectly. All right, so let's push that back. Let's set that back. Hey, Sirtlo, good to see you, man. It's good to see you. Uh, yeah, so uh, we go to a flight plan. And we open up the flight plan. And now I have to make sure that we... Hang on a tick, guys. Uh, journey right there, low plan. Yep, that's what we've done so far. And let me have a look. Uh... Oh, uh, Bradell, uh, if you go to my uh, Discord channel, you, you if you want, you can add um, you can add waypoints to my uh, to my flight plan. So if you have any suggestions, no, of course not the the, the path that we've already taken. But uh, we do. Uh, uh, I do. Uh, however, uh, on the on the coming flight plans, you can simply add uh, uh, suggestions in the general uh, chat of the uh, of the um, of the Discord channel, and I I'm, I will be adding them. Um, we've added already uh, in Norway. We added a few uh, points today, Sirtlo. We are flying over your house, man. So yeah, it's. Uh, 
Indeed, we are flying over your house. I planned it. It's in there. It is in there. Once we hit Oslo, the next point will be you, man. Uh, but yeah, it's... Uh, and you can just simply add it and, and, and I will add it to my, my, my list. But as of now, what we've done is this. For those that joined us and have no clue what I'm doing... <laughs> Uh, they were like, oh, look, cool. This is a guy who has actually now multiplayer. No, that's just on Fridays. This is what we've done so far. And we've flown all the way along the coast of Norway. We are now flying here. So I have to add that little bit right there. Looks kind of imp impressive. But actually, this is my welcome to my wonderful world of complete and utter total madness. This may load a while. This may take a while. This, welcome to my wonderful world of complete and utter total insanity. There are people who are doing flights around the world and you've seen them going from point A to B. 40,000 kilometers, 60,000 kilometers. So uh, yeah, 220,000 kilometers. This is my flight plan, guys. Welcome to my wonderful world of madness. We will be flying, as I said, all the way around Europe, then heading towards Africa. Heading towards the Middle East, right there, I uh, India, S Indonesia. We will then be heading towards uh, Australia, doing New Zealand, uh, French Polynesia, Japan, China, m Russia. Then heading over towards uh, America, switching over, doing Canada all the way down along the American coast to South America. Heading towards Antarctica, all the way back up through the Caribbeans along the western coast of both North and South America, crossing over uh, to uh, Greenland, then heading over to Iceland, and then back to Europe. Welcome to my wonderful world of madness. That's what I'm doing. So yeah, Russia indeed needs an update. Yeah, it does. They are uh, actually at the moment, uh, where they are working uh, on it. Yeah, so uh, it does. It does. Exactly, it does. Yeah, it, it does. Yeah. Please do so. Please do. If you want to add it, please add it, uh, Pupatolino. Yes, do. Please do. Add it in the uh, Discord channel, and I will make sure that it will be added to my flight plan. That's uh, what I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah, I heard it's it's really bad. Yeah. it's I heard it's a uh, really bad word. But they are working. Uh, they are at the moment talking with uh, 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 Russian, uh, the uh, well, not officials, but Russian uh, uh, authorities about getting better updates for uh, for the countryside. So they can add it to the to the uh, to the game, but yeah, it is. It looks um, it is an incredible country. Let's face it, but yeah, it's uh, they are actually working on it. So uh, let's hope that uh, they will get the uh, the uh, the uh, the extra information those guys need. That would be so pretty awesome. That would be really really awesome. But yeah, that's kind of uh, what it's like, uh, Bredel. That's what we are doing. We are actually flying all the way around the world. It's, uh, yeah. I wasn't kidding when I was saying I'm flying to every country in the world. Yes, I am flying to every, every single country in the world. Fly over Son. From Oslo to Kristiansand. Okay. No problem, uh, Nielsen. No problem. Oh, I need to go down. Hang on a tick, because I do not want to freeze. Well, we're still good. Yeah, we're still good. But yeah, it's a... Uh, did a VR flight... Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's a that's a cool gift right there, Pupatolino. Wow. That is a really nice gift right there. That was awesome. Yeah. And in a good way or in a bad way, uh, Quirt? <laughs> in a good way or in a bad way? I mean... My biggest surprise so far has been Norway. This country is my biggest surprise so far. It is amazing. Ooh, Weem is right there. He just uh, yawed back right in. Asia section. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It is going to be really interesting to be flying over there. I'm, there are so many places where, where, that I'm looking forward to. I mean, I was looking forward to flying in Scandinavia, but I never, ever expected anything like this. Never. Ever. I mean, come on. Medici right there, by the way. Still in flight on the 172. Dum Dum Pum Pum in the 172 with his own livery, of course. And Weem just... Uh, I saw Weem somewhere. Oh, there's Weem. Right there. He's way up there. That's Weem. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's all going great so far. It's uh, 
it is looking amazing guys it is truly looking amazing but this game wow oh uh, by the way we were looking for some yeah uh let me have a look uh, maps yeah i'm just looking it up on google maps so uh bear with me some Norway, Norway, yeah, there we go, Norway, there we go, uh, well, am I saying this correctly, ah, uh, oh, well, yeah, no problem, we'll do a detour, we'll do a detour, no problem, I know where it is now, uh, son, no problem, we will be doing a detour uh, there, uh, Nielsen, yeah, uh, we need to go to Holmestrand, so that's on the other side of the bay, basically, that's where we're flying anyway, but if we go down towards the, uh, the, the yeah, we'll, we'll, we're, we're there anyway. So, yeah. Yeah, let's go to Son. Dang, the, oh, the clouds are low here. Also, Oslo Fjord. Yeah, okay. It's, oh, that's the fjord, the Oslo Fjord. Oh, that's actually the fjord where it's in. Okay, so, uh, yeah. And uh, yeah, as I said, we uh, 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 we are flying towards uh, Holmestrand uh, on request of I think Sertlo, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, yeah, we will then be uh, crossing. Uh, oh, first we will head down Holmestrand. No, Holmen, Holmen, Holmestrand. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Oslo, Son, then you. Yeah, exactly. That was my plan. That was exactly my plan, Sertlo. I mean, it's like five five seconds, <laughs> basically. So, yeah, it's, I know, dear. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. You are still the best. Yes, you are. Ah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that's uh, that's the thing, uh, Bradal. The only disadvantage this aircraft have has it it does not have any form of the icing. It just simply doesn't. So basically, it means that uh, oh, it's two degrees actually now. But yeah, it basically, it means that I can't fly. I can fly uh, at minus uh, 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 at freezing conditions. That's no problem. I can fly at freezing conditions. No problem whatsoever. Uh, but as soon as I hit a cloud, I'm dead. So, it's not the freezing that kills me, it's the clouds that kill me. So, yeah. Landing over skyscrapers scrapers on approach in Egypt. Oh, that sounds cool. Well, we're going to, uh, we're going to uh, see that as well. Uh, uh, yeah. 500 feet. Oh, that's kind of steep. Dang. That's kind of steep. But we are, uh, we are at the, uh, no problem, uh, Sertlo. We will, uh, we will first. We fly south towards Son, and then we uh, will be heading over toward. Uh, uh, we will be heading over towards. Yeah, full NTIs exactly. Well, the TBM, for instance, as you guys can see, we miss flying there. A lot of those turboprops also have the icing. Actually, the the the, the caravan also has the icing. I mean, it's. It, these are just simply one of the few very very few aircraft that does not have the icing. I wish they had, but they don't. So yeah, it's. Uh, but other, on the other hand, it does uh, leave a little bit more. Uh, uh, it it, it kind of uh, yeah. It adds a little bit uh, to the danger. Uh, I think we just lost Weem. No, say it ain't so. Oh no, Weem is over there. <laughs> it ain't so. <laughs> There's Don Don Pompon still in the air. Medici right behind me, and uh, yeah, we are now heading towards. Uh, oh, I need to divert myself a little bit. Uh, where are we? Need to pull up my navigraph. Uh, we're over there. Okay, so that's still very good. Yep, we are still doing good. Yeah, I know, uh, but that's exactly the reason why I'm using the uh, the, uh, the the 172 uh, right here, uh, Quert. I mean, it's like, yeah, you know, it's like flying. Uh, uh, it, it's hands-on flying. You see everything on the and I just want to see everything, you know. I mean, if you go in a in a uh, in a commercial aircraft. Which are very cool. Don't don't get me wrong. They are very very cool. But uh, yeah, it's basically uh, you go from A to B really quickly, and you're up in the air for quite a long time. In this case, we get to see the world in all its glory, and I have a little bit of fun and a little bit of danger at times. So yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it is kind of interesting. Yeah, <laughs> I mean it is really really interesting <laughs> dodging clouds in an A320. <laughs> <laughs> 
But it's uh, it, yeah, it, it it adds to the it, flying like this. It 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 has its moments. It does have its moment. I mean, uh, uh, let, let's face it, the landing we had last Thursday, wow. Things like that don't happen that often, I think, in, in commercial aircraft, so, uh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, it, it, it's so cool to do this. Uh, in my opinion, it, I, I really like, I mean, a lot of people declared me completely mad and crazy for doing it in, in, an, in an aircraft like this. Oh, the, did you guys notice that? The texture just popped in and popped out. That was weird. Uh, but yeah, it's... Uh, yeah, exactly. And it also has my preference. I mean, this is my puppy. This is my this is my, my pride and joy, you know. It's, it's Flying this plane is like, yeah. It is so, so cool. But it does add a few uh, uh, problems. Problems, well, problems is a big word. But it does add a few interesting uh, things here and there along the uh, along the way especially if you're flying uh, in, in in frozen conditions like this clouds clouds i need to avoid those clouds there we go i really need to avoid those clouds make sure that uh Yeah, this is good. We're still good. <laughs> we avoided the clouds perfectly. <laughs> yes, snow is coming. It is. And I'm not sure how it's portrayed in this uh, in this sim as of yet. I've seen... Of course, you can turn everything to white. That's no problem. You, I mean, you can you can basically set on uh, weather conditions uh, at, your, at your very whim. I mean, you can basically play God, let's face it. But yeah, it's... Uh, no, I will not do a barrel roll, uh, Satya uh, Vaswani. Satya Vaswani, welcome for joining my channel. I will not do a barrel roll, and I'll explain why. <laughs> there is a very, very good reason why. Uh, I'm not sure if you can uh, can uh, uh, post that clip, uh, uh, Endalia, but I did a... Uh, well, I flew basically upside down. In my way, uh, on my way towards uh, uh, in Lithuania, um, uh, ripped my plane apart, and uh, that was all she wrote. Uh, these planes are not made for doing acrobatics, so yeah, it, I can't do basically a barrel roll, even if I wanted. To. Well, I can do a barrel roll, but it, it it will basically kill my aircraft. Now that's no problem whatsoever. Usually people just restart, but I don't do that. So uh, people <laughs> see people for the barrel roll. Exactly. Did I turn that frown upside down? Yeah, that's the one exactly right there, Indalia. That's the one exactly right there. I mean, uh, I did that. And uh, if I crash, for those that do not know this, should I crash, I uh, uh, should I crash, I, uh, I, I, I basically made a penalty for myself. Uh, which means that if I crash, I have to go back to a save point. Now, you guys have chosen the save point for Europe already, and that was Innsbruck. So, when I crashed, uh, that was near um, uh, near Riga in uh, Latvia, I think. Uh, I nearly crashed. Uh, I had to fly back all the way from Innsbruck to Minsk. That cost me two days. And then do the flight again. So, it is a real, real penalty for me. Now... That only happens if I crash myself. Uh, but if I uh, crash due to a bug, like I did at the start of this stream, uh, that was that was a weather bug, that was not me, uh, then I get to restart the sim and do it all over again. So that's no problem. But yeah, I have no clue how Australia is. I've never flown in Australia, nor in, uh, nor in uh, New Zealand. I heard New Zealand looks stunning. So yeah. But uh, that's the reason, uh, Satya Vaswani, uh, why, why I'm not doing uh, doing barrel rolls anymore. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it, uh, I do it on other people's streams when I join them in uh, in the multiplayer flights. But uh, in my own, uh, no, no. Uh, we do have, uh, for instance, Yuri in here. Uh, yeah, I overspeeded it and then some. Yeah, yeah. And that was due to my own stupidity and ignorance as a pilot. Yes, that's true. That's, ooh, I got a beverage, guys. I got a lovely beverage. Thank you, my dear. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, Kiwi Island is okay. Yeah, Kiwi Island is really good. But yeah, it's uh, yeah exactly. Uh, usually we uh, uh, at times we also have uh, Yuri uh, in here in our in our stream. Uh, Yuri is uh, one of our German uh, German uh, followers. 
in here, also well known and known as indeed the inverter. That guy usually, if he flies along, flies along inverted. So uh, he does the entire flight inverted. <laughs> That's something I cannot do in my uh, in this little lovely plane right here. Uh, this is a <laughs> and there he is. <laughs> it's I've said his name too many times. He's like Beetlejuice, but more upside down. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> There he is, who summoned me? <laughs> I'm not sure if you can fly along today, but if you want to fly along today, Yuri, uh, you have to download the new flight plan. I uh, uh, uploaded a new flight plan so uh, we could uh, do the uh, flight towards Oslo a little bit. But yeah, it's uh, <laughs> upside down, man, exactly. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> you poor mortal shall see the power of the inverter. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> But yeah, it's uh, exactly, guys, exactly. So if you want to fly along, take that, uh, download the new flight plan, Yuri, the new flight plan. And uh, if you want to hop on, we are on the uh, um, uh, on the Western European server. That goes for anyone, by the way. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, uh, the uh, uh, FFF command right there. That's me doing it. Sorry, I beat you to it, Andalia. Ha 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 ha. But <laughs> yeah, you can download the flight plan right there. So uh, that's the one you can do. And um, if you uh, if you take that, you can simply hop onto the Western European server and look me up. I'm uh, on the uh, on the uh, 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 the second leg. I'm thinking. Let me have a look where I am, guys. There you can see it kind of nicely right there now. Uh, right there in the bottom. That's uh, where you can, uh, let me have a look there, right there, no, 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 right there, in the bottom, that's on the map right there, in the uh, right corner, that's Oslo, that's where we are headed today. If we reach that, we're good, we are good, but yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it is good, guys, and as so far, we are doing actually quite well, we are actually, do it is minus two degrees Celsius. But at the moment, we are still uh, not in the, in the clouds. So basically, that's pretty dang good, actually. As long as we're not in the clouds, we are not freezing and it should be good. We are should be good, yeah. Uh, actually, if I can uh, hop onto that uh, discussion you had there, uh, uh, Endalia, uh, they... For the uh, Hobbit movie, they recreated the set of um, of Hobbiton in Mata Mata uh, on the same location, uh, and it is actually a fixed location right now. You can go there. You can visit Hobbiton. It's an actual place. So yeah, it is an actual place. The uh, the the Dragon Inn is uh, is actually a visitable place. Yeah, you can go there. It is a visitor center right now. The the uh, the Green Dragon. So, uh, and the rest is also there. You can walk along the set of, uh, of Hobbiton. Uh, so that's actually there. Uh, the Rohan set was completely removed, but uh, you can still fly towards the location, of course. And uh, it was removed uh, because uh, they could only build it. They, uh, they had uh, the uh, approval that they would build it there. No, no, no. Lord of the Rings, Lord of the Rings, uh, Satya Vaswani. <laughs> Lord of the I am a Lord of the Rings fanboy, so uh, yeah. Uh, especially the uh, the Peter Jackson movies. I, I read the novels, of course. I read the novel of J.R.R. Tolkien, Professor Tolkien. I've read it. I've got it. Uh, but yeah, and uh, I read it regularly. But uh, the the set for uh, um, uh, for um, uh, Rohan or uh, Edoras, basically, uh, it was built in a nature preserve, and they had to uh, after the set they had to remove everything and even. Uh, replace the uh, the uh, or put back the the grass and and and, and uh, mosses that they removed. They had to keep that alive for during the entire shooting and put it back exactly where it was when they digged it up. So uh, they had greenhouses and everything. It's bizarre. It is absolutely bizarre. If you guys uh, love the uh, uh, love the Lord of the Rings movies, uh, especially the extended movies, which are the only right ones in my humble opinion. Uh, the uh, there is a incredible making of. If you love the movies, go watch the making of. They're even better. They're like 12 hours of complete making of all three movies. They are awesome. They are, and they go into 
very, very high detail. So, uh, yeah. It is incredible. But, yeah, it's... Uh, But, let's face it, we are basically flying over Mordor right now. <laughs> Did you see the making of the making of? I, well, <laughs> well. <laughs> hey, Neo, thank you for the follow, man. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Hope you uh, smile and hope you enjoy the channel, man. So, yeah, it's... Uh, you still need to see The Hobbit. Well, the thing is, I like The Hobbit just to see it once. Uh, but hiya, man! Thank you for joining us, and thank you for the follow. Hope you're uh, uh, well. You are here, and I already asked if you had a wonderful day. So uh, there you go. We are at the moment flying over Norway, by the way, Neo. And uh, for everyone who has joined us uh, just now, we are flying over Norway. By the way, hydrate! Don't forget to hydrate. Hmm? And we are headed now towards Oslo. But I am skirting the um, the. Uh, as you guys can see, I am skirting the. Um, uh, the uh, the uh, uh, western coast of uh, of Norway, somewhat. This is the flight plan that we are using right now, and uh, it's uh, yeah, it's it is awesome. So yeah, it's you're addicted to Microsoft Flight Simulator. Hey, there he is, <laughs> the inverter. That what that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, Yuri just joined joined us. Microsoft Flight Simulator. I uh, uh, Neil, I'm flying. Um, from Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, I fly every week, and I'm doing this. This is what we're doing. We've flown this part, this little part right here. We are now there, and we are still doing all of that. All of this. So then we are going over to the other side. All of this right there, all the way back down. That's what we're doing, and up. It is a flight of 220,000 nautical miles, 2100 plus hours, and it's uh, going to take us at least three and a half years. I'm not kidding, it's actually three and a half years, and we are extending on that flight. We are, uh, at today, every Friday, we have a free flight Friday, you guys can join me. You can download the, uh, the, the, the flight plan in the free flight Friday command, the FFF command in chat, you will get a link there. You can download it straight from my, uh, from my, uh, um, um, uh, from my Google Drive, sorry, yeah. Uh, you can also get it from uh, the, um, uh, from the Discord channel as well. And you can simply hop on on the Western European server, and I will be here flying along with. And at the moment, uh, yeah. But there, there is a thing. I'll get back to that. Uh, Yuri is right there. Uh, Medici is right there. That's one of her followers right there. Don Don Pom Pom, of course, the ever present Don Don Pom Pom. Excellent dude. Weem right there. Also, really cool streamer. So shout out to Don Don. Shout out to Yuri. Shout out to uh, Weem. Shout out to Medici. Guys, you are the bomb. Thank you for flying along and making it so much fun. Now, as you said, uh, Neo, uh, luckily, uh, you don't have to pay for fuel. That's right. But I am using actual fuel. I'll start out with 100% fuel, and that's all I'm using. If it's gone, it's gone. I have to divert. So I am also using real-time weather. But not real-time time. That's the only discrepancy. The only one that I'm using. So yeah, it's uh, that's the what, the what what we are doing at the moment. So uh, basically, we are now flying uh, towards uh, um, towards Oslo, uh, and yeah, it's uh, you know it, it's going to be it's it, it's going to be epic. As as by the way, Norway. Go fly there. Wow. If you've got Microsoft Flight Simulator, load it up. Go fly there. Holy the money. Especially the northern part of Norway. Good, good lord. Right now, this is the time to do that. Trust me on this. By the way, we are really high at the moment. 3,000 feet. And we're still not frozen over, are we? No, we're not. <laughs> this is going well. You know what I'm doing? I am going to set my... Yeah, it was 2,000 feet. I'm going to set it to 3,000. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Check out ENVA in Norway. Uh, I may... I think I've flown there. 
I think I've been there. I was there this week, I think. I'm not sure, actually. But yeah, it's... Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, uh, Quirt. Uh, land in multi, yeah, it's it's. I mean, it's Norway is is the biggest. This country has been the biggest surprise to me so far. It is epic. It is epic. I mean, what was ENVA? Let me have a look, guys. Uh, ENVA Norway. Where is the Trondheim? Yeah, we flew over Trondheim. Yeah, we did. Trondheim Airport. Uh, yesterday we flew over Trondheim, correct? Yeah. Yesterday we flew over Trondheim. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, basically, because this is my cockpit view, and although it is nice, it's kind of, I don't have something like um, uh, like eye tracker or something like that. Uh, um, such a Vasvani. Uh, and let's face it, the views like this, you don't get in a cockpit. Let's face it. You will not get this in a cockpit. I am, I can fly from the cockpit. That is no problem. But the views are much prettier. There is much more to look at. And this is what we're doing it for. Yeah. So it's... Ah, yeah. That's basically why we are... Uh, yesterday, exactly, I flew over Trondheim. Yeah, exactly, Jamal. But this is the reason why I'm doing this, uh, Satya Faswani. Yeah. This is exactly the reason. And as I said yesterday, we flew over Trondheim. It was really cool. We flew straight into the fjord. <laughs> Still flying upside down, doing all kinds of tricks right there. All kinds of tricks right there. By the way, uh, Yuri's dad is also very, and Yuri also know. I think you actually know how to fly, don't you, Yuri? But yeah, uh, I got a, uh, a 2080 Ti, uh, such a Vaswani. I uh, yeah, uh, up until uh, a few months ago, I was the bomb, and then the uh, uh, RTX 30 series dropped, and I was no longer the bomb. So. <laughs> But yeah, that's the way it works in uh, in uh, uh, computer hardware. Today you got the best thing indeed, and tomorrow you're nothing. So uh, <laughs> exactly, full specs are in the uh, in the description below. Yeah, and I built that puppy myself, by the way. I built that puppy completely by hand. Also, custom water cooled and custom heart tubing. I did that myself. First time I ever did custom water uh, uh, heart tubing, and I'm never doing it like that again. So. <laughs> Learned a lot, but yeah, it's uh, yeah, exactly. Today, your PS5, tomorrow, your PS4, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, my uh, general thumb, rule of thumb is uh, everything you buy today has been uh, obsolete since yesterday, so uh, yeah, <laughs> basically that. But uh, ah, yeah, I saw the new Gigabyte one with the uh, 20 gigs of RAM. Holy the moly i was drooling i was like oh goody 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 but yeah i just got this one so it's still let's face it this is still a very very good pc that i'm running this on so uh yeah yeah you know the 3080 ti's will probably be around 1500 dollars anyway so yeah it's uh okay extinct bot that's nice how the hell did that come in there well uh, I think we need a ban. So, yeah. uh, Stone Street. Uh, well, the thing is, Stone Street, I have been building PCs for over... Uh, yeah. yeah, exactly. Thank you very much, Andalia. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, who, uh, the thing is, uh, Stone Street, um, I've been building PCs for over 30 years. So I've been building my own PCs for a very, very long time. So I'm pretty experienced. However, even this, I did, uh, this build took me about uh, nearly a month. And that was basically due to the, uh, the, the uh, <laughs> hallelujah, praise the Lord. Uh, but uh, it was basically due to the, uh, um, uh, to the fact that I, um, uh, I had to, to, to bend the tubes and stuff like that. And I had to learn that. So yeah, it's. Uh, I use PC Part Picker partly. Yes, I use PC Part Picker. I also watch uh, watched a lot of uh, channels like, uh, of course, Gamers Nexus with uh, uh, with uh, Tech Jesus Steve. Uh, I watched uh, channels like uh, like uh, 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 Jace Two Cents. I mean, a lot of people don't like him, but I learned a lot uh, from him with uh, with water cooling and that's, uh, things like that. So yeah, it's. Uh, 
<laughs> what a cool NPC he is. <laughs> Monday morning, the whole floor wet. Ooh, that's uh, that's not good. That's not good. Well, I've been lucky so far. It's all uh, it's all very good. It's all good. Uh, I also built my wife's PC, Kadila's PC. She has a 1080. It's also completely water cooled. Uh, but that's soft tubing and uh, that uh, if you want to start out with water cooling I can recommend soft tubing over uh, over hard tubing yeah yeah but if you want uh, to do water cooling specifically uh, check out EK water blocks those guys are excellent there are a lot of good things out there yeah yeah they are I mean it's a really shame that a, once you fly on top right here it looks really really weird texture wise that's a bit of a shame Especially since it's been so beautiful so far, uh, Dondo Pump, and you are quite right. We are at the moment, uh, my friend, uh, we are at the moment flying uh, over Norway and we're doing pretty well so far, actually. Uh, I was, uh, I had to uh, uh, rearrange my, uh, my flight plan because of uh, basically, well, clouds galore. But as of now, the clouds are still very, very nice. The weather is freezing. It is minus five where we are. But, uh, as there are no clouds, we are good. We are really good, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. They are, water cooling is very expensive. It's basically the, the rule of thumb if you do water cooling. Uh, if your uh, water cooling parts uh, exceed the parts that you are actually buying uh, in money-wise, uh, you should not do water cooling. And let's face it, air cooling these days is very good as well, you know. So, uh, yeah, it's... Yeah, it's it's all what you what you want. It's all uh, as I said. Don't yuck somebody's yum. You know, if you like water cooling, I love that kind of stuff. And I just wanted a complete over the top PC. So yeah, basically that's what I did. Uh, I, I I took a large a large bag of money and threw it towards uh, a lot of uh, a lot of hardware uh, uh, creators. So uh, yeah, um, my PC was quite expensive to say the least, but. Uh, uh, and overkill, very, very much overkill. <laughs> that was Weem doing the uh, well-known uh, 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 Top Gun move right there. The uh, throw, flipping the bird, as we call it. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, yeah, exactly, exactly, quite right there. Yeah. Uh, not at the moment there, uh, Neo. I am not using it, but I am looking into it. There were a few of our uh, viewers who recommended I look into that. So, yeah, it's... Uh, 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 as of now, I am going to look into the fact that, if we are, uh, that we can use uh, a modded version of the C172. Not sure if I'm going to do that, but I am looking into that. So maybe this weekend I'll be uh, giving that a go. Yeah, it's... Uh, where did you find a large bag of money? Well, I actually worked like crazy to get that, to fill up that bag of money and then threw it at someone. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, lots of mountains indeed. Well, it's mountain, it is, yeah, it is kind of mountain, but it basically it's all fjords down there. So uh, it's mostly fjords what you're looking at. But look at that, guys. I mean, it does look amazing. It does look amazing. Yeah, the RGB is always very nice. These days you have to have RGB, you know. RGB equals more FPS. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, it's... Uh, thank you for the paint. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, it was actually made by one of our viewers, uh, Neo. It's uh, PV made it. But here's the kicker. Let me show you. So this is the inside. Oh, I am uh, over revving a little bit right there. Oh, I was going down like an idiot. Okay, that explains it. There we go. That's a little bit better. Uh, here's the kicker. Nice black interior leather. That's where you guys are, by the way, in the back. But... Look at that. I got my own logo on my yoke. That's cool. <laughs> so, yeah, it's uh, <laughs> that's pretty cool. I uh, I really like that one. But, yeah, it was made by PV93, by the way. Uh, PV made, uh, made this. Yeah, very nice. I am really happy with it. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it, it, looks, it looks really cool. It looks really cool. I am enjoying that quite a lot. Yeah. The Go Faster stickers. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. The Go Faster stripes uh, are just as important with, uh, <laughs> with, uh, with RGB. By the way, guys, we are at the moment flying at 4,000 feet, and we're still not freezing. No clouds, so that's good. 
It is at the moment minus three, so that's not bad. But I do need to set my uh, altitude a little bit. And <laughs> BV just, uh, or uh, uh, um, Yuri just flew by. Let's set it to 4,500. That should be good enough. Um, who do we have here? We have Weem right there. Donald Pumper, Medici. Zach is in the distance. Way to go, Zach. Zach just joined us. And Yuri, of course. So we're now at uh, one, two, three, four, five, six people flying along uh, the uh, the uh, uh, the Norwegian coastline, heading towards Oslo. Yes, we are invading Oslo, guys. We are invading Oslo. Here we come. Uh, once we fly over Oslo, we will be heading down towards the coast, towards the south, where we will be landing on the southernmost tip. The funny thing is, last week's Friday, if you guys remember, last week uh, Free Flight Friday, we flew to the most northern tip of Norway and today we are heading towards the most southern tip of Norway where we will be landing so yeah it's uh, yeah it's 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 bizarre uh, uh, such a Faswani it is bizarre you know it's poor people in Oslo yeah hello crazy people coming in <laughs> so uh, hello <laughs> but yeah it's uh, it's it the, the the turbulence is bizarre it is yeah it's it is huge you know uh, Swordfish, I was uh, uh, doing uh, my updating my journey so far, and I noticed that we already flown ten thousand nautical miles, that twenty thousand kilometers, and I, to me, we've just started. We've just started. This is just the the the, the start of our flight. Jury dropping to the ground. He never crashed, though. I don't think Jury ever crashed doing this kind of crazy acrobatics right there. I've never seen him crash. Well, going up again. <laughs> and Medici right there, still in the distance. Zach following. Dondon Pompon and Weem also. All of the most of the guys are in 172s. So we have four 172s up in the air, one TBM. And uh, yeah, it's uh, uh, actually uh, I kind of can because if you see this, I can see what we're burning on fuel, and it's near to 19,000 gallons of fuel. This is in gallons. So it's 19,000 gallons of fuel to basically do this. To fly around this. That's what we've been doing. So this is costing us 19,000 gallons. And from that we can basically calculate what our flight cost. I think it came down to, I think, 15... Thousand no, twenty five thousand dollars or something like that. It was a bizarre, yeah. It was bizarre. So it's yeah. It was bizarre. It is coming for the Xbox uh, Swordfish. Yeah, it is. It is. And the thing is, um, you can of course fly this uh, this simulator with with a controller. Uh, I. Personally, would not recommend it, but yeah, it's, uh, you know, you can. But uh, their Honeycomb are developing their uh, their peripherals, so they will also be working on the uh, on the Xbox. The Alpha Yoke does not work on the Xbox, but they have a converter for that. I think it's like 20 euros or something, or 20 dollars. Uh, the Bravo uh, Throttle uh, Quadrant is... Um, working on the xbox already and so is the charlie rudder panel that's also working on the uh, on the uh, on the xbox so basically you can plug that all in and it should work so yeah uh what date is it coming to the xbox it's going to be on the new launch when the new xbox is launched so it will only run on the new xbox by the way not on the uh, xbox one uh, at the moment thank you very much and dahlia yeah but it also does have mouse and keyboard support oh that's cool that is pretty cool. But yeah, at the moment, I, I, basically, if you want, in my opinion, if you want to get the best out of this simulation, I think the PC is the way to go. The PC is the way to go, yeah. And uh, next one, it's not a particular town. No, it isn't. It's more like a waypoint in the middle of a, uh, uh, as you can see right there. Uh, I'm zooming in right there. That's where we are right now. And we are flying right there. It's basically in the middle of a fjord. And then we are heading over towards um, uh, towards uh, the um, uh, towards Oslo. So that's the next stretch, right there. That's Oslo. So once we are here, 
and we still do not fly in clouds, we're good. We are good, guys. And so far, it's looking great. I mean, the weather is looking brilliant. It is real-time weather. Uh, so that's really good. By the way, what am I doing? Oh, my uh, my mixture is really lean right there. It's looking really good. Look at that. That's nice. Uh, but yeah, it's it's so far, it is looking good. And uh, uh, yeah, uh, as of now, uh, so we are basically he headed towards a fjord. But because my, my thinking was, if it's too cloudy, I can fly uh, uh, through the fjords inland towards uh, towards uh, Oslo, then simply pop over, uh, pop onto the mainland where it's freezing and probably cloudy. So I will be getting a little bit of um, uh, of condensation and freezing on my plane, but not much. <laughs> <laughs> Flipping me the bird again. <laughs> I have a need, a need for speed. Um, so yeah, it, it basically, I then will be frozen over a little bit. I, I, I was hoping that that would not happen, but yeah, it, it's as of now we are still good. Uh, so this is looking really good. And uh, then we will be flying onto Oslo, where it is not freezing. It's about two or three degrees Celsius, which would mean that basically we will be de defrosting all the way onto Oslo. And if we then follow along the coast, flying over uh, Nielsen's uh, suggestion uh, of Son, and then on towards Sublo uh, to, and I have to say this right, uh, Holmestrand, uh, then we are on towards along the coast towards uh, the, um, uh, uh, towards the, uh, the um, uh, towards Call. I keep forgetting that. Christian Sund, yeah. And Christian Sund is where we will be landing today. Uh, by the way, uh, I uh, did ILS landings yesterday. I did not program an ILS approach today. Why didn't I do that? Because what we are going to do is we are going to program it in flight. I am going to program the approach in flight. See if that works. So uh, that should be interesting, uh, basically. Let's see if that's a thing. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's going to be interesting. But let's hope it works. We will be landing on uh, runway 3 in Christian Sand. That's where I'm going for. And I am using, uh, of course, my uh, my lovely, lovely Navigraph. Thank you, Navigraph, for making this. I mean, these, these guys have been in business for years now. Been uh, adding uh, charge and upgrading their, uh, their services. They're, they're completely worth it. If you fly this, uh, fly this uh, simulation uh, uh, a lot, trust me, Navigraph is the way to go. Uh, unless you want to do it, of course. Uh, there are also uh, uh, freeware alternatives like uh, Little Nav Map, which are really good. But the, the comfort of, na of, of, of Navigraph is awesome. Thank you, Ariel Agui. Thank you very, uh, very much for, uh, for that follow. And uh, welcome here to our lovely, lovely channel. Hope you're having fun. Hope you have a smile on your face. As of now, we are flying still over Norway. Look at that. It's so pretty, pretty, pretty. It is... Wow. Oh, okay. So that was cool too. <laughs> it doesn't matter where you look. It does not matter where you look. It looks incredible, guys. It all looks so dang beautiful. It looks stunning. It looks absolutely stunning. Uh, by the way, I also um, updated a few landmarks for Oslo, so we should be uh, Oslo, Oslo should be a little bit more accurate with a bit of luck. Uh, with a bit of luck, fingers crossed. And uh, yeah, so I also, by the way, added the uh, the uh, mod uh, which you can get from Flight Sim. Yeah, the landscape is incredible. If you have the chance, Neo, and it's not that I want you to 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 watch back my old vaults, but watch the vaults from uh, the last three flights, two or three flights. The, and just skip along. The views are amazing, especially the one on uh, Wednesday and yesterday. They were incredible. I was flying through fog. The sun was going down, so everything was red. And flying through this countryside, you basically barely could make it out. But all the way down, things like this, everything in in uh, in in, uh, uh, in 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 everything was red. It was it it was incredible. I've never seen ever seen anything like that ever. It was amazing. Yeah. Yeah, Tomatinos. Yeah, this is basically all ultra. It's I'm running this on 1440p, and it's uh, basically everything is ultra except for the drawing distance. That's 
on 100% instead of 200%. If I put that on 200%, I get like 15 frames a second. As of now, I am doing this. Uh, <laughs> uh, Zach, mountains. Yeah, Th those are mountains, Zach. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so, uh, uh, yeah. Oh, no, not the coffee. Say it ain't so, Quirt. I, I feel your pain. I, I feel your pain. <laughs> so, uh, and, <laughs> rip. But yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, it, 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 it has been an incredible journey in, in Norway so far. I mean, mind-blowingly beautiful. Mind-blowingly beautiful. Is that Skyrim? You think it was, wasn't it? Yeah. But this looks better than Skyrim. So, uh, <laughs> A lot, lot better. A few moments later. <laughs> it's, it's sometimes achingly beautiful. It is incredible. It is truly incredible. There goes Yuri again. All the way right there. Flipping over, doing his thing. Dum dum bum bum, way over there in the distance. But I am still climbing. I'm nearly at 6,000 feet, guys. And it is minus 6. Still not frozen over. So, yeah. It's uh, terrain, terrain. Pull up, pull up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Pull up, pull up. Terrain, terrain. Pull up. <laughs> Danger, family. Rob there he goes again. There is our Zach. Once again, up in the air. Those crazy men with his flying machine. They go up and up, up. They go down to the end, down. And he's going down. Oh, yeah. Uh, Zach, uh, Mayday, I think, May yeah, that's, yeah, no, no, well, maybe, 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 no, <laughs> no, 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 it, no, <laughs> no, and yes, if you want to do that on my stream, you can, <laughs> you have every right to, <laughs> I'm just simply flying along. I'm here for the entertainment, guys. Uh, but you can do anything you like. As I said, Yuri is flying upside down right there. He has done so uh, on many a flight on Free Flight Friday. If you guys want to join me... Yeah, that was terrifying. <laughs> but yeah, it's... Uh, Yuri is right there. All the way down there. And Dundon Pompon is way off in the distance right there. Our lovely Don Don Pompon. Go check out their channels. Uh, these guys are great. Zach is great. Don Don is great. I mean, uh, Weem is excellent. Uh, Medici, go check out uh, Yuri. Go check him out, guys. They're awesome. Give him some love. Give him a, give him a like. You know, it's... Uh, yeah. But it's, uh, it's, it's... So far, things are looking up, actually. So it's... Uh, yeah. <laughs> it is looking up. Excellent, guys. Oh, you don't stream. Oh, well, okay. Sorry about that. Yuri doesn't stream. He just flies along upside down as the inverter. I need to get some sort of soundboard going. But yeah, it's... Uh, nah. <laughs> Pish posh. I don't... I, like, I don't stream, man. <laughs> so, uh, I don't stream. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, it's... Uh, but Zach does. And uh, so does Don Don Pan Pan, of course. You know, uh, by the way, Captain Arash, also a excellent streamer. Flies around the world as well. Dundon Pompon uh, has a flight around the world, also does very much on air, and uh, Zach does on air and is all over the place. So, uh, yep. Yeah. They are all over the place. They are all over the place. It is excellent. Look at that, guys. Weem right there in the distance. Medici still following closely. We have. Uh, who do we have as well? Uh, we have Dondon right there. By the way, if you want to join us, guys, you can. It is no problem whatsoever. Uh, you can join us. Uh, no, I think you got them all uh, there, uh, Indalia. You got them all. Uh, but yeah, you can join us on the uh, Free Flight Friday flight plan. Just download that, hop on, and uh, and fly along, basically. Uh, have a little bit of fun. Join us on the Western European server. It is no problem whatsoever. Uh, we are uh, flying today uh, a very nice flight towards Oslo. I will be zooming out a little bit. You can see in the map where we are going, basically. Uh, but uh, that's only a small part of the total and utter madness that I'm doing right here. This is what we're actually doing. We are flying all the way around the world 
actually flying to every single country. Yes, we are. Uh, and even in certain countries like the United States, we are visiting every single state. Yes, I am also flying to Honolulu, but I'll be doing that in a bonus stream. But yes, we are all the way flying all the way around the world, even trying to reach Antarctica, uh, flying all the way around the world. We will be, uh, we are at the moment, we are flying here. We will be heading down towards Western Europe, then all the way down towards, uh, towards Africa, round Africa, towards the East, South, uh, Southeast Asia, doing uh, Australia and New Zealand and the, uh, the um, uh, French Polynesia. Uh, we are then heading towards China, Japan, Russia for a large part. And yeah, it's... Um... Joachim asked me a question. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Uh, would an i9... Uh... Oh, yeah. Yeah, no problem whatsoever, man. Yeah, this will... Be, it will be... Uh, you will at least be able to run it high... Uh, in 10, uh, 1080p, you will... Ba you will can run everything in Ultra. But uh, uh, I think um, even uh, at 1440p, you'll still get a lot on Ultra and even high. And don't forget, guys, next uh, week... Yeah, e exactly. Uh, I think you will be uh, going up to about uh, 40... Uh, in 1080p, you will be hitting 50 to 60 FPS. Uh, in 1440p, uh, uh, you will be basically touching up on 30 to 40 FPS. But... Don't forget, guys, this is running at 30, 40 FPS. And it's smooth. It's buttery smooth. Because simply because if you don't run it like... Um, uh, because uh, the plane doesn't fly that fast, even, even uh, A320s and commercial aircraft, it can handle it perfectly fine. So 30 to 40 FPS is not a bad thing, actually. However, however, there is a... Ah, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Then, uh, yeah, okay, that's that may be a thing uh, then, uh, Joachim. By the way, thank you for joining our channel, man. Uh, thank you for being here. Uh, hope you're enjoying uh, the show. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, as, uh, as, as I'm saying, uh, next Tuesday, yeah, next Tuesday, there will be... <laughs> it's Dragas! He's here! Hey, Dragas! <laughs> he joined us as well! Um, next Tuesday, they will be uh, introducing the, uh, the latest patch. So... Uh, Oh, that will be fine. That will be fine. Trust me. You will be running it like crazy on Ultra. No problem. Uh, it's, uh, but, uh, yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's, um, um, next Tuesday will be the latest update, and they will be updating the, um, uh, uh, three and a half years, Tomatinos. Yeah, three and a half years. Um, they will be updating the game, so uh, uh, PCs, High-end PCs have horrible performance right now, and that will be updated again. So, uh, with a bit of luck, uh, it will be, uh, yeah, it will be a, 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 a lot better then. A lot better. So, yeah. I'm not sure, Mauke. You have to try that. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, to be honest. I'm not that well-versed. I know that uh, uh, if you run it on... O I can only recommend do it on pure OBS. So, yeah. Do it on OBS, yeah. Of course, give it a go. Give it a go. Uh, but yeah, it's... Uh, as I said, Dragas is here as well. Uh, that's also one of our uh, regulars here. Dragas flying the King Air in the, uh, in the uh, uh, Canadian Coast Guard livery, guys. Uh, you can join me if you want on my Free Flight Fridays. And uh, if you join me on my Free Flight Fridays, you can... Wow. I'm sorry. I got distracted by... That's pretty. That's pretty right there. That's very pretty. Anyway, um, yeah, it's... Uh, <laughs> what was I talking about? Uh, the... Uh, um, um, you can join me in the Free Flight Friday. That's what I was talking about. And if you join me... Um, you can download the Free Flight Friday uh, flight plan uh, from the chat. You can download it from Discord channel. Uh, you can simply hop onto the Western European server, but if you do that regularly, leave a link for the uh, for the livery that you want in my Discord channel. I will install that link, uh, the, that livery, uh, especially for you if I don't already have it, uh, in my directory. So the next time you fly along with me, you get your own livery, like Dragas, right there. As I said, flying the Canadian Coast Guard colors, 
right there. Don Don Pan Pan is flying probably his Mausu uh, livery. And uh, yeah, so uh, th that's actually not an option. It looks incredible. Look at that, guys. All those rivers flowing straight into that fjord. Holy the moly. What a country. What a country, guys. What a country. Oh, good lord. Or, yeah, there are... Well, that that's the thing. It's, it's not properly mapped yet. So it kind of looks like it's waterfalls. Or it, it could be waterfalls, but it looks like streams right now. But yeah, you, you mean like those right here, right there, like everything like that. Yeah, those are streams, I think, and, and waterfalls. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's... Uh, if you keep a lot more open, uh, uh, like Spotify, Discord, and, and things like that, uh, yeah, it is handy to have a little bit more memory uh, right there, uh, uh, Joachim. Yeah. It is a little bit more handy to have that, yeah. I can recommend it. It's not obligatory, but I can recommend it, yeah. But yeah, it's... Uh, that is actually a good idea there, Quart. Put the rolling cache on a separate drive controller. Yeah, that helps out a lot too. I have my rolling cache on uh, uh, a different drive uh, on my on my D drive, and I have my game running on my C drive, and I have an E drive even of two gigabytes. Uh, that's an SSD, and the other one, um, other two are M.2s. So uh, yeah, it's uh, the 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 game itself is installed on my C drive in an. Uh, uh, that's an, uh, um, um, an NVMe drive, and I have uh, the uh, rolling cache is on my uh, second uh, NVMe drive, and that's a one gigabyte drive, so both Samsung. So yeah, it, it, it helps out a lot to make things a lot smoother. But as I said, I have like an, a nearly retarded PC. My PC is a complete, complete over the top. It's uh, highly unnecessary. <laughs> Look at Weem! All the way over there. I can barely make him out, but he's there. I can barely make him out there. <laughs> yeah, there is the inverter again. Still flying upside down. I wasn't kidding when he's, when I said that idiot is flying upside down continuously. Yes, Yuri, I called you an idiot. I know. <laughs> but a, in a good way. Hey, Gig Guy is there as well. Gig Guy just joined us. Awesome. There is Dragas. Awesome. Uh, we have Don Don Pan Pan who is way over there. <laughs> Don, where are you going? So, uh, yeah. Where are you going? There is Yuri. We have Medici still up in the air as well. We have Gigai up in the air as well now. Good to see you, Gigai, man. Howdy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hello, my friend. Thank you for joining us on Free Flight Fridays. As of now, look at this, guys, guy. Look at this. This is going brilliant. We are actually en route towards Oslo right there. It is minus five degrees, but who cares? It is beautiful weather. It is beautiful, beautiful weather. Look at that. Look. Yes, 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 yes. I am so happy, guys. I am so happy. Yes, I'm so psyched. We can actually make Oslo, which might mean that next week I might be able to fly to Iceland. Yes. That will mean I could actually finish my, uh, finish my European flight the way I intended it to fly uh, to, uh, the way i planned it the thing was it is freezing there at the moment i'll show you it is freezing and we are today we are landing right there that's where we are landing and with a bit of luck next wednesday i will be flying all the way up towards iceland doing the iceland thing and then heading back and next week with a bit of luck i will be uh, uh the, the weather will i, I, I will be uh, just sliding in between two cold fronts so basically uh, no problem with uh, with icing i can just fly towards iceland fly around iceland fly back towards scotland and then i uh then we're good to go basically once i hit scotland hey thank you for the follow Joachim. i truly appreciate that man thank you for the following thank you for joining our lovely crazy family uh who are having fun in the sky yeah <laughs> But yeah, it's uh, as far as this is going. Yeah, it's. Uh, I know it's so lucky, uh, Nielsen. I was I was so praying, praying, praying that I could reach it. I mean, and I struggled. Trust me, I struggled. Um, especially uh, the uh, the Wednesday flight. That was. Yeah, it is. It, it, I mean, Wednesday was 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 
interesting to say the least to say the least i mean we were flying in frozen temperatures i had to keep low uh, i mean it, it's yeah it's 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 incredible it it was it, it was amazing but gorgeous now i see that i need to change my altitude again just to make sure that if i go on autopilot now by the way for those that do not know i fly this manually completely manually this entire three and a half years crazy stream is is completely manual well no mostly manual mostly manual not completely but mostly and um so but i if i if i get a call or anything which is important i sometimes of course life just happens even during streaming and uh i have to uh, i i can set it to autopilot i can however uh i do not do so but yeah it is set on autopilot i'll turn on the flight director by the way turn on nav mode and turn on uh, flight level control just in case as you guys can see all i need to now is just push my big red button on my flight yoke and off we go uh completely manual but yeah it's uh <laughs> proceeds to fly over <laughs> well there's that yeah the flight is going really really good uh pv it is going really well by the way for those guys for those people that are wondering out there uh pv is the one who actually made this freaking cool livery he also made the mouse livery of don don pam pam who is oh there is dragos by the way in his uh his coast guard livery uh don don is I have no clue where Don Don is. Don Don, where are you? Don? Don still with us? Oh, Don just left. Ah, uh, okay. Ah, well, Don Don has the mouse delivery. Uh, this is uh, the uh, lovely Coast Guard delivery of uh, of Dragas right there. Very. Oh, no problem, man. No problem. No problem. No problem whatsoever, Don. And uh, uh, let me see. We have Geek Eye right there. Uh, as I said, uh, Weem also has his own delivery, by the way. Uh, but PV made this livery especially for us. Shoney Gaming all over the wing. The logo right there on the back of the wing. And we have the logo. Right there on the steering wheel. That's so cool. I still think that's very, very cool. So yeah. it's uh, That's been especially made for us. And I'm enjoying that. I am enjoying that. Yes, I am. So as of now, we are flying all the way across the inland. We are now crossing towards uh, uh, towards Oslo, uh, and uh, then we will once again veer off uh, towards the south, uh, heading on towards uh, Christiansand. We will be flying over two locations. Uh, we will be flying over Son as well. After Oslo, we will be flying over Son, and we will be flying over um, Holmestrand. Uh, which were suggested by uh, well, two of our viewers, actually. Nielsen uh, wants to fly us over Son, which we are going to do. Uh, we're all going to wave at Nielsen right there. Then we're flying to uh, to Holmestrand, where uh, Sirtlow lives, and we will be waving to him as well. And then we will be moving on down towards the south, towards Christiansen, where we will be landing today. And with a bit of luck, that will be in about two hours' time. One, hour, one and a half to about two hours. I'm not sure what the ETE is right now. But uh, I think it's. I think it says an hour. Yeah, that that's not quite right. I think one hour. That's not quite right. Although we are making great time, by the way, we are making excellent time. But the skies look brilliant right now. We haven't had this good a weather in 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 nearly a week. Nearly a week. It is truly amazing. Beautiful, beautiful weather. Yeah. I have been to Finland. Yeah, I have flown all the way over Finland. Uh, and um, Oh, you are from there. Oh, you just missed that, man. Um, I'll be sure to look up and wave. Exactly. When the, uh, when the, uh, when the, the crazy per persons are coming flying over to you. <laughs> exactly. Uh, I have been flying. As you can see, right there, we uh, flew uh, from... Uh, 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 Tallinn all the way over to uh, Helsinki then flew all the way up towards Finland towards uh, uh, Ivalo uh, headed back to Kitala all the way down towards the coast and then uh, we flew on towards Sweden which we have done as well 
Uh, the most interesting landing right there, Kiruna. Yeah, that was the one. Uh, yeah, I do. I do, uh, Swordfish. Yeah, I do. Exactly. So, uh, yeah, I have been to Finland and it was, it was beautiful. Finland was beautiful. I have to admit, really large forests and, and nice, nice lakes there. It looked truly amazing. A few glitches here and there, unfortunately. Um, you have a lot of uh, raised lakes in uh, in Finland, so yeah, it's. Uh... No, I flew over Helsinki Airport and uh, I flew over Helsinki itself. We did a few uh, uh, flybys over uh, over uh, over Helsinki, uh, and then we flew on towards um, uh, the northern part of uh, of Finland, where we. Uh, I think we did Finland in like three three or four flights, something like that. Yeah. Three or four flights, so it was really nice. It was really nice. We had good weather as well there. It was really excellent flying there. But as of now, guys, we are flying over uh, over the middle most part of, of Norway. Heading towards Oslo. That's where we came from. That's the uh, the uh, the western part of, uh, of Norway, the ocean right there. And now we are looking on towards... Um, uh, we are looking on towards Oslo. It should be somewhere over there. Ish. Right there. Yeah. So it's, uh, yeah, there. But yeah, it's, uh, so far, Wim is right there. Uh, Dragas is also flying. I have no idea who this is. Jostein Grimstad. Well, welcome to our flight. I'm <laughs> not sure if you're in our channel, but if you are, give a shout out and I will give a shout out to you, my friend. And uh, so he's flying along, Jostein Grimstad. Uh, there is Yuri right there in the distance. Uh, we have Medici and Geek Guy still in the distance as well. Uh, is that one of our followers as well? I'm not sure. So yeah, it's uh, as far as this is going, we are still going very, very nicely, guys. We have a large group right here. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it is all going very well. It is all going very well. So yeah, and with a bit of luck, uh, next week there will be an update. Very Norwegian name, Jostein Grimstad. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Well, I'm not sure, as I said, I'm not sure if uh, he if he's in the channel right now. I hope he is. I hope he is. And if not, uh, well, that's fine too. He can simply nicely fly along with us, no problem whatsoever. Of course you can. Everyone's invited to uh, simply come along. I think he is. I think he is. Uh, although I don't think... I think this was more a happenstance uh, 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 run-in by him. Maybe. Uh, so yeah, it's... Uh, I think that was more uh, more like, Hey, there are a few people there. Let's go check it out. <laughs> but yeah, shout out to Jostein if you're flying in the air. Man, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having fun. So it's uh, really good fun seeing all those people flying around here, having a lot of fun. And at the moment, guys, uh, it is still four degrees Celsius. So yeah, it's uh, it is not bad actually. But uh, the freezing is not the problem. The biggest problem, the biggest problem is 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 clouds. But yeah, as of now, we're good. It's good. It is still good. So uh, yeah, it's. Uh, yeah, you will get uh, 30 to 60, uh, 30 to 40 or 50, uh, uh, you, yeah, 30 to 60. Uh, you ba basically will be able to get on 1080p, uh, Joachim, yeah, you can. I get, with my machine on 1440, I get about 30 to 40. If I set it to 1080p, I get about, uh, no, I get, uh, yeah, if I set it to 1080p, I will get about 60. But yeah, it's, uh, yeah. Call servers on the call sign. Yeah, exactly, uh, Jamel. Yeah, there's Dragas, indeed. Oh, look at that, guys. The uh, Oh, that's a nice maneuver right there, Dragas. That's a more nice maneuver right there. Look at those lovely Coast Guard colors. That's the actual Coast Guard livery of, uh, of uh, Canada. The Canadian Coast Guard. Dragas is Canadian. He is. Yuri is from Germany, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, he is. I know he is. Uh, of course, we have Wim. I have no idea where you're from, Wim. I thought Great Britain, if I'm not mistaken. And Medici right there. Geek Guy right there. Guys, it is awesome having you fly along with me. Thank you. 
thank you for coming along. And for those that want to join us, <laughs> he's just yawed in right there. Joost and Grimstad just, just yawed in. Uh, if you want to join us, guys, uh, check out the uh, Free Flight Friday flight plan. Uh, go uh, download that in the uh, in the chat. Download it in uh, the Discord channel. And if you um, uh, join us on the Western European server, we are at the moment flying uh, um, uh, towards Oslo, having a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, you can simply hop on if you want. No problem. You can be a lurker if you want. You can be a, be a sub. You can be a follower. It doesn't matter at all. It's all up to you. It's all good. No <laughs> coffee. I envy thee, Jamal. I envy thee. <laughs> yes, I do. Also, if you have, uh, if you don't want to do that, but you do have suggestions for my flight plan, uh, for my upcoming uh, flights, uh, no problem. Post them in the Discord channel, and uh, I'll just add them to my flight. Uh, I've uh, added a, uh, a lot of extra <laughs> Yuri right there. I've added a lot of extra. Um, uh, um, I've added a lot of extra uh, waypoints from Shannox in uh, in Switzerland. Funny thing is, he actually suggested a um, uh, uh, a landmark or at least a town where that we should visit. And I've been there. I've been there in real life, so that should be fun. I bungee jumped near that in Switzerland when I was a younger man and a lot lighter. <laughs> yeah. Oh really, uh, Nielsen? That's cool. That is cool. Yeah, I didn't know that. That, that so the Norwegian, uh, the ship that was used to, to build the new ships on the Canadian. Oh really? Oh, that's cool. That is pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, let me see. By the way, uh, Titanic has a new plane for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Yeah. As soon as it sees the ocean, it sinks to the bottom. So. Uh, Minus four, we are at the moment uh, actually less than a hundred nautical miles away from uh, uh, <laughs> make this a meme. <laughs> uh, it's uh, we are 100 nautical miles away from uh, uh, from Oslo, so we are uh, making good progress, guys. This was the part I was most afraid of, to be honest. This was the part I was most afraid of. Uh, when I looked up the uh, uh, the weather this morning on windy.com, it told me it was freezing and there was there were low clouds here. But as of now, it is freezing. That is true, but no clouds. So uh, we are good. We are actually good. And I am using real life weather. I did not change that. The only thing I did change was real life time. So that's that's different. It is at the moment. Uh, well, it should be two seventeen actually. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, yeah, 50, yeah. That's that's the only change I've done. The weather is live weather. I am on the uh, Western European server, uh, so you guys can join up on me and uh, see what it's like here uh, uh, above the uh, the the, the uh, extended plains of Norway. Uh, we flew along the uh, the Norwegian coastline, which was really awesome. There goes uh, Yuri again, the inverter. <laughs> Funny that. Joost and Greenstadt still with us. Still with us. Awesome, man. Awesome. Should you be in here? Thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us. Uh, yeah, there's Medici. There's Dragas. I'm not sure if these are also actually... Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. These are not... Uh... Are you guys also Shoot Cafe and Car Carlo Del Bon? Are you also in my channel? And if so, you get a shout out. But yeah, it's... Uh... Uh, Weem is still up there. So yeah, it's... Uh, yeah, the sun is starting to set. I know. I know. It's... Uh, unfor that's the only thing I've changed. I've changed the time and that's basically due to uh, to the fact that... Uh, I, I want to see something of the world and I want you to show you guys what it looks like. So, And we really don't want to miss out these wonderful views of Yuri flying upside down and flipping me the bird. So it's... Uh, no, of course, those lovely fjords down there. Uh, if I would not have been able to make the... Uh, uh, if this would have been frozen over, or at least it is frozen over, but if this would have been in clouds, 
I would be flying right down there. All the way down that fjord, all the way inland, and then popping up right there in the distance. So, uh, yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a thing, you know? The, the weather is definitely a thing. And that's something you really have to look out for uh, in, in an aircraft like this. The 172 unfortunately does not any, have any form of defrosting other than the, uh, the pit of heating uh, for the airspeed. So that's, uh, uh, that's, that's the only thing. But other than that, it does not have any form of defrosting. Uh, so you have to take care and make sure that you do not fly into frozen clouds because that, those will basically kill you. Those will basically kill you. And that's what nearly happened, by the way, on last Thursday. Uh, not, not last Thursday, but the week before that. Uh, we were flying into Kiruna Airport in Sweden. Uh, I was flying blind. I was frozen over. I had no idea how to land. But the chat brought me in. They actually showed me how to do an ILS landing on the fly. And that's exactly what we did. Barely made it in. So, yeah, it's... Uh, it's uh, Mike and Mike, Mike, Mike and T, Mike and T. I think, I hope everyone ever met you. You look like Stephen King. I do. I actually do. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, as people are very scared sometimes of Stephen King. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, it's going to my head again. <laughs> but thank you for joining my channel, man. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for, for being here. And thank you for having fun. Thank you for coming along on this flight. I hope you have a wonderful time there, uh, Mike. I'm just calling you Mike, if you don't mind. So, yeah. It's, uh... Yeah, me too, man. Quart. Dang. 2077. I pre-ordered it. And I'm, uh... Yeah, it's going to... It's being postponed each and every time. It's been postponed for nearly half a year. So, yeah. And Keanu is cool. Somehow, Keanu is cool. He always basically does the same thing. But he's cool. Not to mention, don't forget, guys. Uh, there is a... Uh, um, uh, there are a lot of streams for uh, uh, Night City Wire. So if you want to see... Uh, uh, if you want to see those... Uh, uh, see what a bit what's going on with the uh, Cyberpunk 2077. That's what we're talking about as of now. Uh, the uh, uh, There are a lot of things uh, you can watch and uh, see what it's like. But it's looking really good. So yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it, I have not seen the new ad. No, I have not seen the new ad. You mean the uh, Johnny Silverhand thing? Uh, because it's looking really good. Yeah. So, as of now, we are still flying uh, along the... Uh, yesterday, Night City Wire was good. I have not seen it. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to that one. Yeah, it's... Yeah, kind of, Mike. Uh, kinda, it's more like a, an adventure thing. No, 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 no. It, it's not an Xbox ex exclusive. I bought it for the PC. So it's, yeah, I think it's PC. It's also uh, PlayStation. It's Xbox. I think uh, you can get it on every uh, every kind of media you want. But uh, yeah, it, it, yeah, free roam RPG. That's the best thing. Yeah, that's that's a good description. Yeah, that's a good description right there, uh, Sir Blow. Definitely, that's the one. Free roam RPG. Yeah, yeah, it's all platforms. But that's basically always with the CD Projekt Red. These guys are so cool. They are cool. Yeah. Microsoft flights now on Vodafone. Yeah. Yeah. It's. Uh, I am going. I, I. I. I bought it. I bought it. I pre-ordered it, and I do not pre-order a lot, to be honest. But yeah, it's. Uh, I am looking forward to that game. I am looking forward to that game. I'm not going to stream it. I am going to play it solo. But uh, uh, th this is my stream. This is my life. This is where we are, guys. But yeah, it's... Uh, yeah. It's... Uh, I I'm looking forward to Cyberpunk uh, 2077, guys. It's going to be very interesting. Yeah, well, you know, the thing is, uh, Mike, I, I basically uh, locked into Microsoft Flight Simulator. I do this uh, three times, uh, three times a week. And uh, I can only stream for like three three days a week. Uh, I can only stream on Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Friday because those are basically my days off uh, in the afternoon. And on Mondays and Tuesdays, uh, I have my day job uh, as well as in the mornings usually. Uh, and the weekends, I want to keep free so I can plan everything for my Microsoft Flight Simulator uh, plans. And the thing is, Mike, I'll show you why. 
Uh, I'm tasty. Good man. Uh, good to see you. Uh, this is what we are doing, Mike. Uh, so, yeah. I will be at least... I, I need all the time I can get to basically uh, fly all around the world. We are now here. Hey, Mahoney. Good to see you, man. Thank you for joining us again. We are now flying all right there. So we already did all this part right here. But we still need to do that. So, yeah, I, I, I think I'll need the time. I think I'll need the time. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to crash the servers. Yeah, we are. <laughs> yeah, we are. Oh, I need to adjust my course, of course. So basically, that's the reason why we are now flying as much and as far as we can. Uh, today was, uh, was a, a bit of a question mark if we could make it. Uh, however, the weather here in Norway is stunningly beautiful. There are very, very little clouds. It is freezing, but yeah, it's... Uh, no, not British or Australian. Uh, Dutch. <laughs> That's a good guess right there, uh, uh, Mike. I am very much Dutch. I live uh, 15 uh, kilometers from, uh, from Amsterdam, so yeah. Hmm? So <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I think so too, uh, Joachim. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. It's probably I'm I'm, I'm uh, I think it's going to be postponed maybe again but I'm not sure you know it's I don't know anymore we'll see it it comes when it comes it's done when it's done it's done when it's done but yeah but yeah it's uh, um, uh, so far we are doing uh, uh, these flights all around the world we're visiting every every country in the world uh, Mike every single country um, that means that we are doing 220,000 nautical miles, 440,000 kilometers, uh, hence the metric thing. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's going to uh, take at least 2,100 plus hours. So that means three and a half years of flying each each week, basically. So uh, yeah, three and a half years we will be up in the air. We will be up in the air doing these flights. Uh, when Twitch shuts down, basically. So, yeah. There is Draga, still flying along with us. There is Yuri, still flying upside down. Ah! <laughs> Just crossed over right there. Look at those lovely liveries. Look at that lovely liveries. Yuri flying in between us. <laughs> you madman. You absolute madman. We right there in his... Uh, uh, in his golden uh, golden TBM, I think that's the golden one, isn't it? Yeah, that's the one, isn't it? Uh, we, I'm not sure, but I think it is, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it looks like, looks like, yep. The Goldfinger TBM, right there, Medici in the distance, and we have a lot of people flying here, guys. It is so much fun. Yeah, it is so much fun. We're still flying over the plains of Norway. This uh, we are headed towards um, towards Oslo, guys. Yeah, at 50% fuel, but we are well well on our way. We are well on our way. Um, let me see. It's minus three degrees right now, right there, and uh, we still have about 70 nautical miles to go towards uh, when we hit Norway. So uh, yeah. It's going to be, uh, it's going to be uh, very, very cool. And so far, the thing I was most afraid of was that it would be, uh, would be uh, uh, all clouded over, that we would be flying in the clouds right there. That's a bad thing because uh, it's minus three degrees, as you can see by the outside temperature right there. Uh, it's still minus three degrees. Uh, so that will be a really, really, really bad thing. But no, we're good. We're good. We are definitely good, guys. Uh, heading towards Oslo. I uh, installed the Oslo landmark, so we should uh, Oslo should look a lot more realistic. Don't forget to hydrate. Very important. And uh, when we are landing, it's going to be interesting as well because I basically did not plan a uh, an ILS IFR flight. Um, what I did, what I am going to do is I'm going to uh, program it directly from procedures. So I'm going to select the approach at the airport that we uh, that we will be landing, that will be in Christianstad, and uh, then uh, uh, 
Uh, I'm going to see if I can, uh, can, can get that to work. Not sure, but yeah, we'll give it a go. I did set the localizer, however, to, uh, to uh, uh, 10 th uh, 110.35. That's the localizer for, uh, for the airport, so we should be good. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's going to be an interesting uh, to see if that, that's going to work. Christian Sand, yeah. Christian Sand. There we go. <laughs> Thank you for the correction right there, Jamal. Thank you for uh, keeping me uh, on, uh, on, on par right there. Thank you for keeping me on par. But yeah, it's uh, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. Yeah. And so far, we are still uh, all flying along. If you guys want to join me, you can. It's uh, uh, Free Flight Friday today. So uh, as you can see, uh, I am flying um, uh, in the middle part of Norway right now. We are flying towards the... Oh, by the way, if you go to uh, uh, maps, actually, uh, you can uh, look up the... Uh, click up the uh, live map uh, from uh, Sintuke Pro. If you then go towards the middle of Norway, you should see my plane flying right there, Shoni Gaming, in the middle. So if you click that map, you get a live map. And if you go to the middle of Norway, towards Oslo, there are a few guys flying there. Uh, X-Flight Deck is one. Uh, Capt Man is one, but I am flying and uh, flying near Oslo, Shoni Gaming. So you can see exactly where I am and follow me also from there. So that's also an option that you can do. Uh, that's also a way you can you can come along and uh, see where I am. Yeah. And this flight is uh, going to be uh, at least I think another hour. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, no. Sierra November Golf is type Cessna Skyhawk. What we are going to do is if you do the exclamation mark ETE, you get to see exactly how long we are flying. Also, by the way, uh, Mike, at the top, right here, no, right there, you can also see the ETE. So the uh, you can also see a uh, follow my flight exactly right there. So yeah, it's uh Oh, acknowledge my score code. There we go. All right. So at the moment, uh, there are several ways of uh, you guys that uh, uh, for you guys to follow me around. Uh, but as of now, we are still doing going. Uh, yeah, we're going uh, very. We're doing very good. This was one of the uh, the uh, routes I was planning to take. If it was too uh, too frosty right there. Uh, I will be flying straight down there in that uh, in that fjord right down there in that. Uh, and flying really, really, really low, as is uh, Yuri doing right now. Let's have a look. Let's have a look, shall we? Because I am quite high, so we can uh, we can go in for a for a better look. Let's show. Let's go for a better look. This is the lake where we now fly over, Jamal. Ah, really, Nielsen? Oh, that's really cool, actually. For those that... Oh, no, 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 no. Nearly made a mistake there. Did you guys notice that? Nearly made a mistake right there. Ah, 460 meters deep. Oh, that's cool, actually. But yeah, uh, I nearly made a mistake right there. I have to watch my speed, guys. I have to watch my speed. Definitely. But it's good. We're going still. We're still good. But look at that, guys. Although that looks a little bit iffy. I'm not sure if that's, uh, if that's portrayed correctly right there. I think that's not right. It's just one of those things where you go like, Oh, okay, so that's not correct. And that's not simply drawn correctly. Once you get there, that will correct itself. So it lo looks a little bit weird, but yeah. Uh, to be honest, uh, it probably will, but it will play in uh, low uh, low resolution. Um, and so medium medium to high medium resolution. Yeah, I think it kind of also depends on your uh, your graphics card, uh, Mike. It kind of depends on your graphics card. Yeah. 
Uh, but it is CPU heavy, guys. Do not underestimate that. This, this simulation is very much CPU heavy. It is. Trust me on this. Uh, so let's turn that off for a sec. Uh, one degree Celsius. Ha! Ah, that's nice. And we are still going strong! Yes, we are! We are flying over the lovely countryside of Norway. <laughs> to the left, you see a lovely bird right there. It is Tinchun Lake. Lake Tin in uh, English. A lovely, lovely, lovely. So it's, uh, yeah. Wow! And you guys are flying along. Yeah, they are. It is Free Fly Friday today, guys. So it's a uh, geek guy right there in the distance. Medici also right there in the distance. Yuri uh, flying upside down uh, somewhere. There he is. Weem in the distance as well. And here we have Dragas in his King Air from the uh, Canadian Coast Guard. But it's looking good. We are doing. Uh, we are doing well, guys. We are doing well. Yes, we are. But. Uh, to be honest, by the way, uh, Mike, uh, the uh, Andy Turp, good to see you, man. Top of the morning to you, man. Top of the morning. Uh, uh, if you, uh, uh, even in, in, in medium or uh, medium settings, this game still looks very good. This game, this simulation still looks really, really good. So, yeah, at the moment, uh, by the way, Turp, uh, we are making good progress towards Oslo. Yes, we are. I thought we may not be able to make it today, but we are. It is beautiful weather. It is beautiful weather. I was really thinking that we would be flying in the clouds right here, but no, no, it is blue skies. It, the clouds are way over there, and uh, there is no, uh, there is no problem whatsoever. Uh, we are at the moment at zero degrees Celsius, at four thousand feet. Uh, I am switching back to uh, four thousand feet again. We are finally getting a little bit lower. Yeah, it's. Uh, that is true. Yeah, that is quite true. There is no worries about uh, what uh, what kind of hardware you need or specifics you need or if you need to upgrade. It just sim it's no problem, uh, Mike. If you like that, don't yuck somebody's yum. You know, it's it's. I'm not saying like oh PC master race, blah, boo to console. Of course not. It every everything has its own place. Everything has its own 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 uh, own uh, uh, fan base. So yeah, why not? I mean, if you. Uh, if you truly enjoy things like this, and you're like, you're like, okay, I like to uh, to 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 uh, have it on the simplest, somewhat simple, si well, simple side is is a is, is a bit of a stretch, but yeah, it's you know, consoles are great. They have their place, definitely. They do, they do. Of course, they do. So yeah. But at the moment, guys, we are still uh, heading towards Oslo. It should be somewhere in the distance, and uh, we are flying Free Fly Friday. Yuri, right there. Medici, Wien, Dragas, Geek Guy right there. And they're all... We're all flying together towards Oslo. We had Zack, we had uh, Don Don, but unfortunately they needed to go. So the group was a little bit bigger, but as of now we are still heading towards Oslo. We are making good time, actually. And we are also um, having a... a we're... Uh, uh, Right at the at, at, at the, uh, the 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 perfect point of uh, of fuel consumption right now, so we should be good. We're way past uh, the uh, halfway point, and we still have 50% fuel. So uh, yeah, I am happy so far, guys. I am truly happy. It has uh, been uh, uh, very very interesting so far. Yeah, it's still very nice. That's good. And Norway looks stunning as always. Today we are having a very, very beautiful day. I'm heading, getting a little bit too high, but okay. Norway is having a very beautiful day today. And uh, we are uh, <laughs> making good progress because of it. We are really making good progress because of it, yeah. Jump in at the end uh, of it. Have, oh, oh, good luck there, Turp. Good luck, man. Hope, uh, hope it will be, uh, uh, will be a, a good result for you. And your uh, family and friends, of course, man. Uh, fingers crossed for you. Fingers crossed. So, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, as I uh, stated uh, uh, earlier, do not mess with COVID. I've seen it up close. Do not mess with it, guys. It's, it's, it's bad. It is really bad. So, uh, it's, no, it's not the flu. I mean, do not take these things lightly. So, make sure 
you stay healthy. That's very important. That's very, I, I joke about a lot of things, but not that, not that. By the way, don't forget to hydrate. Yeah, it is uh, swordfish, it is, yeah. My state is on lockdown again. Yeah, I know, it's, it's, I know it's horrible, it is, but uh, yeah. Fingers crossed, man. I'm, I'm really keeping my fingers crossed for you, Terp. Um, I'm tasty, you know. It's it's it is what it is. I I live in the Netherlands, and it's it's uh, we've been on lockdown for quite a while, actually. Uh, yeah. It's it yeah Deutschland. I'm in the Netherlands, uh, by the way. It's hey, fine. Good to see you, man. Hope you're having a wonderful day, man. Thank you for joining us again. We are now on our way to Oslo, uh, in uh, in in the Netherlands where I live. Uh, uh, so Holland, basically. Uh, it, it, it's not good. It is not good, uh, especially now with with uh, Christmas coming and all the holidays coming up. Uh, a lot of things are closed. Uh, the, you can go to the to the shops, but you have to wear a mask, which I have no problem. Uh, you have to uh, keep your distance, wash your hands, you know, and and just make sure you do not infect someone else. Uh, and these are small, in my opinion, small prices to pay. However. Um, uh, the pubs and uh, and the restaurants they have it bad so uh, what we do in the Netherlands or at least what me and my wife do is um, we regularly now order uh, dinner from uh, our favorite restaurant um, usually we just go to our restaurants but in these times you can order out with them and I, we just order the, the food so we can basically still send them money and, and keep them going you know uh, if I usually would take takeout, it would be things like shawarma in the Netherlands or pizza or stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, Drazy is Yuri, uh, uh, swordfish. Drazy is Yuri. That's Yuri right there, or as we call him, the inverter. Tan, tan, tan. <laughs> the inverter right there. Geek guy, hey, geek guy, he just passed me. Excellent! There he goes! Up, up, up into the air! Oh, doing a loop-de-loop! -loop. Is it a loop-de-loop? -loop? Can I can I see that? No, he leveled up right there. Nicely done, nicely done. That's uh, that's the guy uh, right there. But yeah, it's you know, it is what it is. Uh, and uh, with a bit of luck, yeah. <laughs> These all... Well, they, we do have them. We do actually have in Holland here, in, in, in my town where I live. Thank you, X-Pilot, for the sub! Thank you very much for the support for my channel, man. Thank you very much. That will help out uh, quite a lot. Thank you, man. I truly appreciate that. But yeah, in the Netherlands, in my even in my town, in the middle of my town, we do have a windmill. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Actually, we have three. Yeah, we have three windmills in my town. So yeah, it's it's uh, not that. Yeah, <laughs> I dare you, Yuri, to land inverted. Uh, basically, he already did that. So uh, yeah, but. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, no problem, Quartz. No problem whatsoever, man. It's all appreciate. I mean, it's it, if you're lurking here, it's fine. Uh, if you uh, um, uh, if you uh, uh, follow here, it's fine. If you uh, if you sub, thank you very much. I mean, it's all up to you. There is no pressure whatsoever. I will not ask for your sub. I will never will that. If you want to give it to me, please do so. But if uh, I will never ask for your sub. Trust me. So uh, yeah, and I'm even looking for ways so. The non sub so the followers can actually get their hands on uh, custom uh, uh, custom Shoney Gaming uh, emotes once I get the, my hands on them. We are still working on that, guys. So, uh, yeah, I do not want to exclude anyone. So, uh, no. But, uh, yeah, it's it's uh, um, uh, there are, of course, a lot of windmills in the Netherlands. Yes, and especially in the, uh, the western part of the Netherlands. Uh, and by the way, Holland, by the way, is North and South Holland. Those are two provinces, basically. Uh, but it is called the Netherlands. And uh, yeah, uh, you will find the wooden shoes. You will find the cheese. You will find the weed. Yes, we do have that in the Netherlands. I can't deny that. I do not condone that. But uh, yeah, of course, no problem, man. Yeah, no, that's no problem, man. It is no problem if you if that's what you do uh, to 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 enjoy yourself, man. No problem. And the red light district, yes, we do have the red light district. Yeah, 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 we do have that. No, 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 we actually have that. Yeah, actually, and the red light district in Amsterdam is the most well known. But most towns in the Netherlands have a red light district. It is true. So yeah, it's uh, that is quite true. That is all true. 
But we also have, uh, yeah, we have a, a, a lovely countryside. I mean, it's 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 flat. Let's face it, it's a lot of flat, but it's it's still it's. We're near the ocean. Good beer, exactly. We have really good quality beer. So yeah, it's uh, talking about <laughs> you are welcome. But yeah, no, it, but it, I can't deny that we don't have it. Yeah, of course. I'm in the Netherlands. Of course we have it. Yeah, you know. But it's uh, yeah. But also, indeed, very, very good beer. Especially my local Jopen beer. I can so recommend it if you can get your hands on Jopen beer. Go for it. It's good stuff. It is good stuff. But the Heineken, Grohl's, Amstel, they're also very nice, you know. Uh, Duke John, Hertog John, also very good. But yeah, it's... Uh... Yeah, well, who knows? Maybe, Quart, maybe. We're a very uh, laid-back country, usually. I mean, we're very down-to-earth as well. Uh, and we have our hearts on our sleeves. That's one of the things that... Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, that's one of the things that, that uh, uh, people are usually uh, uh, surprised about. That we are very uh, direct, the Dutch. Uh, not that we try to offend somebody. Or we're just... We're just saying saying what uh, 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 saying what's on our minds so yeah it, it's and everyone accepts that but yeah it's uh, uh, isn't open borders with neighboring your yeah it is yeah you're it is uh, uh, recently unfortunately in my opinion uh, our British friends uh, left the European Union but uh, yeah it's all open as long as there are no uh, um, uh, there there is no COVID it used to be open borders now there there are a lot of travel restrictions, but yeah. Free thinkers. Well, that's very nice to hear from Carl Sagan. That's a that's an, a, a very large compliment from uh, Carl Sagan right there. That man was pretty dang awesome. Uh, but yeah, it's... Uh, <laughs> you can, can you fly a 747 inverted? Uh, I think Yuri might be able to do that. <laughs> it would not surprise me. But yeah, it's it. We are very much free thinkers, yeah, and we are very liberal. Yes, we are. I mean, uh, I think we're still in the top five uh, most happy country, uh, happy co happiest countries in the world. I think. First, you get all the Scandinavian ones, of course, <laughs> and followed by the Netherlands, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, it's. Uh, and I must say, I am really glad that I live in the Netherlands. I am truly, truly, truly blessed. I am truly. I know how fortunate I am. So uh, yeah, guys, it's uh, I know I know I am truly blessed. I mean, if I turn on the light, uh, I have I have light. I, uh, if I turn on, I can drink from my tap. My ta our tap water is drinkable. It's it's very good actually. Uh, you know, uh, I, there's there's uh, I I can learn anything I want to learn. Uh, I mean, yeah, we have it very very good. There's always food available. You know. And I know that that I am very fortunate. Uh, I I am fortunate the most, but still, you know, it's uh, uh, one e less. Yeah, <laughs> yes, you are uh, Nielsen. Yes, you are. You are way above us. Uh, I think you're in second place, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> but yeah, and salty. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. We are now heading towards Oslo. Actually, Oslo is right there in the distance, if I, if I'm not mistaken. It should be over there somewhere. But yeah, we are now heading towards Oslo. I I wasn't sure I was able to make it, but we are. We are now heading towards Oslo, which means that um, we will be having a choice next week. Yeah, it's brilliant. Look at that, man. Look at this. I mean, and we have a lot of people around. We have Dragas right there. We have uh, Yuri right there, Geek Guy. We have Ween, Medici in the distance right there. So uh, yeah, the gang's all here. It's, ah, uh, uh, yeah. Germany has indeed very good beer and very good cheese, but do not forget the German currywurst. That thing is awesome. You're, have, yeah, eat your way across Europe. The only thing is, yeah, the cheeses here in the Netherlands are very firm. The Goudas and stuff like that, so that's nice. We have the beers and we have uh, Stroopwafels and uh, Bitterball. Bitterballs, go check those out. Stroopwafels and Bitterballs are basically, our, they are awesome, yeah. Yes, and uh, no, I'm not on real time, uh, uh, Jamel. I'm not on real time. Yeah. Weisburst. Yeah, well. But yeah, it's... Uh, come to Italy for the cheeses, definitely. Oh, Italian cheeses are so good. Oh, mm, they are so lovely. But the French cheeses are brilliant as well, you know? So yeah, it's uh, Gouda. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Gouda. 
or we call it in the Netherlands, we call it Gouda, actually. <laughs> so uh, that's actually how you pronounce that. <laughs> so you learned something. Beer from outside of Europe. Yeah, well, let's face it, the European beers are really... <laughs> I'm hungry now. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, I truly do enjoy the European beers. You know, I don't mind uh, things like Corona and stuff like that. Here we go again. I know it's funny, but still, you know, the uh, the Mexican beers I kind of like too. But only in the summertime. Uh, in the, uh, Otherwise than that, European beers... Uh, the German, Belgian, and, and Dutch beers are so good. They are so good, guys. So, yeah. Yeah, they are, uh, Saucy. They are. There are a lot of craft beers going on right there. Uh, the uh, the craft beers are looking really good as well. Yeah. They are very good. And there are also uh, now very good cheeses coming from the United from, uh, from the United States as well. Do not underestimate the, uh, the actual artisanal cheeses from America. They're really good. They are. But yeah, yeah, that's what, hey, Dr. Nut Thumb, I'm thinking, <laughs> or Nut Thumb, <laughs> hello and thank you for joining our channel, man, thank you very much, so yeah, it's, uh, uh, yeah, hope you are uh, enjoying what you're seeing, uh, we are now at the moment flying towards Oslo, um, as you can see on the map right there, we are flying all the way around the world, and uh, yeah, it's, uh, 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 it's looking good so far. It is really looking good. Uh, once we hit Oslo right there, uh, we should be. Uh, and I'm now getting my other map right there. Uh, we are uh, slowly but steadily heading towards the south, where we will be landing in Kristianstad uh, on our uh, around-the-world flight. Uh, at the moment, this is what we are doing. Yep, this crazy madness right here. Uh, Two hundred and twenty thousand nautical miles. Uh, 2100 plus hours and it's still growing flying all the way around the world around Africa all the way over here towards Australia uh, Moscow back and then on towards the Americas uh, North and South America yeah it, it is kind of iffy but uh, sorry for that all the way down right there towards uh, uh, towards uh, let's see right there yeah towards Antarctica and, all, uh, Antarctica and all the way back up again so yeah it's uh that's what we're doing uh and uh we are having fun doing that uh yeah it's uh uh we just uh let me see are we still yeah we are still on course towards oslo right there i'm uh and once we hit oslo we are then heading down towards uh um Som and then on towards uh holmenstrand uh Som is where nielsen lives and Holmestrand is where Surblow lives. Uh, so that's where we are flying over. We are going to give them a wave. Then we will be moving on towards uh, towards Christianstadt, where we will be landing. So, uh, yeah, it's going great so far. I really was hoping that we would be able to, uh, uh, to get here. It's one degree Celsius, as you guys can see at the moment right there. Two degrees, actually. It's, it's flipping back and forth. But, yeah, it's... Uh, it's yeah, it's... it's it's going excellent, man. It's going excellent. And by the way, uh, Mike, you are quite right. I never would have expected 20 years ago that this would ever be a thing I would be doing. Talking to you guys all over the world, flying in a multiplayer uh, environment with uh, uh, people like uh, Yuri right there and uh, uh, Gikai Dragas right there. Uh, who are we still having? I'm. There's Medici. He's still also very much there. So, yeah, it's... Uh, yeah, it's uh, yeah. It is really a, a really a, a shame. Yeah, uh, uh, no problem, uh, uh, Shamnator. Uh, if you want, you can still join me right now. It's Free Flight Friday, and on Free Flight fr on Fridays, you guys can join me whenever you want. So yeah, it's uh, ah, hands. Okay, well, we're doing Oslo first. It should be there in the distance, if I'm not mistaken. It should be right there in the distance. And um, let me pull up my VFR map. Where is my VFR map? Right there, because I use that for myself. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we're good. And uh, yeah, it's uh, uh, Sham Nator. If you want to uh, join us, you can join us on Fridays. On Wednesdays and Thursdays and Fridays, I stream. 
Wednesdays and Thursdays are solo flights. However, Friday is free flight Friday and you can join me. I have a flight plan available. You can get that from the, uh, uh, from the, uh, from the channel, uh, from the chat. Uh, if you do the exclamation mark, uh, Foxtrot, Foxtrot, Foxtrot command. So FFF. And um, if you, uh, you can also get it from the Discord channel. Just upload it into your game and join us uh, during the flight if you want. Um, and then we'll simply, uh, you can simply hop on every Friday. So there you go, there you go. That's the one. Click that link. You can simply upload it into your uh, uh, into your uh, uh, your Microsoft Flight Simulator. I'm on the Western European server today, uh, so you have to look me up. We are flying near Oslo right now, so you have to yaw in if you want. Or you can simply do the flight plane yourself if you want. That's no problem whatsoever as well. Uh, but yeah, as of now, uh, simply join us. Simply join us. Have some fun. Fly around. You know, uh, have a few laughs. And uh, uh, we will be then landing in uh, Christiansand. So yeah. Uh, what you do is you uh, uh, download that, uh, that link right there that you get. If you click it, you get a download link. And you can download that uh, into your... Uh, uh, um, uh, your uh, your uh, flight plan folder, not your community folder, but your flight plan folder of Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now, if you go to your world map and you look at the bottom of the world map, it will say uh, load save. So if you click load save, it will open up a window. If you place that map, uh, that, that, uh, uh, that file right there, you can simply uh, load it up and then you can uh, easily uh, uh, um, uh, easily uh, uh, join us by uh, uh, starting the flight and then simply yawing in. If you press Y, and you can basically yaw all the way to us if you want. Or you can simply find me uh, on the map if you go to uh, to the uh, uh, the world map. Uh, I should be uh, you should be able to find me near Oslo and just jump on and fly along with me if you want. You won't be having the uh, the, the flight plan, plan then I think. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's it's it, you can simply join me, no problem. I am on the. Uh, I'm I'm flying above Oslo. I'm on the Western European server. Hey, uh, uh, as an in TV, as an in TV. I think, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. I say this correctly. Yeah, <laughs> thank you for joining me, man. So uh, yeah, can you still see us? Can you still see us? I see Medici right there. Uh, where are you guys? What just happened? <laughs> thank you for the follow, man. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's weird. You should be there. You were here the whole time. Aw. Aw. Dang. Well, maybe, uh, let, let's just, yeah. Oh, okay, I think the uh, the uh, the server is bugging again. Let's see if it catches up in about uh, five or ten minutes. If it doesn't catch up uh, in that time, uh, uh, let's just hope that you will pop in again. If not, I will be switching then. Yeah, I think server desync, yeah. Server issue, exactly. By the way, guys, this is Oslo right there. Uh, this is Oslo. And uh, yeah, we are now uh, flying over it. I'm hoping that... I, I still see Medici. I still, still, I still see you. So, not sure what's going on right there, guys. Not sure what's going on. Uh, but yeah, let's, let's, let's wait for a few minutes if, uh, if it doesn't change. Then uh, I'm switching uh, to uh, to another server, maybe Northern European server, and uh, it could be that the uh, European servers are uh, desyncing again. They had that uh, a little while ago, but yeah, it's uh, yeah you can see him. Well, I can see him as well. So I think it is a syncing problem right now. I think it's a syncing problem. That's weird. Uh, okay, yada 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 yada. I have to contract. Uh... Yeah, really weird. Oslo approach Cessna Papa Hotel. Really weird. Yeah, this is definitely Oslo, guys. This is definitely Oslo. Here we are flying over lovely, lovely Oslo, the uh, the capital of uh, of Norway. We made it. We made it towards the capital of Norway. I really was not expecting to uh, to make it towards the capital, um, mainly because of uh, of problems with uh, with freezing. Uh, it is extremely cold. It is uh, it's not freezing here right now. It's zero degrees Celsius, but um, yeah, we we really had a problem with that. Uh, However, it has been a beautiful, beautiful day. So, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, 
Uh, the airport code of Oslo is um, not sure E E S N E N I think no 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 no, no, no. that's not it. Um, let me have a look. Uh, the closest airport we have, the closest airport we have is uh, E N. KJ, so that, yeah, oh yeah, that's the one, that's the one, thank you, sir, Lo, that's the one, ENGM, yeah, that's the one, yeah, there you go, I don't know, uh, I don't, uh, can you, can you point out where it is, uh, uh, Jamal, still only Medici, I'm still hoping that, uh, that, uh, everything will, uh, will, uh, pop in again, we are flying uh, today with Dragas and uh, Weem. Uh, we also had uh, Yuri as well. But unfortunately, at the moment, we seem to be having a server glitch. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, it's a bit of a bit of a pickle uh, right now. Hill over the center. So so there. It should be there. I'm guessing then. I'm not sure to be honest. Now I know there is a slight delay, but yeah, very flat. Well, as of now, Oslo is looking really cool, but it is looking really flat. So, oh, by the way, also guys, I think they are looking into uh, trains uh, to my right. Something over there then. Well, I think we missed it. There is something over there, though. Oh, that's also a uh, not so <laughs> not so much. Let's have a look at that. I think that's the uh, the ski jumping uh, in Oslo right there. Yeah, that's one of the uh, landmarks that was uh, imported actually. One of the ski jump. Uh, sites right there ski jump stadium right there in oslo guys that's it right there and you always get a little bit of frame drop when you uh when you fly over imported uh uh, uh imported scenery unfortunately yeah i think that is uh, uh exactly that uh yeah There are a few other things, if I'm not mistaken, which have been added. Well, actually, it's not in-game. I imported it as a... Um, uh, uh, oh, Weem is back. I've got Weem back. There is Weem. There is Yuri again. There is Geek Guy. Yes, guys, you're back. You're back. You're, there's Dragos right there. You're all, all, you're all back. You're all back, uh, but yeah, it's it's basically it's uh, I imported this uh, manually. This is a uh, uh, custom made, so uh, yeah. Uh, at the fjord side, you have the new opera house, so that's there. He is back or there? Is that to my left or to my right, uh, Jamel? Down left. Down left. Okay, so over there. It should be somewhere over there. Maybe it's in there. I'm not sure. I downloaded a few uh, landmarks in the hope that it would uh, look a little bit better. Downtown to the left. So there. I am trying to do this uh, as slow as I can. <laughs> Yuri right there. I'm thinking. Yeah. No, hey, Dr. No yeah, there he is. There he is. Dr. No Thumb, right there. <laughs> Excellent, man. Excellent. You found us. I think that's also been added. Not sure what that is. Here are a few things. The White House, cool. Oh, is that it? Right there? So 
So those are few things that they've uh, added into uh, that I've added into the game. Yeah, the Opera House. There it is. The Opera House. The uh, Oslo Opera House, right there. So that was pretty cool, guys. That was pretty cool. Now, let's go on to Son. Let's go on to Son. Castle in the Park. Yeah, there are a few nice things right there that that's been added uh, with that uh, with that community update. I think this has also been added right there. Yeah, that looks like it's been added. Um, oh, you you can't see it. Dang. Uh, how about that? Right there. That's also been added as well, I think. So, yeah. Alright, guys. We are now headed towards the... Um, uh, towards the south. We are flying on towards uh, Son right now. We are trying to find Son. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, let me have a look. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I got it. I got it. I got it. We should be... Uh, yeah. That's the city council. Ah, okay. Cool. <laughs> Excellent. Well, actually, that was quite nice there. Oslo had few very nice features right there. I like that. I like that a lot. Dr. No Thumb right there, Yuri right there, Dragons in the Distance, Geek Guy also, uh, Ween right there. Uh, I'm still looking for Medici, where are you? Are you still in game, uh, Medici? I can't find Medici anymore, uh, dang it. And now we are indeed in Dahlia, heading straight towards the sun. Yes, we are. Nice boats flying and sailing there in the uh, in the bay. Doctor No Thumb doing a close flyby. Uh, yeah, the only one I'm missing right now is. Uh, yeah, it is now. Well, to uh, to be honest, uh, Serplo, I actually also installed a uh, a landmark pack which I downloaded from uh, FlightSim.2. So uh, I put a link in the. Um, uh, in the uh, in the Discord channel for that, so you guys can look that up if you want and install it to your leisure. So it's uh, yeah, exactly. Thank you very much, Andalia. You are awesome as always. You are awesome as always. Where are we at the moment? We are now flying from Nor from uh, 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 we are flying from Oslo right there. Bye bye Oslo. Thank you for uh, thank you for having us. Thank you for having this uh, crazy bunch flying all over your lovely lovely town. And now we are heading towards Son, where we are going to say hi to Nielsen. Then crossing over the bay towards uh, uh, Holmenstrand, towards uh, Holmenstrand, towards uh, towards Surplo. Yeah. And uh, we are making good progress, guys. 40% still left in fuel, so that's good. Uh, <laughs> Yuri once again upside down, as always. Ween there in the distance. He's already a little bit ahead, but we'll be catching up to him. Uh, Dr. No Thumb right there. We have... Uh, uh, hey, Greybody, thank you for the follow, man. Thank you very much. I truly appreciate that. Hope you're having a wonderful day, and thank you for joining us in this uh, crazy channel right here. Today we are flying over, uh, over uh, Norway in a lovely... Uh, uh, and thank you for the follow as well, Dr. Nothan. Thank you very much. I appreciate that, man. So, yeah, it's... Uh, I am great. Thank you very much uh, for asking, uh, great buddy. I hope you also have a wonderful day. Uh, Skrillas, thank you very much for the, for the follow. Thank you. I truly appreciate that. Um, I'm having a great day, actually, at the moment. Um, uh, I am flying uh, uh, over Norway. Uh, we are heading down towards the south of Norway, doing our world tour. tour right there yes this is what we are doing it is free flight friday today but this is what we're doing flying all the way around the world right there all these points yes they are actually flight this is an actual flight plan and i am flying all the way around the world heading towards uh, towards alaska right there then moving on towards uh, uh the north and south americas on towards uh, uh, uh antarctica back up again and then back towards europe so, uh, yeah, that's uh, basically what we are doing right now. Um, today is Free Fly Friday, so that's the day when every uh, one of my viewers uh, can join in. Uh, just join in the fun. You do not have to be a follower. You do not have to be a sub. 
just hop on and have fun you know it's no problem whatsoever just uh, just come along for the ride you can download the uh, free flight friday flight uh, plan uh, from uh, uh, the uh, <laughs> Wonder how many times you are going to get rained on around the world. Nah, maybe a lot. <laughs> and yeah, maybe a lot. It is going to be. A, it's going to be a thing. Yeah. It is. Oh, excellent. So that's somewhere over there. Cool. So yeah, it's. Uh, you know, it's. It's. Uh, at the moment, we are, uh, uh, yeah, we are doing our uh, flight around the world. It's 220,000 nautical miles, which means it comes down to 440,000 kilometers. We have flown 20,000 kilometers so far. Already uh, been, uh, we, we took off uh, about, uh, uh, basically, I have, uh, uh, I have the premium pack, so uh, I have access to all the standard planes, but that's the one I'm flying in. I am flying around the world in that. So it's low and slow. It will take three and a half years flying three times a week to fly all the way around the world and do my flight plan, uh, Grey Body. It that's no joke. That's that's the actual truth. And uh, so far so good. We are still up in the air. I only crashed the once. Uh, if I crash, um, I have a save point in Europe. Uh, you guys can choose my save point. Unfortunately, Europe has already been chosen, and that was Innsbruck. So if I crash, I have to start in Innsbruck again, fly back to my last flight plan, where the, 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 the takeoff point from my last flight plan, and do that flight again and then move on. So it's, uh, I even put penalties in there. Yeah, it's, uh, uh, people will say I'm completely nuts, but hey, that's just me. That's what I do. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's uh, um, uh, as of now, we are, we're, we're, we've already flown uh, 9,000 nautical miles already, uh, nearly 10,000. We've uh, flown, started in the Netherlands, where I'm from, and flown uh, across Germany, Denmark, uh, Poland, uh, Hungary, uh, uh, what did we do? Uh, Bulgaria, Romania, Ukraine, uh, Latvia, so the Baltic states. Uh, we've flown uh, across basically a large part of Scandinavia right now, and I must say, Norway has been an eye-opener so far. Norway was the most scary and most incredible flights I've done so far. It was amazing. The, the, the views are stunningly beautiful. I mean, we have flown uh, through, through clouds, through fog, uh, uh, at nighttime, basically. It, it, uh, continuous setting sun, it was, it was mind-blowingly beautiful. And at the moment we are flying towards uh, towards sun and this has been requested by one of our uh, one of our viewers uh, so if you guys have any suggestions that you want to see on my on my crazy cookie flight plan no problem just pop them into the the discord channel and i will i will make sure to add them for you no problem we will be going to see them not right away not directly i will not be flying straight to it no no if it's on my flight plan then yeah it's uh, yeah <laughs> Oh, excellent! Well, uh, that's always cool to hear. There are a lot of people, nice people, flying. Actually, it's 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 been so much fun, uh, great buddy. That uh, th this community has been so awesome so far. I mean, no toxicity. Everyone's willing to help each other out. It's so much fun, you know. And uh, I mean, we have a lot of streamers in here as well. Uh, well, Yuri isn't the streamer. He's the uh, the the inverter, basically. He flies everything upside down, right there, Yuri. But uh, we have uh, Wim right there. He's a streamer. Uh, we have, uh, let's see, we have Dragas, also a streamer right there. Uh, Dr. No Thumb, I'm not sure if Dr. No Thumb is a streamer. Do you stream, Doctor? I'm not sure. But yeah, it's uh, there. Uh, Medici uh, is also flying the right there. So uh, yeah, guys, it's... Uh... Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Motion sickness uh, watching Yuri. He's flying all the flights upside down. You crazy cookie guy. But yeah, it's... Uh... He's stuck in 180. No, I, I'm pretty sure he just has his monitor upside down. Yeah, that's the only way I think he can do it. But he's each and every Friday, if Yuri flies along, he flies it upside down. He's basically doing that. Yeah, and he's off again. <laughs> upside down. Still upside down. Dr. No Thumb right there. Ooh. Also uh, flying in a, uh, a very nice plane right there. 
the PTS2. That's very cool. Heading along, it is incredible. That island right there. Yeah, it should be... There. It should be there then. If I'm not mistaken, over there. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Greco, good to see you, man. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Uh, I am. I am flying at the moment. Uh, I just bought Oslo. And uh, we are now heading towards Son on request for Nielsen. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's. Uh, I was not thinking that we might we might be having a problem reaching Oslo, but it was clear sailing all the way. It was clear sailing. It is freezing right here. Well, actually, it's one degree Celsius. Good lord, the luxury! I actually have one degree Celsius. <laughs> it's so luxurious. Uh, but yeah, it's. Uh, uh, I was afraid that we will be uh, uh, popsicling all the way over uh, uh, over uh, over Norway. Um, Thank God we didn't. By the way, for those that do not know this, the 172 does not have the icing. So uh, if I freeze over, basically I'm dead. Yeah. Basically, I am dead. So uh, that's such a good thing. But yeah, here is Son, actually. And that is where Nielsen resides at the moment. So say hello to Nielsen. Hello. <laughs> hello, Nielsen. Right there. We are flying over Son. Waggling our wings right there. <laughs> waving around. There it is. I see you waving right there, man. I see you waving right there. Uh, actually, uh, no, I have not flown across the US. Uh, uh, to be honest, it's... Uh, uh, go outside, look up. <laughs> exactly. Uh, the thing is... Um, uh, 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 great body. It will take at least uh, another uh, two years before I reach uh, the United States. I will fly every state in the United States, but yeah. But today we are flying. This is Son, guys. Nielsen is right there. Hello. Let's wave our wings to Nielsen right there. <laughs> Let's wave our wings on the to Nielsen right there. And then... I'll show you uh, what time it will take uh, in a bit. I'll show you what time it will take in a bit. This one's especially for uh, for Nielsen. Right there. He lives uh, right there down us, down below. Yeah. Found you on the world map, then lost. Ah, dang. Uh, I should be south of Norway. I should be south of Norway. We are now heading towards our uh, second to last waypoint, I think. So we are now heading straight over. That's where Sertlo should be. Yeah, exactly. Activate that. Should, then you can see our names. Exactly what Yuri says uh, right there, uh, uh, Shamnator. Yeah, that's uh, that's uh, that that helps out a lot. Yeah, and make sure you're on the right server. So you have to be on Europe West. Yeah. I'm stuck on my ceiling. <laughs> uh, ow. I'm intrigued. <laughs> I'm intrigued there, Gary Gray Body. <laughs> A cat stuck on your ceiling. Huh, interesting. <laughs> but there we go. Especially for uh, Nielsen. Straight over your house. Excellent, man. Straight over your house. There, there you go. Especially for you, man. You requested it. You requested it. We did it. No problem. No problem whatsoever. Now we are now heading towards uh, Holmenstrand. Uh, Holman, Holmenstrand, yeah. Need to go northwest. Exactly. That's where we are headed right now. It should be, if I'm not mistaken, somewhere over there. Is that correct, uh, Sertlo? Is that correct? I think it is. <laughs> I landed not knowing we were detouring. It was a slight detour. I'm sorry, Draga. Sorry. It was a slight detour. It was requested by... Uh, excellent. Way to go, man. Uh, it was requested by uh, um, uh, by Nielsen. He uh, wanted to do a slight detour. Hey, Mark. Thank you for the follow, man. Thank you very much. Hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day. And welcome to this lovely channel. Yes. Welcome to all the fun we are having. Today is Free Flight Friday. Uh, we are flying over Norway. And, uh, yeah, we are uh, now uh, moving on. Uh, didn't follow yet. Oh, okay. Well, welcome back, man. No problem whatsoever. 
if you don't if you just want to lurk that's good as well so uh, yeah you're 30 minutes north <laughs> oh, that's a shame that's a shame but you can uh <coughs> that's where uh um that's where we uh, this is where we are we should be heading uh, isn't it uh sir Glow? uh i changed the waypoint didn't i did i i don't think so yeah it yeah i did uh you you mean on the map right there uh, actually uh, it is a little bit higher than that. If you look at that, it is a little bit higher, if, as you can see, right there. So basically, we are heading for it and then heading back down. So uh, yeah, but you're over there then, if I'm not mistaken, or are you way more north? If you're way more north, then uh, we'll have a look if we can make that. <laughs> no problem, man. No problem whatsoever, uh, great buddy. No problem. No problem. No problem. But yeah, this, uh, as I said, this is what we are doing. So yeah, we are hitting the US, but uh, unfortunately we are heading east first, further north. Um, so basically that was near... On the same height as Oslo? Oh, Drummond! Yeah, you're right! Oh, dang! I, I placed it incorrectly. No, we are heading there. Definitely we are heading there. Bye-bye, uh, great buddy. Hope you're having a wonderful day, man. Hope you're having a wonderful day and hope to see you again in stream. You are quite right, Sirtlo. I made an epic failure. I made an epic mistake. What we should have done is first fly to Drummond. There we should have gone to. No! No, nope, we are doing that. I don't care if we're riding on fumes. I don't care. We are flying towards Drummond. Yes, we are. And then flying back. So, Dragas, we're doing a slight detour towards the north. Now, I have to look that up. Um, let me see. A promise is a promise. And a promise made is a promise kept. So, basically, yeah, that's where we should be going. Yep. Uh, for for uh, where we are now, you mean, uh, Mart? Uh, because if you just want to hop on, uh, we are basically south of, uh, south of Oslo. You can't miss us. Uh, the field close by. Uh, let me have a look if I can see something close by. The closest is, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe. Yeah, southwest of EMGM, yeah. Yeah, if you take off of, uh, uh, EN, uh, or Y, that's also very close. I'm, uh, north, northwest of that. I'm northwest of that. That's where we are at the moment. I am going to uh, start to conserve a little bit more fuel. I am doing that. So I will be flying a little bit slower than normal. Sorry about that, guys. But I did make a... Uh, Sonswater <laughs> water. <laughs> really? Sonswater. <laughs> awesome. Lumber out of sun. Oh really? They ship lumber out of there. Oh, that would explain a lot. Uh where are we right now? Uh, yeah. Alright, we are now heading north towards Drummon. Drummon, I think. Uh we promised that to Sirtlaw. I made a mistake with the uh, with the uh, GPS uh, coordinates, uh, but yeah, uh, a promise made is a promise kept. So uh, definitely, we are flying there. However, I am starting to conserve a little bit more fuel because of my stupid mistake. But I will not let you down, Sirtlaw. I will not let you down, sir. Definitely not. 
By the way, don't forget to hydrate. Very important. Muy importante. Sí. Uh, so it should be. Where are we? Where are where are we? We are near Zvelvik, if I'm not mistaken. This should be Zvelvik right there. And there is a. By the way, it's still Free Fly Friday, as you can see. There is Yuri. There is Weem right there. We have Dr. No Thumb as well. And we have Medici uh, right there. Uh, he's continuing his flight. Dragos is right there. Yeah, sorry, Medici. I, I took a detour and it, it was my mistake. I should have uh, 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 corrected my flight. Unfortunately, I could not do that. I, I forgot to do that. It's pure, pure stupidity. Pure stupidity, of course. Yeah. Shortest ferry lane in the world right there. <laughs> like, doo -doo. <laughs> like it, 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 it's nearly as long as the boat itself. So uh, a bridge would have been more economical. <laughs> You landed in Loslo. Ah! Yeah, I couldn't find you again, uh, Geek Guy. I couldn't find you again. But that's fine. That's all good, man. It's all good. Uh, we will be flying on a little bit more. Uh, at the moment, we are uh, nearing Drummond, which should be right there. And that's where we... Uh, I think it should be over there, right? Yeah, that's where it is. It is. No problem, man! Thank you for joining me. Thank you for joining me, Geek. I, I truly appreciate that. I really, really do. So, yeah. it's uh, that's It has been great, great fun having you guys along so far. It makes it so much more enjoyable, guys, you know. It makes it so much more fun. It makes it so much more fun. It is incredible to have you guys all along having fun with me, flying all the way. And it's, yeah, it's good. It's all good, you know. It's, it's so much fun having you guys here. And it's so highly enjoyable. Yeah, I'm keeping that up. I'm going that. Yeah. I'm following the coastline. And it should be there, if I'm not mistaken. That should. That is where we're going. And right there in the distance, if you can see it, that's where Sertlo uh, is residing at the moment. Uh, so uh, let's say hi to Sertlo, guys. Let's say hi to Sertlo. And there goes Yuri again. Upside down. Boyotermi inside out. Round and round. For those that do know that reference, dang, you're old. So, <laughs> dang, you're old. That little hill right there, that's where we are headed. And then we can continue our flight down south. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Uh, I need to look up a few things here. That's where, uh, yeah. All right, we are indeed... Uh, yeah, that we are. That, that, yeah, we're going. We're still going strong. We're still very good. And I close can close that VFR map again. Also, ships right there. Finally, we are seeing boats in Norway. It's the first time I saw boats. I've been flying over over the Baltic seas. I've been flying everywhere you, uh, which way you goes. Never saw any boat whatsoever. We hit Norway and boats galore. Boats everywhere. So it's yeah, finally. We are heading over there, guys. <laughs> Dr. No Mark's right there. He found us. Mark, hey, good to see you, man. There is Mark. Medici still up in the air as well. Yes, there he is. Uh, we have, who do we have here as well? We have there, Yuri, of course. Dr. No Thumb doing all his uh, his acrobatics right there, going up and down. Weem in the distance, still hanging uh, closely to my tail. Dragas over there in the distance. He's still in the air doing his thing. Following us up, and this is where we should reside. Any spa place uh, specific where you want to uh, want us to turn? Uh, uh, Sertlo, Sertlo is there. So Sertlo, is there any place where you want us uh, want us to fly over specifically? Let's have a look if we can uh, find uh, find Sertlo right there. Sertlo should be uh, somewhere over there. He lives in this beautiful part of the world, guys. And it is truly, truly amazing. It is amazing here, yeah. Turn south, okay. Let's turn south, guys. Let's turn on south. There we go. Slight hiccup, but that's fine. A slight hiccup, but we're still fine. 
Yeah, there we go. There we go. Flying over beautiful, beautiful Norway. This is uh, Drummond right there. This is uh, Shirtlow's home time. Very accurate. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I flew over my own hometown and it was also incredibly accurate. I was like, wow. Okay, the houses don't look perfect, of course. But yeah, it's all AI. I mean, no human placed this, guys. No human ever touched this. So, yeah. You know, it's... It's, it's not that strange. But... Basically, it looks kind of okay, actually. It looks kind of okay. It, it's, it's really, really... Yeah, fair. As, as Serblo says... Fairly accurate, so yeah. Well, we are now heading towards... Uh, where are we heading to? Um, thank you for the detour, by the way, uh, Sirtlo. Well, it wasn't a detour. We already planned it. I just placed the wrong waypoint. So that's me. That's all me. <laughs> but yeah, it, uh, thank you for, for uh, adding that suggestion. It was uh, very nice to see your hometown. So uh, yeah, that's Sirtlo's hometown. We are now heading towards... Um, let me see. Where are we heading towards? Uh, Choma, if I'm not mistaken. Choma? Choma? Choma. I think, yeah. And then we are on towards Christiansand, uh, where we will be landing in about an hour time. Uh, yeah. But it's, uh, yeah. Really? Follow the highway, exactly. <laughs> Follow that highway straight out of there. And we are now heading down south. As you guys can see, we are still uh, reasonably back on course. It's uh, going very nicely. By the way, the weather is beautiful. It's one degree Celsius. How is, is, is the weather accurate, by the way, Sir Lowe? Is this accurate? I know it's not the time. I, I, I understand that. But is the weather accurate? Is it really this nice there? Yeah, it does. It, but it's already dark in... Uh, I, th I think it's already dark there, isn't it? If I'm not mistaken, it's already dark in, in, in uh, Norway. The highway goes to Christiansand. Ah, really? Well, we are first going heading towards the, uh, the coastline a little bit. We should be heading towards the coastline a little bit, and then we are heading towards Christiansen. So that's, uh, yeah, you're right. Actually, I just seen it on the map, and it you can follow it completely along. The weather is accurate. Excellent, excellent. I was hoping that. Ah, there everyone pops in back again. A slight desync of the server, but there is Mart. Well, we're popping in and out apparently. We are popping in and out, but uh, we're having a, we're having a few slight issues here and there, but nothing nothing bad, nothing bad. It's still going Center, very good. Hotel, Sierra, November, Gold, and every, there's Dr. Nothum, Yuri right there, uh, Medici in the distance. We should be having uh, Mark right there in the distance, right there. Dragas is right there. Yeah, there he is. There he is, following up, following closely. Minus one uh, outside my window. It's zero degrees here, so it could be that it's minus one uh, down uh, down at the ground. Yeah, that that's not unthinkable. But as long as it's sunny, it's no problem, guys. And look at that beautiful, beautiful uh, Norwegian countryside. By the way, uh, as I was stating, you can see uh, the oh, that's a uh, that's a road right there. But there are also you can find train tracks in the, in the simulation, of course. However, there are still no trains, but they are working on that. So uh, that should be cool as well to see train tracks, actually. So now we are uh, moving up towards... Uh, uh, towards... Where are we going? Chome, I think. Near Chome. And then we will be flying on towards Christiansand along the coast. So, uh, yeah. The railroads, yeah. But... I, I, this is not a railroad. This is actually a road, apparently. Although it does look like a railroad, but apparently it's it's that's is that a railroad? 
could be that the, that uh, that it was in no because there is also a uh, a, a uh, junction right there so not sure actually that looks like a toll toll road right there is that a toll road well it looks kind of iffy but hey it's still very good oh no this is the uh, this this is the uh, the highway that you're talking of that you were talking about yeah this is the highway yeah I just got it okay that's nice excellent man and we are still somewhat following it so yeah we're good but look at that lovely, lovely sunset right there. Old toll station. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Well, it, it, it you can't see it perfectly, but... Some... Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Right there. Not there anymore. Ah... But this is truly, truly amazing, guys. It is so much fun having you guys along on the flight. I am so glad. I am so glad that we actually made it this far. Uh, because that means that next week there is a good chance we may be able to fly towards Iceland. Yes, that is a good. there is a good chance we will be doing that. Uh, next week we will be uh, starting out, uh, of course, in Christiansand. And uh, thank you for the follow, uh, I have no idea how to pronounce that. Arts? Arts? I have no idea how to pronounce that. <laughs> but thank you for the follow and thank you for joining our channel. Sorry for butchering your name. I am truly sorry, but thank you for the follow. Uh, but yeah, it's... Uh, 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 next week we'll be flying on towards uh, Bergen. And... Uh, <laughs> and spelling. I can words really... <laughs> uh -huh, I can words really well. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's... Uh, um, uh, yeah, thank you very much uh, there for the uh, hydrate uh, there, uh, Swordfish. I really need it. Hmm? Uh, we are at the moment uh, uh, flying towards Christiansand, where we will be landing today. We will be picking up our flight again next Wednesday. Unfortunately, I can only stream on Wednesdays, Thursdays and Fridays from 1 p.m. Uh, Central European Standard Time to 5 p.m. European Standard Time. And um, uh, next Wednesday, we will be taking off in Christiansand, uh, flying towards Bergen, and then maybe already cross over to the Faroe Islands. Uh, from there on, uh, it is a bit of a question, can we go to Iceland and fly around Iceland and back towards the Faroe Islands? Or, or do we have to cross over towards Scotland? If we go towards Scotland, we will be picking up Iceland on the way back. So, uh, um, as you guys, um, most of you guys already know, uh, we are at the moment right there. We are now here. We will be landing right there at that little point right there. If you can see it on the map, on the southern tip of Norway. Next week, we will be flying all the way with a bit of luck up there. If that's not possible, we will be flying all the way down here and towards the rest of Europe, then on towards, once we did Europe, we will be down towards uh, Africa, then we will be heading east towards uh, Southeast Asia, towards um, uh, Australia and New Zealand, etc, etc, and all the way on, back towards Moscow and all the way back towards, uh, then, then forward towards Alaska, where we will be crossing to Northern Europe, of our Northern uh, North America. Uh, flying all the way back down along the eastern, uh, western coast of, uh, of uh, North and South America, hitting uh, uh, the uh, Antarctica, flying all along the western coast, all the way back up, and then crossing over to for, via Greenland towards uh, towards Iceland again. So we will be flying over Iceland maybe twice. Kind of depends. So yeah, yeah, we have. Yeah, yeah, we have. Icing is an issue. <laughs> Icing is an issue. It's already been an issue, Mart. It is already been an issue. But basically, as long as we are uh, uh, flying... Uh, um, uh, 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 flying not, and not flying in clouds, we, sh we should be good. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Radio D D DJC. Radio. Well, I'm going to use radio again. Sorry. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. I am fine, actually. We are doing great radio. We are, at the moment, we are uh, heading towards uh, Christiansand. 
we just passed Oslo and we flew over uh, uh, Serblo's hometown and Nielsen's hometown. So two, uh, uh, two happy uh, followers right there. And uh, yeah, it's going great at the moment. It is going really, really well. Uh, I was not expecting or I was hoping to reach Oslo today uh, and fly on. Uh, but it is going a lot better than I actually expected. So uh, yeah, it is actually really good. But yeah, you are quite right, Mark. We do have to look for the uh, performance issues in the northern parts of, uh, of the world. Yeah, and the most southern parts as well, of course. Uh, but as long as it's not... Uh, it can be freezing. It's minus 10 is no problem whatsoever in a, in a craft like that, this. However, if we do fly in... Um, uh, if we fly in clouds while it's freezing, of course, the humidity... Uh, if it starts to freeze over my aircraft, we will be having a problem. No problem, Jamel. Thank you for being here. Thank you for uh, uh, joining us. Have an excellent weekend. Don't forget to smile, my friend. Don't forget to smile. So, uh, yeah, it is actually a truly... It, it, it is something to look out for. Um, this week and last week have been an eye-opener uh, with uh, things like that, actually. We uh, had had a lot of icing problems uh, along the coast of Norway and uh, in uh, Sweden, actually. Sweden was completely fucked over and had a cold front. So uh, yeah, it was, uh, it, it was pretty, pretty bad. It was pretty bad, yeah. But we made it work. We made it work. So uh, yeah, thank God for that. So if you're careful, you can, you can uh, uh, go quite far, actually. But you need to be really careful in the 172. You really need to be careful. That's the most important thing. Be very, very careful where you fly. Still an hour. <laughs> Good God. I thought it would be quicker. Nah, it can't be an hour. Still an hour? Nah. No. Uh -huh. Apparently it's still an hour. <laughs> Although it has been an hour for like two hours. So yeah. Oh, I need to tune into Ferris Approach. So, yeah. Ferris Approach, Cessna Papa Hotel, Sierra November Golf. And uh, as of now, we are still uh, heading towards uh, uh, towards Christiansen right there. But yeah, it's uh, it is amazing radio. It is amazing. Look at that. Look at that. And of course, we have Mart right there, Weem right there, Doctor No Thumbs. We have Dre's, uh, we have a Yuri right there, or as we call him, the uh, uh, the uh, uh, the inverter. Uh, what do we, we have? Medici right there. I think he's nearing actually our uh, our uh, destination. And uh, there is Dragas right there. But look at these beautiful, beautiful sceneries, man! It is incredible. And apparently, according to Serplo, quite accurate. It is quite accurate, actually. So this is. Uh, the only difference we have right now is the time difference. It's the weather is exactly as it is. Uh, we have uh, 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 everything else is correct. It's just the time that we skip. It is the time that is actually the difference. It is already dark in Norway, so uh, yeah. But we are keeping it in the sunshine simply because we want to see those stunning, stunning views made by uh, made possible by uh, Asobo and uh, and Black Shark AI. I mean. Kudos to them, man. It's it's incredible what these guys accomplished. Incredible. I mean, look at that. It is not normal. This is not normal. Yeah, and apparently, that's, so this is really, really accurate. Yeah, as Nielsen and Serblo said, this is the weather right now in Norway. It is accurate, so yeah. And I'm really happy with that, guys. I am so, so happy with that. Because if there would have been, if it would have been cloud, uh, if, if it would have been foggy or stuff like that, I would not have been able to fly here. In simply because it, it well today this part I could have flown. It is zero degrees Celsius right there, and as you guys can see, zero degrees Celsius and 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 cloud or humidity basically. That's fine. But as soon as that goes to freezing, I'm basically kind of screwed. Yeah. Ah, uh, most yeah, okay, mostly brown because of the winter, yeah. Mm. That is quite true. Hello, welcome back, Maud. Welcome back. We are nearing our destination. Not there, not there in the distance. That's not our destination, but we are getting close. We are getting, getting close. So yeah. 
But yeah, it's uh, uh, that's the only thing. Yeah, who loves those blue skies? <laughs> exactly. Hello, Mr. Blue Sky. Mr. Blue Sky right there. But uh, yeah, and of course, the, you can't see the seasons change. Um, okay, that, that is indeed a thing. It would be awesome if they could do that. Seasons changing. But yeah, they're all here. Medici is right there. Uh, we have uh, the Inverter right there, a.k.a. Yuri. Mart right there. Dragos, Dr. No Thumbs. Who else do we have? I think that's it. Weem, of course. Weem, right there. Weem is right there. The gang is all here. The gang is all here, guys. <laughs> I see you in the back of Shoney. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Right there. That's where you guys are. And the rest of you are all packed right in there. You are all packed right in there, guys. Unfortunately, no, they are not uh, Circlo. However, uh, I think they are. Uh, I heard them talk about it. A few, uh, a few uh, uh, developer uh, Q and A's ago. So, so I think they are considering how to do that and how to implement that. If they would be able to do that, that would really up this game even more. If you can actually have seasons in here. That would be so, so awesome. I mean, this would be great, of course. I mean, this is basically summer, but the Netherlands, in, in especially uh, 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 the uh, south of south of Holland, is completely beautiful with, with flowers and stuff like that. That would be awesome, yeah. Yeah, you know, the thing is, Sertlo, as I said, it, it's um, uh, the game has just been released, you know? It, the sim has just been released. Uh, it's only three months old, old. Basically, the time we've been flying. There goes Yuri again. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's uh, as soon as, as as this. I think that that in two or three years' time, this will be a completely different simulation. I mean, they expect to implement uh, helicopters. They expect to implement gliders. Will they be the uh, next year? No, they will be probably in 2022. But they are working on stuff like that. So it's going to be. It's going to be getting better and better and better. And I'm so glad that I started out with this simulation. I mean, it looks so beautiful. It's the only simulation where we can do VFR flights like that. I mean, come on. Yeah, it's exactly. It's just been, it's a baby. It's just been released. I mean, oh, look at Mark flying right there on my wing. Where's uh, there, there's Dr. No Thumb right there. Weem in the distance. Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, you were also in there. Uh, where are you, Sham? Oh, what, by, by the way, Sham, uh, what you can do if you press Y, the Y key, uh, you can uh, basically move forward and backward if you've got your... Uh, uh, I think you can use your, your, your arrow keys for that. And you can quickly move up towards us. So you can yaw into us, basically. Or slew into us. I think it's slewing or yawing. I'm not sure what it's called. But yeah, it's uh, basically you can uh, quickly move towards us. So yeah, it's uh, they had rockets and we could go to Jupiter. Exactly. Yeah, the views are stunning. Uh, but if you truly, truly want to see something amazing, radio, check out my earlier vods of Wednesdays and Thursdays. Holy, yeah, slewing. Exactly, Captain. It's yeah. No, you can't kill us. You can't run into us. Don't worry about that. You cannot run. If you run into me, you you just I just disappear for you. So don't don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Just, just slew into us. Yeah. But yeah, the, the, if you if you really want to see stunning views, go check out the uh, uh, the uh, the vaults of uh, um, of Wednesdays and Thursdays. It is basically flying through alien countryside. It is amazing. We flew along the coast of Norway. Good lord, it was so stunning. I mean, scary as hell, but stunning. It's yeah. Slew, yeah, it's slewing, uh, Saucy, you're quite right, yeah. Also, Captain also stated it, it's it's slewing, yeah. I'm pretty sure it still says 52 minutes, how's that possible? I mean, I'm pretty sure it will not take 52 minutes to get way over there. It's somewhere over there in the distance, yeah, okay. 
Yeah, it's bizarre. It, ah, there you go. Exactly, radio. Yeah, it, it amazing. Yeah, work. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can only do this on uh, on Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Friday, Greco. I wish I could help you out, man. I wish I could. I wish I could. Maybe we can uh, plan uh, plan an, uh, an, uh, a flight in the weekend sometimes. I'm not sure if I'm able to do that, but uh, yeah, it's uh, we're going to have to see what we're doing. Also, by the way, uh, I am uh, planning a uh, uh, a kind of podcast uh, thing uh, where uh, finance clan. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Who's that? But yeah, it's uh, uh, what I'm also trying to plan is a, a podcast thing with uh, streamers who fly Microsoft Flight Simulator and talk all things Microsoft Flight Simulator. So. Uh, it will be me uh, and basically uh, uh, several other flight simulator guys and uh, uh, like for instance Captain Arash and Don Don and everyone who wants to join in and uh, basically we all uh, just uh, have a nice chat one or two uh, uh, times a month uh, during the weekends where we have uh, one or two hours uh, uh, to see if we can uh, can have a little chat about uh, about all things Microsoft. I'm not sure if you guys into, are into that but yeah it's I think it will be uh, fun to do that. I think it will be fun to do that. So uh, if you guys are up for that, please let me know. Please let me know. And there we go. That's our last leg where we are now headed. And he's all spinning out of control right there. And recovered. <laughs> recovered. There he goes. Yeah, I think it will be cool too. I think it will be cool too. You know, we're going to uh, invite uh, a few guys uh, that, uh, that are well known. Uh, in the business, you know, uh, in the business, or at least in the in the, in our streamer group, and chat all things. Uh, uh, yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, or Greco, how inexperienced you are! <laughs> Don't forget that, even how inexperienced you are, because let's face it, I'm not one of the most experienced uh, 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 flight simulator pilots out there. There are a lot of pilots very 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 good and a lot better than me yeah but yeah it's uh as i said yeah no problem dragas you will be as well of course so uh yeah if you guys want to join us we of course can join uh so yeah it's it's no problem man don't do pump on simply zach you know uh, maybe we can even get guys like flying fabio or stuff like that you know have a little bit of fun getting hints getting tips getting ideas and uh seeing what's happening in the scene talk about that so uh, yeah, uh, strange things they have seen during their flights, cool things they have seen during their flights, strange things that happened, yeah. An interview with the inverter, who knows, perhaps, yeah. Perhaps, who knows, yeah, that might be an idea. So yeah, the, uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly, that is quite true. That, that is actually a good point there, Greco, yeah, because uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, definitely, a, if you, and also uh, being inexperienced, uh, being an inexperienced pilot, which I am, let's face it, uh, it's, you know, uh, uh, it gives me in a whole different meaning or a different way of looking at things uh, and, and, and learning things, but also, yeah, you know, an insight into uh, what's actually uh, beyond the, the, the simulated experience it, itself. You know, uh, I have been flying this, uh, this simulation mainly, mainly for the views. You know, I'm not doing this for the, the, the actual realism. However, what I found along the way is that uh, I, uh, I, I want to get more and more serious and more and more expertise in, in, in flying and doing it more real. So that's also a nice way of, uh, for, for people who are starting out with a simulation to actually get an idea from, you know, uh, where do you start out? Uh, am I really that bad? Or uh, yeah, am I, uh, and, and how can I get better, you know? Wait until you get more into modding it. Yeah, exactly. Well, there's also an, a, a window right there, an option right there, you know. I, I've never even considered modding it, but why not, you know. there. Uh, I mean, let's face it, we got... Yeah, yeah, but the fly-by-wire is so, so cool. The, that's so cool, man. I, th I think that's, at the moment, one of the coolest projects going on from the community... That's, that's born out of the, the, the flight sim community. I mean, those guys kudos man what they are doing dang 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 it looks pretty dang awesome i mean that's so impressive what they are doing yeah 
Yeah, so many people. Dr. No Thumb, right there in the distance. There, there is Yuri. We have Weem right there. Dragos right there. Uh, Medici right there. Uh, uh, Mart right there. Finest Clan, are you also in our channel? I'm not sure if he is, but if you are, thank you for joining me, man. And I hope you're having fun flying around in this uh, crazy uh, group right here. And uh, yeah, it's... <laughs> I'm not sure if he's uh, in the channel, but there goes Finest Clan. Right there. Having fun. So many new people. Yeah, and I'm so much enjoying this, guys. You are bringing such a big smile to my face. Yes, you are. This is uh, its giving me energy. It's giving me hype. It's giving me uh, a lot of fun. And I'm enjoying myself immensely flying over the lovely, lovely southern part of Norway. Where we are now heading towards Christian Sun. This is our last leg. We are on our final leg towards uh, towards Christian Sun. Let's hope I have enough fuel, guys. <laughs> Let's hope I have enough fuel. I am going to throttle back a little bit more. A little bit more. <laughs> oh, we're here already. Yeah, we are. Let's see, guys. Uh, yeah, I need to actually. Is this going correctly? Yeah, it is. It is. I am I am a little bit slow, guys. I'm sorry about that. But I do need to make sure that I actually uh, put my mixture correctly. As you guys can see, what I'm looking at right now is this little uh, dial that's going up. It needs to go up a little bit more because I am... Uh, uh, that means actually that my uh, fuel is burning uh, more efficiently. And if it's burning more efficiently, I need to use less of it. So, uh, yeah. Pushing it up a little bit more. <laughs> Leaning her out my help. Yeah, who knows. Oh, that's a bit of a pity. Oh, that's a bit of a shame right there. Uh, that's a bit of a shame. Leaning my mixture, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I'm right do I'm doing right now. I am doing that, exactly. <laughs> Engage the turbo and hit the nitrous. The speed! <laughs> but I think that's the best we can get right now. It is going up slightly, but yeah, it's it's... But we're good. We, we can make it. We can make it. We can make it. I work on radio. Let's bring it work close together. Yeah. Yeah, exactly right there. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Let's bring the world closer together. Yeah. It, it, I mean, thank you very much for that. Thank you very much for that radio. I truly, truly appreciate it. Yeah. Ludicrous speed and dirge. <laughs> Uh, as a wise man once said, uh, uh, aka Clarkson from uh, 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 Clarkson from uh, from Top Gear and uh, and Grand Tour, speed solves everything. <laughs> speed solves everything. Well, unfortunately, I'm not going very very fast at the moment. But uh, yeah, we we'll, we are making the best of it, guys. We are making the best of it. <laughs> you infantile pillock. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. I'll I'll allow that. Sorry, I beat you to it, but I'll allow that. You infantile pillock. <laughs> Clarkson. <laughs> hey, thank you, Santiago. Thank you for following me, man. Thank you. I truly appreciate that. I truly, truly appreciate that. Thank you very much. And I hope you enjoy the channel. I hope you do. So, hey! <laughs> uh, can I? Okay, guys. So, Christmas is coming up. Christmas is coming up, right? And, uh, of course, we all know, we all know, RGB makes everything better. So, what did I buy for my Christmas tree? I bought RGB Christmas lights! Yes, I know I'm a child. I know, but let's face it, my uh, uh, my, uh, my my Christmas tree will uh, at least gain 20 to 30 frames per second with this. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> That's so awesome. <laughs> it just came in. That's freaking... Oh, thank you very much, my dear. Oh. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> exactly, Mart. Exactly, Jonge. <laughs> exactly. Hey, uh, hey, yeah, uh, Jen. <laughs> is that yeah? It's Jen, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it is. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, I miss new kids. Yeah, they were great. <laughs> Zonder grote vuurbal, jongen. Bam. <laughs> For those Dutch guys, we we know what that's about, and it's really funny. It's uh, yeah, but. Other than that, it's, uh, it's, uh, yeah, oh, that's cool. That is, that actually looks really, uh, yeah. Hmm. May I, may I? Look at the packaging, guys. I mean, this is quality packaging right there. Look at that. Can you see that? No, hardly, but yeah, it's, it's blacking out. It's kind of blacking out, but. So, yeah, unfortunately, nah, you can't see it because of the, uh, yeah. It's, it's really hard to, uh, oh, there. That's a lot better. Nope, there. There we go. That's quality packaging right there. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> huh, interesting. But yeah, it's a uh, do a Christmas stream when reading a Christmas story. Well, kids, huddle along along the fire. Today we are talking about a lovely, lovely, lovely little story about Santa. <laughs> yes. Uh, once upon a time, there was up in the North Pole a little elf. <laughs> now, maybe not such a good idea. <laughs> oh, God. My Christmas story would, would turn into horror stories right away. That would be bad. And there it goes, Yuri again. Go on, spin. You can do it. Spin. Spin, spin, spin the black circle. There it goes. <laughs> Wee. <laughs> we right there. Medici right there. Hey, we finally got up to Medici. There he is in the 172. Oh, yeah. Right down there. Medici right down there. There goes uh, Dragos. In the uh, King Air. Awesome, guys. Awesome. Mart right there. Do we have Dr. No Thumbs? There we have Yuri. Where is Dr. There is Dr. No Thumbs. Of course he is. Finest Clamp way there in the distance. I'm not sure if he actually is in the channel. You're going low. Indeed. You are going low and slow, my friend. Yes, you are. <laughs> right there. It, the views must be beautiful, though. Uh, but the, yeah, we are now uh, slowly but steadily heading on towards uh, the uh, the final leg of our uh, flight, guys. Uh, we are now going towards Christian Sound, which should be up there in the distance. So uh, yeah, it's going great. Mm. As am I, radio. As am I, man. I, that was really hair. That that was really hectic. I was so scared that I would not be able to make it. And today I basically looked at the way the weather was and planned it all the way around uh, the um, planned it all the way around the, uh, the, the the cold fronts and the and, and the, uh, uh, the the uh, the cloud bases and stuff like that. It was really really hard to do it, but we actually made it. We made it towards the south south of uh, of of uh, uh, of uh, Norway, and I am so happy that we did this. This, guys, is such an accomplishment to me, you know? And people might think, well, it's not that hard flying all the way from... Uh, all the way across Scandinavia. Well, it is if you're flying a 172 and you do not have any defrosting and it's freezing and, and it's cold and it's cloudy. It, then it becomes really, really interesting. So, yeah, it, it, it was... Uh, so far, this has been such a cool flight. It has It had everything. It had its ups. It had its downs. It had uh, it had its thrillers. Um, it, it had beautiful vistas. It has everything. You know, it was one of the things I enjoyed so so much. So yeah, it's yeah yeah. That's right. I like the stone carving map we did. Yeah. For those that do not know what I'm what he's talking about, uh, I can uh, set this. Uh, this is going well. Back in a sec. It's right here. It, it weighs a ton. It actually weighs a ton, guys. Oh, it's heavy. But, yeah. This has been done by Malvius Gaming. And it is... Uh, Malvius Gaming is my brother-in-law, by the way. And, uh, yeah. There we go. It is actually a concrete slab. 440,000 kilometers... Shoney Gaming in a Cessna. That's a concrete slab right there. It's heavy. It is truly heavy. But how cool is that, guys? How cool is this? I mean, that's pretty dang cool. He made it especially for me. 
So uh, yeah, it is heavy, but it is set in stone. There is no going back. Uh, that's the Cessna logo, guys. That's the Cessna logo right there. So uh, yeah, so it's the Cessna represents the plane, Shoney Gaming right there, and uh, the 440,000 kilometers set in stone. Ah, oh, it's heavy. <laughs> it is really, really heavy. It is really heavy, but it's so cool. Yeah, that is really cool. I, I mean, that dude is really, really, yeah. He is my brother-in-law, so uh, my uh, my young brother-in-law, and he's a really cool dude. He also streams, by the way, unfortunately not at the moment, uh, but he will be coming back. Uh, he usually did uh, Vatsim streams. He was a starting Vatsim streamer. Uh, he started out and wanted to show you guys uh, what it was like to uh, to actually do Vatsim, uh, mich uh, fly on Vatsim for real. But yeah, he is a really cool dude, and... Uh, yeah, he made that for me. Yeah. I have to. I can't. I, yeah, it's set in stone, guys. It's set in stone. It is set in stone. Stadon, thank you all for following me, man. Thank you, well, th thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> I have to uh, watch that I don't switch to Dutch. But yeah. Hmm. Thank you very much for the follow, man. Hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day. Hello there. Hello there. <laughs> uh, yeah, I do speak Dutch, but I keep it in English for all our lovely, lovely English friends. So yeah. It's, um, but yeah, it's, <laughs> I, there is no way I can flake out now. No, 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 no way. Yeah. <laughs> Those blue skies, indeed. Cap <laughs> yeah, Mr. Blue Sky. I mean, and the sun is slowly but steadily setting over Norway, guys. It is, no, 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 no. What's going on? Are you guys still here? Yeah, you are. What, what the hell just happened? What just happened? Uh, uh, yeah, leave Shoney alone. Oh, is it back? Yeah, it should be back. Good lord. It is. Yeah, okay, it is. Oh, thank god. I'm still here. <laughs> I'm still standing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, okay, so that was kind of scary. <laughs> I'm still... Yeah, oh, thank god. <laughs> Successfully connected. Ah, oh, we're back! I just saw all you guys there, so apparently we've been back all along, but hey, we're back! <laughs> we are back. Back on track. Uh, so yeah, it's... Uh, come on, a little bit less. Server is definitely not in the mood today. No, it is not, Yuri. It is uh, bouncing all over the place again. And we had that Friday. When was that that we had that problem? We had to switch to East East USA, I think. That was like three weeks ago or something like that. It was also very, very bumpy. Yeah, two weeks ago. It was very, very bumpy. Uh, it was our own, uh, our, our own uh, uh, internet connection. No, please, Ziggo, don't give up on me now. And yes, I have Ziggo. For those that live in the Netherlands, I have no choice. I want to get fiber, but yeah, there is no fiber here. Uh, I live in uh, one of the bigger towns in the Netherlands, and there is no fiber. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, I will keep that stone very safely. I have it in a very, very secure spot right here next to me. Keeping me uh, always uh, on par. Making sure that, uh, that, uh, that I will finish my trip. And... By the way, guys, so far it has been so much, so much joy and so, so fun to do this. So yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it, it is incredible. It is incredible. I'm having so much fun doing these flights. I'm having so much fun doing these flights with you guys. I mean, everyone who's flying there, Martin Wee, Metal, Metal Chi, right there. Uh, we have <laughs> Dragas just whizzing by, uh, Yuri as well. I mean, yeah, it's. Yeah, the weirdest thing is, uh, Nielsen, we do have fiber in the Netherlands. That's no problem. I mean, there are a lot of people that have fiber, but there, you you hardly have any fiber in the in the larger cities in the Netherlands. You just have basically have cable. So yeah, it's uh, exactly that. Thank you very much. I truly am enjoying this, guys. I am so much enjoying this. And we are nearing uh, Christiansand. Actually, we are. How far away are we? Uh... Let's do that a little bit. And we are 60 nautical miles uh, from uh, from Christiansand. 
Yes, we are getting there, guys. We are getting there. Now, we will be... I, I'm trying... Uh, going to see if we can land on runway 3. Uh, that's the runway... Uh, uh, basically, what we do is we'll be circling around towards the south and then heading up back north again. That's what I'm going to see if that's, uh, if that's an option. Uh, however, I was thinking about the wind. Uh, now I have the wind in my back then. Huh, interesting. Yeah. Hello? Hello? Are we good? Are we good? Yeah, we are good. Yeah, <laughs> we are good. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be, uh, yeah. Uh, where are we? Yeah, okay, there we are. I'm back again. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's really, uh, it, it's, it's so much fun having you guys around. It's so much fun. It is so much fun. I mean, look at those beautiful, beautiful views, guys. That's stunning, to say the least. That is stunning right there. Come on. Simply those beautiful, beautiful oceans right there. Christian Sun in the distance. Not in that distance. Oslo is way over there somewhere. And we are heading towards Christian Sun right there. Flying straight towards the sunset, guys. Straight towards the sunset. It is amazing. Yuri right there. Flying at 600 feet. Uh, yeah, Shem, where are you? Is, is that you, Finest Clamp? Is that you, Shem? Or what's your what's your uh, your your uh, name in uh, in game? Because then we can keep an eye out for you. Ah, Finest Clamp is Shem. Right. Okay. Excellent. Finest Clamp. That's Shem. Well, thank you, man. Thank you for joining me. Ah, okay. Hmm. Man, this, by the way, this is the largest group so far. This is the largest group so far we've done on the Free Fly Friday. Yeah, it's uh, it has been awesome. No problem, man. No problem. Yeah, the yeah, of course in your line of work, uh, the 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 Black Friday thing is is, is definitely a thing. Yeah, had to slow right down. Yeah, I know what you mean. In a TBM, it is really hard to keep up with me because that thing wants to do like 240 knots. So, uh, uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, uh, wind flies at uh, full flaps and 40% 40% uh, throttle. If I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah. And I need to slow this down also, because if I go full power right now, I will be burning way too fast through my fuel. And that will mean I will not be able to make it. So, uh, yeah. We are now heading towards uh, uh, Christian Sand uh, right here, uh, Joachim. Uh, we just uh, passed, uh, we passed Oslo. We flew towards uh, uh, the uh, homes of both Serblo and uh, Nielsen. We flew over that. And now we are heading back towards uh, Christian Sand. The southern tip of Norway, where we will be landing. And so far, it has been beautiful. It is zero de degrees Celsius right out there. It is very uh, frosty, but nice. Uh, no, no, no. I did not refuel. No. No refueling. As you can see right there, we have 24% fuel left. So, fingers crossed. <laughs> fingers crossed. But yeah, so far so good. We are still uh, uh, on track. We are still on track. We need to go another 50 nautical miles. Not sure if we're going to make that, but we'll have to see. I really hope I don't have to ditch. But yeah, it's... Uh, fingers crossed you won't start a wildfire. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> fingers crossed. But yeah, as of now, we are still uh, we are still doing pretty well, actually. it's. Uh, uh, I am trying to conserve, conserve a lot of fuel. So uh, basically that means that I am uh, 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 flying a lot slower, as you can see. Normally I will be flying like 110, 120 knots. Uh, not today. No, I need to slow down a lot and need to conserve fuel. So uh, yeah, that's basically what we are doing right now. And I'm trying to see if I can... Uh, just my the, the 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 mixture so it will be uh, burning uh, any nearby airports yeah i think there are a few actually 
I think there are a few coming up. So in case of problems, we should be uh, uh, we should be good. We should be good. But as of now, I am still trying to lean my uh, my mixture enough so that it will burn more economically. No, that's not what I should be doing. I should be going right there. Uh, let's see if we can get this a little bit up. What I'm trying to do is get this more, uh, get this 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 little dial right here more to the to the right. But it's going down, so I need to lean it more. <laughs> yeah, I can glide indeed. Well, let's hope that won't be necessary, my friend. Let's hope that will not be necessary. Why is this not working? It's not doing anything. There we go. There we go. Come on. Nope. Yeah. That's the best I get. That's the best I get. Yeah. No, exactly. I can't lean too much. So it's, uh, yeah, it is the best I can do right now. It is the best I can do right now. Maybe I should slowly but steadily start to climb a little bit. That may be a good idea. All right. Slightly, of course. It, the views are amazing. The views are amazing. They are. They are so pretty, guys. Yeah, exactly. That is that is quite true. You know what? Let's keep it at a lovely 2,000 feet. I'll, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Let's see if we can uh, we can uh, make our way towards uh, towards Christian Sand and. Uh, See if we can uh, can get there uh, on fumes. <laughs> See if we can get there on fumes. Apparently, you can fly up to 7% uh, fuel. And then you basically will drop out of the sky. So, uh, let's hope uh, we still have... Uh, it, it, with, those, uh, uh, with that in mind, we still have about 15% fuel to burn. So, uh, But apparently, you drop out of the sky at 7% fuel. So, yeah. You have 60 minutes of you. Yeah, exactly. And it's... I think it's... Uh, I still, still need 50 nautical miles to go. So... Uh, I still have like 30 minutes left. At least. Yeah, exactly. I think, I think, I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. Dusk is pretty. Yeah, it is. Yes, it is. But the sun is slowly setting on my side here as well. But it, it is amazing, guys. I'm not sure if this will throw everything up. Let's have, have a look if this works. Look at that. Look at that. That's what it is right there in Norway right now. That's what it is right there. Kind of hard to see. It's hard to see, but there it is. How cool is that, guys? Flying all the way onto Christiansand. And... Alright, 14, 17. 15, 17. Nope, 14, 17, yeah. There we go. That's what we were at. <laughs> That's what we were at. Right there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We should pop in back. We should pop back. So that's... Yeah, there we go. There we go. Uh, we are at the moment flying on... Uh, uh, flying on West Europe. Yeah. We are flying on West uh, Europe, Midgey. Yeah, we are. So uh, at the moment we are nearing Christiansand, the final uh, part of our uh, of our of our flight. Look at that, guys! Look at that! Yeah, 
Yeah, it's like it's unusable. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> my joke to you. Yeah, exactly. Darker on my. Yeah, but that's because of the stream. You know, it's it's always kind of filtered a little bit. I I I, I can turn up. Uh, I can turn it up a little bit, but basically because of the stream, it is a little bit darker. But yeah, it's. Uh, Oh, okay, it is. It does. Oh, really? But it should be dark, actually, there at the moment. If I'm not mistaken. I mean, it has been dark for quite a while, actually. So, yeah. Uh, oh, I need to uh, contact Kievic Approach. And we need that. We need to zoom in a little bit so you guys can see. That's where we are headed. Yeah, we should be good. Thank you for the uh, high grade. And we are now uh, approaching. Yeah, we are s slowly but steadily crawling towards Christiansand. Still 42 uh, nautical miles away. So we're, uh, yeah, 22%. That's still good. I really uh, had to uh, uh, pull back these, uh, the, the speed of my uh, aircraft and stop burning so much fuel. Uh, otherwise, I would be simply pumping out the speed. Uh, we are doing Free Fly Friday today, which means uh, we've got Dr. Nothum right there. We have Medici right there. Uh, we have Dragas right there. Dra uh, Yuri right there. Uh, where is the rest? Finest Clan is right there. That's... Uh, that's uh, uh, I'm sorry, I keep forgetting your name. Shamnator, yep, right there. Mart is in the distance right there, yeah. It's kind of brick, yeah. Well, the thing is, as, as I said, uh, uh, Mart, what, I'm, what I do basically is, in my case, um, uh, I uh, because I fly during daytime hours, uh, uh, if I uh, because I fly during my daytime hours, I, I usually set it so uh, uh, so I can uh, have nice views and and nice uh, 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 nice lighting as well, so we can see what's going on. You know, uh, I set it uh, when we started to fly uh, nearly uh, uh, nearly five hours ago. <laughs> we uh, Coast Guard is here, yeah, exactly, uh, Dragas. We at least we got the Coast Guard, uh, but yeah, it's. Uh, uh, I started it at sunset, so it's basically, yeah, it's going up and up and up. Yeah, <laughs> need more free flight days. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, no, it did not. Oh, you were so close, Medici. Make sure you are uh, at the uh, at the airport when we land, man. Make sure, if, I hope you can still boot it up. Yeah. Actual real time, the light button doesn't work. Yeah, that's that's kind of true. That is kind of true. It's it's all over the place, basically. But they will be. They are looking into fixing that as well. Yep. Ah, excellent, excellent. Well, we are really close to Christiansen, so we you basically could fly, uh, could could take off there and then you're back to us. That's an option. That's an option. But we are actually doing quite nice, by the way, guys. 22% still. So it's basically 1% as of now. And uh, we are still flying quite nicely here. We're not doing that bad. <laughs> Great plan. There you go. There you go. Well, Dragos is right there. Yuri is still right there. We have Ween. We have uh, Dr. No Thumb. We have... Uh, where is he? Mark right there. Uh, we have mesh somewhere up in the... Yeah, there he is. So it's all good, man. No ma no problem, man. No problem, no problem. Thank you for joining us, Radio. Thank you for joining us uh, during our lovely flight right here. Hope you had fun and hope to see you soon again. Yeah. Uh, wind direction is... Tailwind, basically. Yeah. It is basically tailwind. So uh, I will be uh, turning around. And using runway 3. So we will be landing in, in, uh, in the wind, basically. Yeah. But we are having 21 knot tailwinds. So that's kind of strong, yeah. And we could see what the meter is at the moment. 
at uh, the airport where we are headed at Christiansand. What's the meter? No meter available. Dang, that's uh, that's a bit of a shame. Well, there you have it. No meter available. Can we look that up in another way? Uh, let me have a look. Yeah, there it is. It does have meter, actually. Uh, six knots, so yeah. Should be good. One to uh, minus one to minus three, it actually saying. So it is freezing right there. Is it still freezing? Zero degrees Celsius, so that's not far off, actually. Yeah, I am. Trust me, I am, Joachim. Yes, I am. I am. I'm really making good progress, so yeah. <laughs> no, I think I'm actually good. I think I make. I can make. A, 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 yeah, there we go. That's the meter right there. I think I'm actually. Yeah, I can. I can make this easily, guys. Trust me. <laughs> Famous last words. <laughs> Famous last words. But yeah, is uh, as you guys can see. Uh, Variable zero one knots. Zero one knots. So it's coming all over the place. But uh, yeah, famous last words, guys. Right there. Now I think I think I can make it. I think I can make it. Twenty, uh, still twenty one percent. So uh, we should be good. And we are nearing our destination. We are nearing our destination, actually. So. Uh, and it's also nice because now I do not have to slow down that much anymore. So that's also very nice. Yeah. Now I do need to see how I have to do that approach. So that's where we are right now. And as you guys can see, that's the handy thing right there for... Uh, for uh, um, uh, for Navigraph, it exactly overlays the map on my route. So, it says that I need to approach like that and then all the way down. Take that circle right there. I need to start at 3,000 feet, head down toward, towards, no, 2,000 feet, and then toward 2,500 feet, and then towards 1,490 to get to D040. That's D40, so that's there. By the time I'm there, on the approach line, I should be... Yeah. Okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I think. Oh, but we also need to program uh, the... Uh, the, uh, the uh... We need to pro... Do we need to program it? Uh... No, 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 no. EN. That's the one. Right there. You can see it at the top. ENCN. E-N-C-N. Right there. And selected as departure. Yeah, exactly. That's good. That's good. That's helpful. 20% fuel left, guys. 20%. Oh, it's going to be close. But 30 nautical miles. So we should be good. We should be good. I just burned about 3% in the last... 40, 30 nautical miles, basically. So, that's that's actually really good. That's hopeful. Mm. ENGM is in Oslo. Yeah, exactly. What we need is the uh, ENCN. C. So, the uh, Charlie. Actually, it's uh, you can see the meter right there. The meter information is from the uh, the uh, arrival airport, so it's uh, and also by the way, if you want to see my arrival airport, yeah, it's uh, yeah exactly. Uh, if you do A R R, mm, yep, you can exactly see where we are arriving, as in A R R arrive. So you can see that exactly where we are going. There we are, guys, heading towards our goal in the distance. Marked in the distance right there. Still up in the air. Wing right there, also flying. Uh, who do we have? Dr. No Thumb right there. There is someone else behind that, but I can't see it correctly. Oh, yeah, that's... Uh, that's uh, uh, let me have a look. That's... 
Shem, I think. Yeah, Shem Nater, right there. Finest land, there is Shem Nater. Yep. Of course, we have uh, uh, Yuri uh, buzzing around. Dragos, Weem. Uh, Menachi is still back, is back again. Yeah. No, 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 it's the last waypoint. So it's it's basically uh, the uh, the last waypoint is above the uh, uh, is above the uh, above the airport there, Captain. So yeah, the airport is above the uh, the last waypoint is exactly above the uh, above the airport. I just need to focus uh, that I do not uh, fly all over the place, and I do not need to. Uh, yeah, that's also the thing. The climbing is also a thing. The climbing is real. The climbing is real, guys. It is real. <laughs> no, don't climb. Don't drop. Come on, guy. You can do it. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Fly on fumes. Sip. Sip that fuel. Sip that fuel. <laughs> Left fuel tank has come on. Yeah, I think uh, I'm uh, having the same problem uh, uh, in a few uh, seconds too, uh, <laughs> right there. Yeah, 17 minutes. It should be good. We should be. Uh, we should be. Uh, uh, it's going to be interesting. My longest flight, I think, so far, guys. This is my longest flight so far. Good lord, we have been up in the air for uh, yeah for a while. <laughs> Speed. <laughs> No, I'm good right now. Uh, I uh, I need to stay around uh, around 2,000 feet right here, uh, Mod. Yeah, I need to stay around 2,000 feet. Yeah. Yeah, sure we are. Sure we are. We're all heading in. We're all heading in. No matter what. No matter what, Sham. No matter what. Yeah, four hours and 40 minutes. <laughs> It's one of my longer ones, definitely. <laughs> I never expected to do uh, to uh, to to uh, have this long a stream, but hey, here we are. It's no problem. We are still up in the air. No problem, actually. <laughs> it's bizarre. Why am I doing this again, guys? Why am I doing this? Why? <laughs> Why is there no one who says, "Shoni, you're a dumbass. Why are you doing this? Stop this." No. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah. Well. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Exactly right there, Yuri. Exactly right there. I'm getting hungry. I'm so hungry. Can we order takeout to the airport? Is that a plan? <laughs> Is that a plan? Oh, good lord. It is written in stone indeed, Captain. It is exactly written in stone. Maybe there's takeaway. Ooh. Uh, any suggestions, people? Any suggestions for takeaway? Yeah. <laughs> Pizza! <laughs> oh, God. Here we go again. No, no, no. I will not have controversial Chinese. Ooh, Chinese food is also very nice. Yeah. I will not have shawarma. There we, there we go. Now... That woman is talking my language. Yes, she is. <laughs> Travis Scott Burger. That sounds good. Dang. That sounds good. Um, well, a different airport. I actually already diverted to a different airport, Saucy. So, uh, uh, no, I do not. If I land uh, on an airport, I can basically take off from that airport the next time that I fly. Uh, but, yeah, it's... Uh, uh, if I land in a field, I actually have no uh, no scenario for that. <laughs> but yeah, I could land in the field, but basically, I want to divert to an air to an airfield. And if I land on that airfield, uh, I can take off from that airfield again and move on with my uh, with my flight plan. So that's basically what's going on. However, should I crash? Yeah, that's kind of stupid, and then we uh, have a slight problem. Yeah, capsule also very nice. Oh yeah. Uh. So, but that's basically what happens, uh, Saucy. So, uh, if I divert and land on that airport, I just simply start off the next time from that airport. Basically, yeah. Those are the rules. Those are the rules. Oh, yes, they are. Oh, yes, they are. So, yeah. You may land in a field. Yeah, that, that is actually an option. Nah, well, not today. I think uh, today we will be fine. It's only 23 nautical miles. I just burned about 4% of fuel this, this I will be able to land. 
actually there is a uh, clip of me landing on 12% fuel I think in uh, Romania that was really close and I had to cross mountains about 4,000 feet high so uh, yeah uh, once you start conserving fuel you can actually stay in the air for quite a long time but yeah it's uh, it's yeah the journey will last three years there yeah there is an option I may have to ditch yeah yeah there is an option that I may have to ditch yeah and that will mean going back towards my my uh, my safe point so yeah but it's a uh, yeah Nielsen yeah maybe <laughs> but yeah it's uh, no but you know what it is simply uh, I, I what I usually do is I plan my flight so that I can basically make it or barely make it I am planning to stream stream for at least three and a half years uh, Joachim yeah this flight will take me at least three and a half years Real time, real time. I'm doing it real time. So yeah. So that's uh, basically what we are doing. We are doing a real time flight around the world, and it will take me up to three and a year, yeah, three and a half years. Yeah. I'm sixty-five percent fuel. If you want some, can I? Can I please have some fuel? Can I? Please. <laughs> Keeping up the tension. Exactly. You know what I'm doing. Not just a hat rack, my friend. Not just a hat rack. Oh, yeah. <laughs> not gonna crash. Do not crash, Mark. Do not crash. Your guys are already over the uh, airport, I'm thinking. I think you are. <laughs> For bagging fuel. Yeah, exactly. Please give it fuel. Please. <laughs> If you're emerging, oh, don't crash. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe, uh, maybe I will be simply taking off in the field. I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. But yeah, uh, basically, what I want to do is, if I uh, get really low on fuel or the the weather conditions get so bad that I can no longer fly, uh, I'm I'm diver diverting to an airfield. That's what I want to do. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, we're nearly there, Malt. We're nearly there. I can, we we can bear, we can we can. Almost see it in the distance. You see where those guys are? That's where we are headed. That's where we are headed. Dr. No Thumb right there. We have Mark right there. Uh, uh, Sham right there. Medici right there. Uh, whereas Wien is right there. Yuri is still in the distance right there. And Dragas is behind me. Guys, this is... Uh, yeah, this is interesting. This is, is really cool. Uh, I am doing an IL... I'm going to program my ILS landing, Wien. I am going to program it on one way three. So, yeah. I'm, I'm going to see if I can do this mid-flight. I'm going to see if I can do this mid. -flight. Yeah, maybe we can do. Maybe we can do 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 a test run or something like that. From there, if it happens, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe that's an option. Well, I'll, I'll keep that in mind right there, Sol. Yeah, I'll keep, I'll keep that in mind. Thank you for the suggestion. Yeah. Uh, a planned ILS landing. But not a programmed ILS landing. And there goes Yuri again. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it's uh, it's going to be interesting. See if that works. Basically, what I'm going to do is this. Then uh, turn on that. And then... Oh. This. That. Oh, well, there we go. Uh, what transition are we using? We are using transition. Uh, let's see if this works, guys. Let's see if this works. Uh, ILS, yeah, okay. So that's good. Uh, let's. What what do we have here? What do we have here? Inpus ODR. I am looking at the charts, by the way. Inrat, Inpus. Looking at the charts right there to see if what approach we want. Uh, Ninto, do we have that? No, that's the only three we have. Uh, <laughs> there goes my fuel. <laughs> there goes my fuel. 
Yep. Uh, where am I looking? What am I looking at? Utogi. Utogi, that's there. And... That's not the one I want. Uh, let me have a look. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, guys. Inrot is right there. Yeah, but I'm not sure if I can do that straight. No, I'm still on course. I am still on course. Trust me. Oh, there is it. Ah, okay. Yeah, okay. I think that's the one we are taking. Yeah, Impus right there. Inrod. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So that's the one I want. And then... Activate. And there we go. Well, it's saying I'm going to have to go... Yeah, okay. So now... Heavy crosswinds. Oh... Yeah, but the crosswinds is at the moment is a thing. The crosswinds at the moment is a thing, guys. So uh, uh, be careful with that. Be careful with the crosswinds because I had the same thing taking off. Apparently there's something really, really going uh, strange going on. So right now... And turn right, yeah. That's the, imp uh, Ibnus, uh, that's the Ibnus approach, if I'm not mistaken. That's the Ibnus approach. So that should be good. Uh, let me have a look what it just did in my VFR map. So it's now saying... Oh, yeah. You know what? I'm not doing that. I am going straight for that. Because I am low on fuel and I do not think I want to swerve all the way around Norway just to simply make that approach. So yeah, I'm heading straight for Ipnus. As you guys can see, right there. That's not... This is what I'm doing. Right here. I'm flying straight toward Ibnus. Not doing that turn right there. But I am doing the approach. Yeah. Exactly. Twenty-one is straight ahead. Yeah. Three is the other direction. The thing is, however, twenty-one is probably very strong crosswinds. It kind of depends how much fuel I have left. But we are yeah, still 23 nautical miles away. So yeah, I, I think... Let's have a look. It will be bad either way. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Don't use your flaps so you can carry in more speed. Okay. Interesting. Well, let's have a look. Uh, what do you guys suggest? Should I do uh, should I do uh, the the other approach? So not runway three, but it, what is, what is it twenty twenty four or something like that? I am not sure what to do now, guys. I am not sure what to do. Straight ahead, yeah. All right, let's have a look. That should be... Uh, what's that? Uh, that's runway 21. All right. Runway 21. Uh, let's have a look. I'd be doing then approach ILS runway 21. So that's that one. I should set my localizer to 110.9. Point nine. So that's the one. Uh, let's 
select the approach, enter. Let's do. Oh, no. Let's do that. Uh, enter. Back. That's the one. Nope. Come on. There we go. Yep. Nope. Come on. That's the one. Wrong way, 20. Yeah, okay. So we have another transition then. The end. Yep, that's the one I'm taking. Now I want to activate it. And enter. There we go. And where is it sending me off now? Because there's the runway. It's right over... No, it's over there. Uh, let's have a... Turn into tower. Request full stop landing. Hey, tower Cessna Papa Hotel. Sierra November Golf is eight miles northeast with whiskey to land. Yeah, we should be good. Cessna Papa Hotel. Sierra November Golf Jetting Tower. Make left traffic runway three. Nope. UNH three zero decimal one two with two seven one at one two. Acknowledge entry instructions, that's nice, but I want to see if I can request another. I can't. Dang. Well, you know what? I don't care. I really don't care. Uh, what we are going to do is head straight in. We are going to head straight in. Uh, where are we right now? Straight in for landing, exactly. So there is the airport. Right there. And we are slowly heading down right now. I am going to switch to... Uh... Huh. Switch to uh, my uh, my localizer, which should be correct for that runway right there. <laughs> pun, pun, pun. <laughs> this stress call. Yeah, pan, pan, pan. We are doing... Well, we are still doing good. We are still doing good. We are low on fuel, but other than that, we are good. So, yeah, we are... We are slowing down a little bit, trying to catch the glide slope, and uh, trying to catch the localizer, which you guys can see right there. This should be interesting. The, the localizer right there at the bottom, that's uh, what we are looking at. We are trying to align this right here, and uh, I'll start <laughs> circling for the flares. <laughs> Thank you very much! <laughs> Thank you! Thank you for such so much confidence, guys! Why is it not focusing on my uh, on the airport? That's really annoying, but okay, it's uh, I'll take it. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. Coming in hot, guys. Coming in hot. Coming in hot. But we should be good. I should have more than enough fuel to uh, to make this landing. Right there, Mod. Right there. Right there. But we are, uh, actually, we are turning nicely. This is not going that bad, actually. And we have a slight headwind. Somewhat. Well, guys, let's go in for a landing. Let's go in for a landing. Let's see if we can make this. The localizer's coming up. Yeah, it's looking good. 
it's looking good. Let's make sure I uh, I can cross that mountain, little mountain right there, shall we? Yeah, I think it is. I think you're right, uh, right there, uh, Captain. I think you are. Uh, you, I think you're quite right, my friend. Yeah, this this is not bad actually. The glide slope is coming down, as you guys can see. It is coming down quite nicely. Exactly. Yeah, I'm a little bit too low. I know. I am a little bit too low, but uh, yeah, it should be good. Yeah, we're good. I think we're still good. Yeah, we're good. Although I am a little bit off the... Uh, Light slope right there, but yeah, let's uh, see if we can uh, land this puppy down. Well, there's no go around for me uh, today. I'm putting this puppy down no matter what. This is going okay. This is going okay. Oh, this is not bad. There we are, guys. There we are. Not bad, actually. With so little fuel. With so little fuel. <laughs> there is uh, there is Yuri. Right there, Mart has landed as well. Excellent, guys. <laughs> Fall on no idea who that was. No idea who that was, but that was funny right there. And we all came in. And we will all come in together. <laughs> Acknowledge ground handoff. Where are we going? Where are we going? Come on, guys. Give me the ground. Where are we headed? Request taxi to parking. Come on. Request taxi to parking. Cessna Papa Hotel, Sierra November Golf Taxi to General Aviation Parking using Taxiway Alpha. Uh, yeah. Oh! Ha ha! Ha ha! I knew it! I knew it! Finally! I just ignored the ATC and we are close to our parking. Finally! Ha! Usually it just sends me around all the way half of Norway. So yeah, and I have to park in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a parking structure somewhere. Yeah, I acknowledge it. I acknowledge the... <laughs> That was a cool flight, guys. A long one, but it was cool. I followed the runway. That was a cool flight. We just landed right there. Guys, we're all here. I'm heading towards the ramp right there. And then we should be good. Then we should be good. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, good thing is, uh, Saucy, it will be a long, long, long while off. We will be here for quite a while. And after that, there's still a lot to do, my friend. There is still a lot to do. So uh, don't worry about that. Poo! Booyah! We're, we're on the ground. We did it. We have done it. We made it. There is... Uh, uh, who is Folon? Who, who is Folon in chat, guys? Who is that? Who is that? Wave your hand if you're Folon. 
Raise your hand if you're fallen. I want to know. So, Captain right there. Where do, where are the other guys? There is... <laughs> doing donuts right there. The gang made it. There is Yuri. Weem is over there. Dragas is in the distance right there. Uh, who do we have here? There is uh, uh, Sham also as well. So, Dre, uh, Yuri right there. Guys, this was a lot, a lot, a lot of fun, guys. This was a lot of fun. And, uh, yeah, I, I really, really, really enjoyed myself. You guys are pretty dang awesome. Uh, you know what? Let's raid Zach. He is online at the moment. Let's raid Zach. He's doing FIFA, but let's raid him, shall we? Let's give him a scare. Let's give him a scare. For those uh, that uh, want to join me, please uh, stay in the stream and we will be uh, heading over. Uh, I am shutting down for today. Uh, guys, that was awesome. It means that next week, next week, I will be able to fly towards, um, uh, towards uh, Iceland. Hey, Yuri, thank you for the cheer, man. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. That really helps out the channel. So, yeah, it's... Uh, yeah, it's, it's been awesome so far. I have been truly enjoying myself quite a lot. And uh, with a bit of luck, next week we will be able to make it towards uh, towards uh, um, uh, towards Iceland or otherwise Norway, uh, uh, Scotland. But we are go do doing great. Thank you very much for that, uh, Yuri. I truly appreciate that. Well, let's see if we can give this uh, puppy a raid. Let's start the raid, guys. There we go. Thank you very much for joining me. I will be on next Wednesday again. I'm from 1 p.m. Hope to see you then. But most of all, have a very, very good weekend. Smile, laugh, and I love you all. See you next week, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.